Oh, music, you, you coming back? <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, I enjoyed those four notes I got to hear. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to Fortune Cookie. Hopefully you all are doing good. Hopefully you're all capable of playing more than four notes. Oh, no, it actually only does have four notes in it. Never mind. What? Why did everything minimize? What the fuck? Everything is cursed today. Great. But how y'all doing, folks? Hopefully you're doing all right. Hopefully you're ready for some fortune cookie, and hopefully you're ready for uh, our special guest tonight who's hanging out with us. Has been around Hello! for a bit. It's Jared, 8-Bit Drummer's here tonight. It's me. I, I am. You am. <laughs> Congrats on Am. Oh, uh, congrats on Am indeed. Hello, chat. Always good to see y'all. John was like, hey, you want to hang out? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, yeah, was basically... maybe he'll be like free in like a couple weeks. He's like, yeah, you want to do this Saturday? I'm like, all right. <laughs> that, was, that was our whole conversation. Just like, hey, uh-huh. <laughs> Perfect. Pretty much. It's like the most guy thing. Like, yo, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so we're doing Fortune Cookie tonight, but I am starting with this game here called Vampire Survivors, which is apparently an early access, which explains why it only has four notes. But uh, this apparently is, this was sold to me as Smash TV meets Castlevania, and it has a 99% overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam out of like almost 6,000 reviews, which is insane. So I'm curious to see how this game actually is. That is pretty good. I wish I had a 99%. <laughs> like, Me too. Acceptance rate. <laughs> 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 All right. So our options are we only have one character available right now because we don't have enough coins. So we can play as Antonio Belpasse. Attacks deal 10% more damage you know every 10 levels. Doing? Max plus 50%. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, it's I still don't... really quiet even at 50%. Let's bump that up to, I guess, keep it around where it was, 100. What? What? Or, what? There we go. So, I, as far as I'm aware of, it's just like an auto attacker, essentially. I've heard this the, the beginning is a little slow, but all the footage I saw of the games looked absolutely, like, fascinating. It was basically just like a bullet hell is what it looked like. I look forward to meeting you people again. You know what this reminds me of? The uh, the little mini game in um uh oh god. Stardew Valley. Oh. Oh, like, like the, the mining one, one you, or you, Well, no, no, the one that you can play inside of the um the tavern. It's like a little shooter. Level it up. Doesn't have this. Let's but... see. King Bible <laughs> orbits around the character. Laurel Shields from damage when active. Knife flies quickly in the face direction. Or in increase your luck for a chance to get four choices. Okay, uh, I don't know. Power of religion, I guess. How do I, how do <laughs> I use, the, how do I use religion? You have the power of God and anime on your side now. I have a slow moving Bible that orbits around me every now and then. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> I think I missed Wait, that part. Don't have that? <laughs> I think the King James version did not do exactly what I thought it was supposed to do in that case. See, you have to upgrade to the new King James version. I knew, I needed, I needed NIV is what I needed. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, I got a glowing bat that's got a shield. Now zombies are showing up, so let's see what's going on here now. So you're only able to attack left and right. I think it's just this character's requirement, or like restriction, but yeah, like he auto attacks and he just kind of attacks in front of him. Oh, okay. I can level up the Bible. <laughs> to New King James! Level two Bible, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> What's the next one after New King James? Even newer King James? Yep. Treasure found! Whoa, that was loud. Holy frick! It's got a bunch of shit in it! <laughs> Bro, it's like you just like hit a slot machine. And it had a Bible in it! <laughs> and $67. And no sense. Dude, that's actually awesome. I, I really like that uh, animation to that. Level 3 King Bible. I missed what it said. I think it said attack speed up 30% it looked like. And we leveled up again. Do we want a magic wand? Fires at the nearest enemy. Axe. High damage. High area scaling. Or laurel. Shields from damage when active. 
<laughs> Two dollars short. <laughs> well, I mean, if we're gonna, yeah, we have sixty-eight in the corner though, so we're close. Uh, let's go. Let's <laughs> pair up the the Bible with an axe. That seems good. Oh, it just drops. It just throws it down. Like, yeah, this will fall straight down. That'll hit something probably. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that fan was a freaking enemy in the game because it came up so slowly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. Good news, we have $69. Oh, nice. Here's the question, how in the world do I level up? Oh, that's a lot! Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, that is a lot. Let's, uh... I think they got mad we had 69 and that's why they're chasing us. Let's go! We gotta get, we gotta get that meat! Whip, level two, fires one more projectile. Armor, new, reduces incoming damage by one. Magic wand, new, fires at the nearest enemy. Uh, I think let's increase our whip. There we go, now it attacks behind us. Ooh. I need all these crystals for levels. Oh no, all these levels, no! Give me my experience! Greedy. <laughs> Axe level 3 fires one more projectile armor, reduces incoming damage by one, or spinach raises inflicted damage by 10%. Ugh. Spinach? Are we doing that Popeye route, or are we going with more axes? You know, as much as I enjoy spinach like the next person, I think the axe is the best way to go. Alright, two axes now. Ooh, actually, we got three out of that one. Alright, so my whip now attacks behind me. And we huck two axes. It uh, it might have been that long there, game fam, but we've been we've been hanging out outside of streams and also on disc only and stuff. So yeah, yeah. Plus we got Coliseum in like a month, so. Mm -hmm. And even if we're not gonna be there in person, uh, we'll still we'll still be involved in something. Yep. King Bible level four effect lasts 0. 0.5 seconds longer. Base damage up by 10. Spinach again or armor again? I think let's let's keep going with religion. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's such stealth. a good deep voice, man. I wish I could freaking talk I, that way. I love, I love John DiMaggio's voice. I love his Marcus voice and just how different it is from his Bender voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and I mean, he, he sounds pretty similar in um, uh, Adventure Time comparatively to... Um, Bender, but yeah, well, I think I believe his uh, voice in Adventure Time is basically his actual voice. Oh, that must have been a I lot think, easier. Yeah, I think that's his actual cadence and how it sounds. Oh, cool. Whip base damage up by five. Axe base damage up by twenty. Or armor reduce incoming damage by one. Maybe the whip. Yeah, I'm thinking the whip. <laughs> Ghost ride whip, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to, but there's too many ghosts trying to kill me, and I guess skeletons actually, but. Let's see, that's why you ghost whip the ride. Beat up your car, and that's what we're that's what we're teaching. Oh, <laughs> treasure chest, treasure chest, get it. Oh, there's actual ghosts. Oh no. They heard what you said. You win! Big win! Level <laughs> 60 bucks and a level for the axe. Which gives us that's what, the base damage by 10? Yeah, base damage up by 20. Nice. <laughs> that instant level up though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's knife, magic wand, or spinach. Uh, now that you're not killing things in one hit, maybe the spinach is pretty good. I actually went for the magic wand because I think that locks oh. on. Yeah, there we go. So we got a random lock on Ooh. shot. I can definitely see why this game has such a good rating. This is just a nice time waster. And I mean, like, this is this is just our first character. We've got no unlocks, nothing like that. You can level up the character so they start more powerful. Yeah. What was that? Oh, shoot. It has a similar thing to it. Uh, it's a completely different game style. Was it called Loop Hero? Yeah. Um, it, yeah. That is, a, that is a game. Yeah, that that one right there got like so much playtime from Erica. Like she loved that game. Loop Hero was really good. It was one of my favorite games last year. <laughs> What's funny is that I get that one and like, I think it's called like, uh, one minute hero or like 10 second half hero mixed hero. up. Half minute hero, that's it, yeah. That's Dude. another really good game, half minute hero. Yeah. That's super fun. That's Freaking a lot of plants. 
I didn't know this was plants versus zombos. Oh, I'm not killing these plants very fast, I'll tell you that much, so I think they're gonna win. They're closing in on me. Oh, oh so no. I th you might have to, like, um, focus on certain ones or find your way through it. Axes can pass through two more enemies if I level that up, or whip would get base area up by 10% and base damage up by five. Oof. Mm. Bigger whip, bigger whip. Yeah, there we go. Look played... at this, look at this! Oh, heck yeah. I, I've not played uh, uh, the second coming, no. I've only played the first one. Yeah, the second one didn't interest, er, it didn't interest me nearly as much for some weird reason. Oh, they just disappear, cool. I guess I, it's just a uh, an area of control for a little it, while. It might just be a case of like, I did enough damage to it as a whole. Mm, fair enough. Or maybe I killed the enemy that was actually controlling them. Mantis! Manta! Eat him. He's a strong boy. He is a strong boy. So I'm trying to grab more of these crystals so we can get more levels. We've already killed 739 enemies, apparently. Yeah, we're not doing much damage. He has a green one. Give me the green one. That meter is not moving anymore. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Uh, most of it, boss. It, uh, I think I got like four, four or five hours in me. <laughs> yeah, he won't be here for the full thing, but like that's that's understandable. I don't expect most people to have as bad of a sleep schedule as I do. <laughs> How long do you normally go for? Like six hours? Uh, yeah, six to seven hours depends. Depends yeah, on would, the mood. And since I've been on ADHD meds, I've got a lot more energy. So that's good. Sometimes you just need those things, man. Oh, this is a big jackpot. Look at that. Whoa. Two whip upgrades and a Bible. <laughs> All right, so that puts our whip at what? B whip base damage up by five. And I won't get to read the rest because I didn't find out what button I needed to see the rest. So assume it's good. <laughs> The green ones. Oh, it was good, Cole. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was. Oh, it was oh, pretty oh. good. Holy frick! Oh, they're mad. They're mad. Oh, they're mad. Get the green ones while you're still alive. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh! I need oh, base I speed up. Is what I need right now. All right, axe to fire one more projectile. Just throw more axes everywhere. The revised standard version, by it just keeps getting more and more refined <laughs> with levels. <laughs> What's up, Paul? Good to see you. <laughs> Get all these candles. What's in the candles? Money. Tis indeed, planet. I wonder how long an actual run of this is supposed to take. That's what I'm, one thing I'd be curious about. Because the the videos I saw when I was originally looking at this game looked insane. Like, it, it gets hectic. Just a single. Dude, what if this happened every time you opened up a chest in freaking uh, Legend of Zelda? That'd be great. Just coins I think I would enjoy everywhere. <laughs> I would enjoy <laughs> Zelda games more with this. <laughs> More Bible and longer lasting, too. I played it a, a couple times clockwork, but um, I'm not really good at it. I think you're right, Jared. I think it's time for spinach. Time to go Popeye. Spinach! Time to go Popeye style. For diddly diddly do, I'll scoop it up, buddy. Kill zombies. Kill zombies, Popeye. Save olive oil. <laughs> GG, Dan. You're talking about the uh, Valumental, right? The Phoenix Valumental? That was a that was a thick patch of bats. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> patch of bats. That's a hard thing for me to say. Is patch actually the word for just a group of bats? Well, it was just a big old patch on the screen. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> Santa water. Sa Santa water? Do we want to level up our whip to seven, or do we want some Santa water? Bro, I think you know the answer to that question. 
Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> it says it just leaves damage zones. Oh, yeah, there we go. I see it now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Santa water for me? Oh, that one with the shield takes a lot of damage, but he drops a treasure. Come on, something good. Come on, more Santa water. No, it's the whip. <laughs> Get the ho ho hos. <laughs> 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 Gotta spray him down with the Santa water. <laughs> Someone said a Santa does apparently mean saint, because I guess that makes sense, Saint Nicholas, so. <laughs> that oh was boy. funny. Oh god, did we leave any meat around? Oh boy. Oh boy. T-pose on your enemies to assert dominance. Oh! Ooh! We can level up the Bible to the... I think level 8 is supposed to be the max. So let's let's get maximum Bible. Bro, you got the sock! Look at oh that! <laughs> Alright, base damage up again. Oh, that yeah. was very helpful. That was refreshing. Yeah, if only we'd gotten the meat with that, too. S sipping the Santa water. <laughs> <laughs> meat! Nice. We're still in it. Meat. We got a giant. Oh, that's an even bigger mantis now. Oh my god. Oh, and you're surrounded. And the plants are back. Organize religion, save us! <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I think I think this run might be ending soon. We we're running out of space here. You can do it. Just keep th <laughs> keep throwing the book at him. <laughs> I brought four Bibles with me. There's a Sunday school somewhere without its resources. <laughs> Go to your nearest hotel on the side. The side. <laughs> Look for the Gideons. Look for the Gideons. Oh, we're Uncle so dead. Frick! <laughs> the Gideons. Oh, uh, you might be able to. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, you know what? The Laurel might be. Yo, you just walk, th walk through after you use the Laurel. Go! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that worked! Let's go, baby! Oh, there we go. Oh, no! Oh, no! There's a oh. new wall now. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a new here. wall. Oh, boy. And they're blocking all the meat. Luckily, they go down quick, so you can, like, mow through them. Oh, I'm gonna need to. As long as I have the Bibles around me, I seem to be okay. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. What is that? I got a stopwatch. Um, yep, we're getting more Santa water. Holy frick, that stopwatch is broken. That was very helpful. That was extremely helpful. Oh my god. Oh, there's come. so many. Oh, oh, yeah, that did a lot of damage. Ooh, you. You have like one health. Like I know. One I'm health. aware. I'm trying to find more candles. But uh, there's a lot of skeletons here, making it hard to get to these candles. Get it? Ah yes, field chicken, my favorite. Yeah, I guess it's better than wall turkey. <sighs> Amen. Uh, Laurel cooldown reduced by 0.5 seconds. Shield invulnerability increased by 0.2 seconds. <laughs> Funny Toki. <laughs> oh. Another suck. Ooh! More Santa water! <laughs> Holy frick. Let's get that whip up. Let's see if level 8 is actually the end. Oh, I think we got, we got werewolves and ghosts now. We might be in trouble. Bro, where'd you get that vacuum cleaner? That suction power is great. <laughs> I went down to the local store. I went like, I got a lot of orbs on the ground I can't pick up with my hands. I'm like, we got just the thing. <laughs> you don't hey, need your hands you. no more. <laughs> Do you need? <laughs> I sound like Spamton. 
<laughs> Rick, you, do you need, <laughs> do you have stuff you need to pick up from a long way away? Well, come on down to <laughs> I can't even keep it up. I'm, I'm giggling too much. Ooh, we got fireworks. I think we got the super rare. <laughs> Rick, you, Cyber City. <laughs> oh no, there's like five things here. What's happening? Wow. Jackpot. Two axes, one laurel, or sorry, three axes, one laurel, and some more Santa water. <laughs> How do I read? I want to read them all. Let me read, other than just spinach. Okay, just takes time. Fires one more projectile base area up 20%. And then our axes, base damage up by 20. <laughs> Passes through two more enemies. And what's the last one? Come on, size up. Size up. Base damage up by 20. No, okay, no. That's still a lot. That's still a lot, that, though. You want that thick axe action. It's hard to say without saying a curse word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frick! Oh! oh, it's ghosts now. Uh, Yeah, spinach. We need spinach. Popeye, I need you. Popeye, save me. Oh, dude, that ghost wave is ridiculous. That ghost wave is a little too close for comfort right now. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I think we're going to need another vacuum. Get out of here, you spooky fricks! I need that, I need that. Oh my god! <laughs> you just wait, you get another vacuum, I I'm gonna make a sound effect, this could be great. Well, let's let's try to find one then. I haven't I got, seen I got a candle in a while, though. <laughs> oh, there we go, there's a couple. Life is better with your own sound effects, let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 4 looks insane. <laughs> Yo, man, I would be all in on Luigi's Mansion 4 if it was as hectic as this. <laughs> I'd, I like Luigi's Mansion, and even then I'm like, man, I would love this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Those bats are tanky. Those bats are tanky. That shield one's the one that has uh, oh, treasure. So let's see if we can get something good off this. Ooh, ooh. Single. On something good though. Laurel. Excuse me. Or is that the spinach? Spinach. Base damage up by ten. Which right now we do need more damage, so that works out. I also need a vacuum cleaner, so if this game would be so kind as to lead me towards the nearest Electrolux, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> um, what is it? Um, that font. The, the font from the enemies looks slightly like Stardew Valley's font. Like, very close to it. I say, it's very close to Castlevania's font. So, I think that's what they were going for. Mm. No, I don't think I'm just... Oh, no, you're right! Damage. I think we're done on this one. Yep. Damn. Damn! 3,527 enemies killed. 935 bucks. We got the level 23. It's actually pretty good for your first try ever. We got a bunch of achievements. Find <laughs> five floor chickens. We did 109k damage with the Bible. Survive 15 minutes, earn 935 gold, level 23, enemies defeat 3,527. We just got a bunch, yeah, 12 unlocks because of that. Reach level 10. Reach level 5. Survive 1 minute with any character. And survive 10 minutes with any character. Oh, I, I wonder how long that achievement lane, lane goes for the minutes played. Let's do some power up. What do we got here? We can upgrade every item, apparently. Raise inflicted damage by 5%. Reduces incoming damage by one per rank. Augments max health by 10 per rank. Cover 0.1 <laughs> HP per rank. Hmm. We should also should probably buy some new characters, right? Uh, I see Imelda Belpass. Pascalana Belpass. And Gennardo Belpass. Uh, well, I mean, this one's only 10. Let's, let's unlock them. Gain 10% more experience every five levels. Max plus 30. 
Pasculana projectiles get 10% faster every five levels. Max 30%. Man, I might as well unlock them all at this point. And Gennaro. Oh, that's going to take most of our money if we do that. Permanent plus one projectile. All weapons. Ooh. Hmm. Do I want that? That's tempting. That's going to take most of our money. Yeah, let's give that a shot then. Power-ups. Do we have anything we can put in here? Did I spend too much of my money? Uh, 200 for my... There's a couple I can do for 200. And a couple I can do... Yeah, that's it. 200. So we can do gain 10% more coins per rank, which to me makes sense because that would get us more money. Uh, raise inflicted damage by 5% per rank. Max plus 25. Augments max health by 10% per rank. And recover 0.1 HP per rank. Per second. Mm. I can't afford luck. I would do that if I could. I don't have enough money for luck or magnet. We have 215 coins. We're choosing what we can use now that will help. And I think recovery is going to be the winner. Let's give Gennaro a try. Let's see. Stage like Mad Forest. The castle is alive, but there's still free roast chicken here, so it's all good. An inlaid <laughs> library. This quiet, long library is the ideal place where to rest, meditate, and forge for roast chicken. But what's a stone mask doing here? Let's do the library, huh? Oh! Okay, Bro, so I've, they got, got the I've got daggers. Okay, so... This is straight Genesis music here. Yeah. Oh, boy. We need something good here. Uh, the Bible was pretty good last time, but we could also get more not. Yep. More knives. That's the answer. More knives. <laughs> more knives! Maybe I didn't quite think this through, considering it's blocking all the experience I need, but... Bro, any of y'all got the jammers? I'd love to see Robotnik rock into this. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Candle, candle. He is not as convenient <laughs> as as the whip boy was. Alright. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love the jammers. <laughs> Fire wand. Fires at a random enemy, deals heavy damage. Let's do that. Uh that just, that just gets my serotonin. Thank you for indulging me, Chad. I appreciate you. I randomly poop out fire, and it seems to do a lot of damage, so... <laughs> I didn't notice that until just now. <laughs> I don't know what you're eating, dude, but man, it's helping right now. Keep it up. <laughs> Who needs a high-fiber diet when you can breathe fire out your ass? Oh, that hurt a lot. That, that's, that's why you need the high fiber to make that stop. Peachone bombards in a circling zone. All right, well, we've got a... Ooh. We've got a missile pigeon. Bro, that's the, that's the goose from Entitled Goose Game. Picking <laughs> things up. Right now, not that helpful the way he's shooting, though. So it actually really is the goose from Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> Look, he had a little bit too much to drink. But... <laughs> we can up he's the fire definitely wand. Trying. Garlic. Damages nearby enemies. Reduces resistance to knockback and freeze or hollow heart. Augments max health by 10%. Oof. Mmm. Mmm. I think I need that garlic. Now you're Wario. It makes sense. My stinky breath and my farts will save me. Burnt. Yeah, I basically have like this this aura around me. That's the garlic aura. <laughs> I can get that too when I eat garlic. People <laughs> <laughs> don't want to be anywhere near me. Uh, I could also now get the whip again. Uh, fire one level two. Or I could just nah throw in the axe. Let's just let's just cover ourselves in projectiles right now. 
Look at this nonsense. This is great. I can't wait to level up that pigeon. Like, I bet you that and max level that thing does ridiculous damage. Bracer increases projectile speed by 10%. Yeah. Just, just more of everything. This garlic is really coming in handy. It gives them quite a spook. <laughs> All right, another knife. Fires one more projectile, base damage up by five. Uh, yeah, more knives. <laughs> Holy crap. The mummy's taken a beating, though. I haven't really seen anything drop a chest yet, which is also worse. I'm going to assume the mummy does that in this stage. I can also really use that food. I'm just really... I'm glad that the, uh, the enemies don't have projectiles so far. I'm sure at, like, endgame they do, and I'm sure it's a nightmare. Yep. Come on, something good. Big win. More knives. The true answer to life's problems. Fires one more projectile. Passes through one more enemy. Sure, Get let's more. go. Get more. <laughs> more knives for the knife lord. The knave. We shoot him pretty quick now too. Look at this. Fight our way through here, get another level. I really hoped more knives were gonna show up just then, I'm not gonna lie. Me too. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Bread makes you fat, Cole. <laughs> Bread makes you Bread fat? Makes you fat? <laughs> Dude, a good garlic bread though, like legit. Oh, frick. That's what I need to try and make next time we make some spaghetti over at the house. It's there. Fires one more projectile. Base area up by 40% for the pigeon. Yep. He's, uh. He's now a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> Jesus. We gotta, we gotta get that thing leveled up more. We only got it at what, level two, I think that was? I want I want to see that thing at max level. Garlic base area up by 40% base damage up by 2 candle labrador. The frick is a candle labrador. Augments area of attacks by 10%. Ooh. 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 Sounds like a pokemon. I got to do it. Candle labrador. <laughs> I love that they're just like, yeah, no, candle opera is a thing. No, we're going, we're doing our own thing. Level two is the cam, the candle labradoodle, and so on from there. <laughs> Turns into the candle Great Dane at the end. It's so <laughs> Send in the candle Saint Bernard. Santa Water Empty Tome reduces weapon cooldown by 8%. Yes. And wings character moves 10% faster. You know what you're doing? Yeah, weapon cooldown. More knives. More knives. More knives, more farting, more pigeons. I can't wait until you get like more of those weapon speed ups because you're going to look like the dude. You're going to look like Arthur from freaking um, Ghosts and Ghosts. Ghosts and Ghouls, man. Oh my god. I love Dagobah, flying right? everywhere. Yeah. Dagger attack is best attack. Unless you're speed running. I can't remember what the best one is for speed runs. Though. Uh, I think it depends. And it depends on which game you're playing too. Yeah. Because for some of them, like the charge move is better. Some yep. of them just the pure attack speed. I'm Sometimes pretty sure that there's one that just shows up or shows off where the um chests are, I think. It doesn't even have any, like, actual attack damage. Oh, yeah, that's the... I think that's the charger for the crossbow. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, more axes. More more projectiles. Oh, my just, God. Just more. Just more. Hashtag more. 
More axes. And sixty-eight dollars. Base damage up by twenty. Be careful now, John. A track orb! Character picks up items from further away. Ooh. Or knife fires one more projectile. Bro, more knives. Mm, more knives. Oh my god. <laughs> what the frick is that? It exploded! That's a satisfying sound effect. That yeah, is a very satisfying sound effect. Yeah, it's like an exploding <laughs> banshee chasing Amdras or something? You've alerted the witch. Oh god, there's a game I haven't played in a while. Man, this week, yeah. this is like the third time Left 4 Dead 2 has come up in conversation with me. It's weird. Huh. Base damage up by 10, base speed up by 20 for Fire Wand. Base speed for everything up by 10%, or fires one more projectile and base damage up by 10 for the for the pigeon. The pigeon! <laughs> mm. I love the way they spelled the pigeon. Peachon. Peachon. Peach one. Peach one. Ah, uh, yes. That is a very pretty pigeon. <laughs> Who's running the ape versus raptors? Is that uh, Crimson doing a one man? I don't know, because I don't see anything on the, the raid list otherwise. I think it was Crimson. I do see Crimson Post in it, so I'm just running a quick counter measure for you, bud. Or not, apparently. Never mind. Why didn't that play? I ate it. Why would you do that? I'm, I'm sorry. I was hungry, dude. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Here, give me a second. <laughs> I swear if it works now because you did that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I told you I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for uneating our countermeasures. Jared, appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for the rain, Crimson. <laughs> That's why they call me a thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> Eating all the videos. Uh, so, you know, we're wondering why, why John's uh, stream is sometimes a little bit buggy and stuff like that. Because he streams right after my dinner time. So, yeah, just put two and two together on that one. Stop Cook him McDonald's or something. Ew, McDonald's. All right, McDonald's got good French fries. I'll give him that. Yeah, I think it's kind of all they got sometimes. <laughs> I mean, it's her flagship, right? It's like you're not going to go to McDonald's to get a salad, you know? I mean, you're some people. I've heard their salads are actually all right. I've heard their coffee's all right too. They're okay. Real talk. Their coffee's actually freaking banger. McMuffins? Ooh. Ooh. All new stuff. Armor, reduces incoming damage by one. Magic wand fires at the nearest enemy. And crown, character gains 7% more experience. I think I gotta go with the crown. Dude, more levels freaking, um, needs more power. I think the last time I went to McDonald's was Christmas morning 2019. <laughs> wow. Because, <laughs> like... Me and Erica were really hungry after we went over to my family's house for uh, Christmas morning, and they were open until 11 o'clock. And we were just like, "Do you want? Do you want to go to McDonald's? Because it's the only place that's open right now." And we we had a wonderful meal. We actually went to the downtown pier to eat in my car, and it was really it was actually a really special moment. And we we always remember the Christmas McDonald's of 2019. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, that's the benefit of McDonald's. It's usually the only place that's open. Yeah. So. That is More true. knives! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, man, I used to really like the McFlurries, but every time I go there, I can't get one. Is it broken? I, it's a meme, I know, but it's like, I just, I can never go there whenever their machine works, sadly. I feel bad because I, like, I don't think ours ever really has that issue. But again, it's the same thing as you said. It's like one of the only places open half the time. So yeah, I'll tell you a place that has good freaking ice cream is Dairy Queen, man. Dairy Queen, the blizzards. Oh, yeah. Dairy Queen doesn't set off my lactose intolerance for some weird reason. So like I can I can have it fairly often. <laughs> it's not real milk. <laughs> I mean, I can believe that. Yeah. 
Ugh. The Dairy Would Queen like learned the true the truth. No one cares about actual dairy. <laughs> More like dairy. Oh, Far here we go. Back right? in time. Oh, Clock Lancet. Chance to freeze enemies in time. Santa Water and the Whip. Well, that's a pretty good one. Mm, I think we're going to take that Lancet. Oh my god, you do that way too well. <laughs> it's like a wet back. Like, look. It's getting up from all the way across the level! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't keep it up! Uh, do I want the last knife upgrade or do I want base area? Yeah, base area up by 40%. That we're doing that. Oh, that's thick. Oh, look at that. What I did for the Lancet already. Good lord. There we go. Oh, look at that though. Like that thing like stops them. That's really cool. Ching, like that. So I basically have a time freeze laser. Yep. God, I wish I had that. <laughs> Me too. Make things a little bit easier. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that's interesting, Z Hubs. Okay. It doesn't. Um, Dairy Queen Soft Serve does not have enough milk fat to qualify as ice cream in the States. Huh. Interesting. I'd assume it's the I same mean, here in Canada. I can't see it being that different. Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing because, like, um, my stomach doesn't like lactose that, that, that much. Like, I wouldn't say that I am intolerant of it. I would just say that I'm, you know, uh, biased against it. <laughs> yeah. So many! Oh. Oh, the burrs oh. are out now. It's kind of like, uh, what was it? Subway's bread is not actually bread, it's actually considered cake. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's not enough, like, wheat in it to classify as bread in, was it Ireland? Yeah, that's crazy to think about, isn't it? Insane. It's really, it's... It's really weird what we put in our bodies sometimes. And like, listen, I am I am all for a nice like Wendy's hamburger every now and then. I'm not trying to shame or nothing, but it is just so strange like the stuff that we will put in our in our bodies. Like, even like a Pepsi, right? Like, good lord, there's so much sugar in a thing of Pepsi. But I had one tonight. They're just, it's just good. Now take your word for it. I gave up pop a long time ago. So I used to not drink soda, but I would drink a frick ton of sweet tea because of the fact that I was like, oh, it's better for you. It's in not. The it's South, more sugar. It's not. Yeah, in the South, it's not. And the ironic thing is, I drink soda now, every every now and then, of course, um, because of the fact that the phosphoric acid in the soda helps d to digest the sugar so it doesn't frick up my stomach anymore. Huh. Isn't that weird? So I went from drinking nothing but sweet tea, thinking it was okay, to drinking water and soda and I'm way healthier. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, man, how it works out. Oh, the Gorgons would... are here. Here come the Medusa heads. Oh, oh, God. I would say I'd probably be a lot healthier if I didn't drink any soda, but you know, sometimes I, I, I have a, I got a couple of vices and I'm okay with that. And everyone's gotta have some sort of vice. Yep. Yeah, sweet tea is really bad for you. I've not had a glass of sweet tea in three years, I think. Two years, actually. I had a checkup uh, like this past week, and the doc's like, "Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like give up. You gotta change your diet." And I'm just like, "Oh man, I know I have to, but I'm just dreading it." <laughs> yeah, I know the feel. I actually, it's funny. I went to the doctor on Monday um, because we're still watching that whole like hernia thing, and I am, I am probably in the best health I've ever been in. Uh, he said, and I am really, really happy about that. Nice. I've been, me and Erica have been walking a frick ton, like, every, every day, and that, like, just going for a, a walk every day, you'd be surprised at how much it changes how your body affects, uh, what you eat. I'm not really surprised, because I know that, like, when I first moved up to Alberta, I gave up pop, and I started walking, because I had to get to school every day. Yeah. And I lost 50 pounds by the end of the first semester. To That'll a point where my parents were worried I was unhealthy from how much yep. weight I had lost. Yep, yep, yep. And meanwhile, right now, like, I started uh, Vyvanse, and that has made me lose 10 pounds in the time span of about a week. Oh, wow. Or maybe not, maybe, sorry, a month. Repeat that, a month. And I'm like, this is great. I'm like, I love this. Like, it's helping me lose weight. And my dog's like, yeah, no, you need to lose, like, another 25. Nice try. <laughs> like, damn. Yeah. Shane Walker, thank you for the kindness. I appreciate that. And uh, DD Traveler, 
It's it's uh, it's called a sliding hiatal hernia. It just happens sometimes, and it's not that big of a deal. It was painful for a while because of the fact that I was dealing with a little bit of anxiety, and my anxiety shows up in my stomach, which is really funny. Like like it's it's weird, but uh, ironically, 2020 and oh, I'm sorry, 2021 and at the beginning of 2022 has been pretty much fantastic, and I've not really dealt with too much of it. So. 2020 was rough. <laughs> yep. Yep, buddy. It, it was rough. It was rough on everybody. But, yeah, uh, buddy. but, yeah, whenever I went to the doctor, he was like, yo, you're in great health. I'm like, frick, yeah, let's go. Uh, but, yeah, and, and uh, Paul as well. No, you're good, man. Sweet tea's freaking bad for you. <laughs> Dude, oh, God. I want to buy a stationary bike for the house, but I already got a Bowflex. And I don't use I'm it. Say, if you have a Bowflex, you're, you're basically set. That thing is supposed to be good for like a ton of things. I know, but that's the thing. I want to ride a bike, but I don't want to go outside. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we, I, I, if I had the money, I would get a Peloton. Dude, like, same. As, as memey as it is, like Ugh. they are, they seem to be pretty good exercise bikes. They're just overpriced exercise. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, did you? That's a lot of green. That is a lot of green. <laughs> <laughs> like Reese, we started picking up like a bunch of different, uh, different like exercise equipment around the house lately. So we've got like those trampolines. Yeah. We've got like one of those like portable like. Uh, forgot the word for a second. Treadmills. Stuff like that. We're just trying to do our best, but it's just like, man, sometimes you just don't want to use it the way you should. Hey, Amen. Do I have Ring Fit? Yeah, I used Ring Fit for a while, and every time I did, like, it worked out pretty good, but it was just also one of those ones that was hard to keep the habit going with. Yeah, I agree with that a lot. Um, I mean, same thing with, like, Beat Saber, DDR, like, all that stuff. It's just, it's hard to keep the habit. Yeah. So, um, we've got, I've got a, a VR headset now, and I'm like, maybe... Maybe Beat Saber will be the thing that gets me in there? Because I was playing, Dude. like, mini golf with Popsky the other day, and I was like, damn, I am really out of shape, but this is fun. <laughs> so I could see, Dude. like, that helping. Yeah, I've been I've been getting back into Beat Saber because me and Erica both got each other um, Quest 2s for Christmas, and uh, it has been a lot of fun. The only problem is, is that I, uh, sadly, I can't play a lot of other VR games because of the fact that I get <gasps> terrible motion sickness. Oh! And it sucks. I got an, a knife upgrade. I got thousand knives. <laughs> so now there's no delay on my attack. <laughs> Holy frick! You're literally a Toho character now. Thousand blades. <laughs> Unlimited knife works. Pigeon, Ooh. bracer, and a candelabra. Base speed oh up by ten percent again. Nice. Give me the others. Fires one more projectile, base damage up by 10 for the pigeon. Yes, yes. And the candelabra was what? That was AoE? Base area up by 10. Oh, there we go. There we go! There we go! Yeah! Oh my god. Let's go! Yeah, Let's I can, go! <laughs> I can play Beat Saber because I'm stationary. Uh, any game that makes me walk around while I'm not actually walking, oh man, I'm just like, <laughs> city. Jesus! I'm <laughs> I'm looking at the Pelotons. Oh my god. What are these level ups? Oh, we got... Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, these are all really good. Oh, these are all really good! Am I scaring the cat? Oh, buddy, I'm okay. I'm sorry, <laughs> buddy. I was just really excited about this video game. Blue does the same hey, thing scared. with me. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Sorry, right, buddy. Didn't mean to scare you. Poor guy. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Oh. Dude, I am looking at Peloton <laughs> bikes right now. Holy frick! Yeah. Okay. They are too. Big old, big ran downstairs because he heard me yelling. He got real scared. Oh. He was checking on daddy. Yeah. 
Uh, did we glitch this? Because we've got, we keep getting level ups. I can't tell if we, if we glitched the game. Nope, we didn't. We just got it. We supposed to got like a lot off of someone. Oh, yes, yes, more! <laughs> Yeah, Mega Nerd, whenever it comes down to that, it's all about, um, uh, just moderation. It's all about doing it in moderation. Like, you can have a hamburger every now and then, it's not gonna kill you. But if you have a hamburger every two minutes, that's probably Well, if you're to eating kill anything you. every two minutes, I think that's just a recipe for disaster there. <laughs> uh, dude, oh my god, I'm looking, I'm looking at the Peloton bikes right now, and I'm like, Nah. <laughs> <laughs> They're expensive. They are, they are expensive. They're, they have a thick price tag on them, man. Good that, lord. That's the crummy thing about, like, most exercise stuff, is that it's just so expensive to exercise if you want to do it conveniently. You can do yeah. it without any of that stuff if you have the, the willpower. Mm -hmm. But, like, most people don't because <laughs> we kind of just want the easy way. Like, I'm not blaming anyone for doing that. I'm the same fucking way. I am, too. That's why I got a Bowflex. I, I do use it every now and then, but uh, it's like a lot less than what I thought whenever I bought the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's how it always goes. Like everyone, yep. like Pelotons and like uh, everything else, they just become like the most expensive bike rack you could, or hat rack you could have bought. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, um, uh, the game Pikmin Bloom is wonderful uh, if you have it in your area because like uh, it's just a really, nice little way of tracking your steps. They had a community day today where it's like, yo, walk 10,000 steps and you get a badge. And I'm like, that's cute. <laughs> nice. I just use Planet Fitness if I don't really have those in Canada. I mean, that's a gym. Like, we have gyms. Yeah. We just, this is just not the best time to go to a gym. Death Spiral, Evolved Axe, passes through enemies, requires the Candle Labrador. Heck yeah, Becky, get it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That rules. Wow. That oh my rules. god. That rules, dude. Look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense. This whiffs so much. That moment when you become a human combine harvester. <laughs> All right, more experience. Good. Good, more levels. Give me more. <laughs> it just wow. kind of, like cruises through crowds. That's so good. I cannot even pick up all of this anymore. You I need, to, I need to find power. a vacuum just so I can clean all this up at this point. Dude, if you hit a vacuum, that is going to be so much. It's going to be so satisfying is what it's going to be. Yeah. I'm not seeing and any, the, though, which is making me sad. The fact that this game is running as good as it is with all this on the screen is actually oh, kind of ridiculous. What's that too. potato? Oh, I got that fire breath. I got that fire breath now. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. That was a spicy potato. I mean, based on how many things they're throwing at me, it looks like I needed it. Good lord. By the way, you're coming up on 10,000 kills right now. Well, 9,000 at the moment, but almost 10,000. He's hoping. Yeah, this run's going uh, way better than the last one. All thanks to a million knives. <laughs> Fireballs, yum. I'm sad we have not found a vacuum. I would love, absolutely love to see the game just try to track grabbing all of these. Getting to the point where I'm actually skipping picking these up because I'm hoping to find the vacuum. Ooh, 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 they're all pretty good. Base, yeah, base area. Base.
Where is vacuum? I would really like vacuum. You know, I didn't think we were gonna be on this game for an hour, but man, am I glad that we work because this kicks ass. Weapon found! Empty tome! Cool down reduced by 8%. Get. And. Time stop. Not that we really needed it at the moment, but. I'm not gonna say no. It's just. I'm looking forward to the next gigantic wave where you're like, oh god. <laughs> Me too. Well, I mean, well, we got this crowd over here. We might as well just deal. Oh, no, hang on. We got a treasure first. Three. Come on, what we got? What do we got? Pigeon, heart, and book. Ah, oh, yes. What do we a got? Book. Max health increased by 10%. Fires one more projectile, cooldown reduced by 0.3 seconds for the pigeon. And for the book, cooldown reduced by 8% again. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I want all of these. Uh, the pigeon is just... <laughs> Firing non-stop now. This is <laughs> phenomenal. Holy crap. I would like to point out, this is an early access game, so like this is nowhere near what this game is going to be like by the end. But right now, this this kind of rules. I hope that they do well. Well, like I said, it's got almost 6,000 reviews of, all, like, overwhelmingly positive. That's insane. Yeah. And the game is only, like, three bucks Canadian, so that's, like, two bucks US? If even? That guy's, that big boy taking a lot of hits. Yep. Dude, if they put this, like, out on the Switch, like, that's, like, a no-brainer. Nice. Is this on Steam? Yes, this is on Steam. I'm specifically playing the Steam version. Yeah, this it is, is, this is early $3. access. $3. Three bucks, man. That's insane. This is worth, like, like this is less money than a Twitch sub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put it that way, yeah. Oh, here we go. It's heat-seeking skulls now. <laughs> oh dude. Oh my god, they're setting so much after me. They want you dead, John. Base area up by 10% again, let's go! Oh no. Nothing on this screen is gonna be safe. Man, and we barely upgraded anything, too, in the actual, like, post on the menus. I just realized that. We've just been getting this lucky with, with this setup. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah, we, we got it. We got it. <laughs> uh... Ooh, looks like we got a bunch of levels off that. We're almost level 50. I wonder if there's even a, ca a max cap for levels in this game. Hmm. Give me that garlic shield. Well, I'm still getting experience, so clearly 50 is not the cap. Ooh, they're starting to actually take some hits now. They're starting to get a little tanky.
Fireworks! Here we go! Uh-oh. Holy frick! Five upgrades! All right, looks like uh, two health, two time, and one fire wand. Max health increases by 10%. It's gonna show up twice. Cool damage reduced by 0.5 seconds. Effect lasts a second longer for slowdown. Base damage up by 10 for the fire wand. And I assume it's another 10%, yep. Yeah. That was super worth it. <laughs> Dude, this is such a power trip. This is great. <laughs> I now I was like, man, 99% like that seems insanely high for a Steam game. No, I see why. The core gameplay loop is really fun. It's just absolute nonsense. Well, I gotta be careful, looks like I'm actually starting to take hits now. When does it stop? Is it just when I die? Or is there an actual end to this? I think it's infinite. Maybe level 100? There's got to be some way for the, the game to end. It can't just be... Like, eventually the enemies have to scale to a point, right? Everyone's, I don't know. I got another 30 minutes. Oh, it ends at 30 minutes. Straight up. Oh. oh. I thought that was just an approximation when someone mentioned that earlier. I didn't realize that was the actual end of a run. You get hard stopped by, I think, death coming after you with the half hour mark. Hellfire, evolved fire wand, passes through enemies, required spinach. <laughs> wow. Literal freaking meteor up in here. It's the actual like spell that Dracula gets. It's actual Dracula's fireballs. Incredible. Incredible. I found a wall of enemies. I'm gonna go kill it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, look at all the numbers! Jeez. Oh, this kicks ass, dude! My garlic shield is even more powerful than before. <laughs> Your level bar, dude. <laughs> Just whoop. The game, like, we've gotten so many upgrades, the game's starting to run out of things to give us. <laughs> If you can max it. See if it gives you something special for maxing out all your There's items. There's probably an achievement for it at the very least. Probably unlock something. God, this yeah, fire. it's running out of things to give us. The fireballs are broken as frick. Wow. <laughs> the freaking pigeon, dude. Just destroys everything. Oh, oh here come that's, the bats. that's here pretty. Come the bats, the tanky bats. I do wish we had picked up that item that increased our pickup range. Oh man, some regrets there now. Who the freak is this? I don't know, but I am not getting near him. If I can help it. 
Okay. Yeah, so we can't upgrade anything anymore, so now it's, they're just giving us, like, extra health or extra money. Huh. I guess that makes sense. All the items, like, if you look on a level up, uh... Oh, it's not even showing it anymore. There used to be a window on the left that would show how many levels our items could take. They're capped. They're all capped. Dude, this guy is just not going down. He's taking a lot of hits, which is worrying me that Whoa. either that is actually death or... Oh my god! Oh, look at the freaking, uh... What are these, Gorgons? Yeah, those are definitely Gorgons! How many hits do you need, sir? There we go. Wait, what's this gonna be? Because everything's at max level already. Oh, just more money. Money! Money and money. Done. <laughs> I'll take it. You drive a hard bargain, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You've bent my rubber arm. Oh, that's a thick Gorgon. Oh, more. Oh, and and she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is a fast forward on that. Thank goodness I couldn't find it earlier. Holla, holla, get dollar. <laughs> I see that red experience. <laughs> Manui. <laughs> I would kill to see a vacuum power up right now. I know, oh I'm so sad God. we have not gotten one. Oh, 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 oh. the bit rate must be disgusting right now. You're getting that true 8-bit drummer experience today. <laughs> oh, is she lagging? She is lagging. This, ga this game is lagging from this, and I love it. Money. You got uh, two and a half minutes. Yeah. Can you make it to 30? I think we can. I think we have such a good setup right now. I think we're fine. But they are definitely taking a lot of hits now. Yeah. Oh, there's a... there's a. Oh, they get mad. They get enraged if you hit them once. No, oh, I didn't even notice that. They move quicker towards you, I think. I mean, there's also the big one over there, too, which if I can kill that, they'll drop a treasure chest, so maybe I should be aiming on that one. There we go. Yeah, give me your money. More money. Literally. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of unlocks now after this. Yeah. I want to know how many actual unlocks we're gonna get for this. Oh, man. Starting, starting that uh, pigeon in the upright position first, dude. Oh, frick. I'm oh, actually taking some damage. I gotta be careful now. Oh, these things are dropping red level, red crystals though for levels. Wow. We made it to 69. Nice. We're leveling up so fast now. Oh my god! <laughs> One minute. Dude, those red gems are insane! Oh my god! What? Yeah, no, they're just they're just dropping them now. Oh, explode! Oh no! Oh, I need help! I, oh, Dude. yeah, we're taking a lot of hits. Those explosive explosive ones are deadly. Wow. 
Dude, that was so close. You were like a pinch away from death. Oh no! Well, I might still be. Twenty seconds. Dude, weak. I can't fucking move anymore. Fifteen. Where's that damn vacuum when you need it? Ten seconds. Oh my god. There's death. <laughs> it just freaks you up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that has that has like hardcore ski free energy. Holy frick. Eleven achievements and eleven new unlocks. Good lord. Good lord. That's a lot of stuff we just unlocked. We lo unlocked Alucard. Sorry, Arca. <laughs> we did two point two million damage with the death spiral. Hellfire was definitely your highest DPS. Pichon, 972. Oh, you know, I see the case there. You're right. Hellfire, 4.6k DPS. Amazing. Amazing. That ruled. That That's a good ruled. little game. Once again, quick reminder, that is where this game is $3 on Steam right now. And it's an early access. Like, uh, definitely give it a check out. Arca Ladonna. Weapon cooldown is reduced by 5% every 10 levels. Max minus 15. Starts with a fire wand. And Poe Racho. Permanent plus 25% pickup radius and minus 30 max health. Oh, so he's man. an old man. Old man Arr. with garlic. That's his starting weapon is garlic. <laughs> he's got a toot on you. <laughs> and then we've just got all, all these upgrades. These are pretty much the same ones, too. Uh, let's put some into luck. And effects from weapons last 50% longer. Speed, magnet. Character moves 5% faster per rank. Gain 10% more coins. Oh, and I think we only have enough for one. Oh, wow, these go up. Uh, pretty wow. expensive, actually. I just noticed that. I think I guess that's why there's the refund power ups at the bottom because there's a scale to it, which makes sense. They gotta have they gotta have some form of uh, forcing you to actually keep playing it. Mm -hmm. uh, did that unlock any other stage by chance? Nope, just the two, huh? Well, that's a bit of a bummer. But there's a hyper menu. Uh oh. Fifty percent gold bonus, ten percent luck bonus. But I assume that means also way All faster. Right. Hang Listen, on. Listen, we have to take a look at I it. I need I need to. That's a lot faster. <laughs> That's a lot faster. Heck <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, let's, let's not commit to the run, but yeah. <laughs> the fact that they turned the music faster just kills me. That is great. That is great. And there's still, look at, we still miss so many items too. There's still so many things we got to unlock. Oh, uh, that was great. Oh, dude. This is cool. I highly recommend this. This was a lot of fun. Holy cow. Oh my god, that was freaking awesome. <laughs> let's turn off the Oh, that's such a good touch. Alright, let's go to the cookie finally. I'm sure some people are, ex are excited we're finally going there, but man, that was a blast. I had a ton of fun with that. Yeah, for, uh, for three bucks, man, that's a good time. Alright. It's been a bit for some of you, so let's get you all wrapped up. If you're new here, here's how this works. We pick five random games from my game collection, and you guys vote on a Stream Tech link dropped by the bot from Stream, Check, Stream Tech to see what game we play next. Jared, since you're a CoCom, you get to suggest a game as well. Yay! And we are also this year adding in CoCom, sorry, uh, viewer choices as well. We've got a queue. If you have enough egg points, you can add a game to it. So, Jared, let's start with your game. Uh, Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania. Let's say Steam. Let's throw in the viewer choices. What do we got? From Freeze. Let me make sure this is actually correct this time because we I kept goofing this up on Wednesday stream. From Freeze Star. 
Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes for the PlayStation 3. <laughs> I like your uh, your chow uh, poggers there, Alita. That's great. <laughs> and I've also got from Winged Wolf. Mobile Suit Gundam. Gundam versus Zeta Gundam for the PlayStation 2. That one's a mouthful. All right. We've got those thrown in and the following five games. Game number one is not showing up. <laughs> I did not eat the cookie. Are you sure about that? Not that. Okay. I'm going to check. It literally says loading. <laughs> Put the cookie down. <laughs> Put that thing down. Uh, Deef, the, uh, the site all right? Mega power. Looks like I broke it when I deployed yesterday. Sorry. Uh-oh. Jared spit it out. Listen, man. I didn't eat it, bro. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't like the taste of fortune cookies. Man, they are pretty... What's... I'm trying to even describe the taste. <laughs> well, I guess you're not supposed to eat the paper inside, huh? Yeah, no. Deep, uh, will it even let me make a poll? Because I can just pull community choices. But if I can't make a poll, then it's redundant. All right, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see if we can do that. I'm gonna throw in uh, three more community choices, and <laughs> let's hope lying? let's hope the poll feature works. <laughs> I'm not lying, man. Let's see. I got a game from Falcon Pain. Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. Episode one. Homestar Ruiner on Steam how long that yep that's that's a very long title okay i'm being told making polls will still work so we'll just do the uh, community choices then from jimbo jimbo doggo mario's time machine for the nes oh my god thanks jimbo hope you're doing good bud haven't heard from you in a while hope you're all right and from ulrich 362 Remember me for the Xbox 360. The game that apparently the Life is Strange devs made before Life is Strange, as I found out on Wednesday. I didn't realize that. All right, let's see if this works at least. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Hey! <laughs> hey, there's me. And the bot's working too. Heck yeah. So yeah, uh, Deep's right. It is just the actual cookie that's not working tonight. So you have a brand new system, huh? Uh, well, we've used yeah, we've used the, that site for a while. Ah. Th this is our new polling site and everything. Ooh. It's not just for us. Uh, it's just that uh, Deep set it up and we were the test case basically. Ah, cool. Okay. All right. So far, currently in the lead. Oops, I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> That'd be why. That looked weird. Mario's Time Machine. Golly. It's currently in the lead. Jim was going to be real excited about that if that wins. Uh, Mario's Time Machine for the NES. Currently in the lead. 116 votes. 29% of the vote. Sonic Mania is in second place. 90, or sorry, 101 votes. 24%. Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, 90 votes, 21%. Mobile Suit Gundam, Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam, 46 votes, 9%. Remember Me, 37 votes, 7%. And Sengoku Basara, Samurai Heroes, 29 votes, 5%. 540 votes clock so far. Mario's Time Machine leads 188 to 147 over Sonic Mania. Looks like we're going back in time. Now let's slap a minute on the clock and see what happens. If the game in second place is 1% away or less from the leader, it will be given an extra option and thrown on the next poll. However, since it's Jared's choice anyways, uh, he can just suggest a second game. He's allowed to <laughs> at that point. It's always weird when it's the COCOM choice, because it's just like, yeah, normally the rule is COCOM sit out if their game wins, 
but I bend the rules when it's a when it's a not like an infrequent guest. But then wow. when it's like if they get the one percent rule, and they're like, hmm, well, they probably want their game to win. That's why they picked it. So are they going to want to suggest the second game and cannibalize their votes? Like, um, I, I'm cool with basically whatever. So. Well, the good news is that you don't have to change a game because it definitely looks like Mario's Time Machine is winning this. Yep. <laughs> Just make you play Sonic Mania for the rest of the stream. It keeps winning. <laughs> <laughs> keep trying. Keep trying. I'll get it. I promise. All right. The winner, handedly by 50 votes, Mario's Time Machine. I've actually never played this game, nor have I watched anybody play it, so... So, so here's the thing. I grew up with the Super Nintendo... Where's the music? I grew up with the Super Nintendo Mario's Time Machine. I played the hell out of that. Huh. Uh, because I thought it was a neat game, for starters, and then also, it had this cool surfing minigame when you wanted to travel through time. Mm -hmm. But um, the NES one is somehow way shorter, but also less forgiving. You have to you you pick up an item and physically put it in your inventory, and you have to use it in the right place. If you use it in the wrong place or in the wrong time zone, it gets sent back to the present, and you have to go through everything again. It's oh, just God. really weird. The funny thing is, I think we actually uh, did this for game clearing already. I, th I think, or was that Mario was missing? Uh, let's find out. Dude, <laughs> that Kiryu <laughs> gif in the bottom center is just so awesome. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 20 July 27th, 2020, we beat Mario's time machine for a lightning round. So we've actually done a full playthrough of this. And it's probably short enough we could do that again. Uh, all right, let's drop some eggs. Clockwork Pretzels, Boss123, Spo Tulip, Captain Joe, and Inchone. Gift and a sub to Jared. Thanks all for the gift well, sets. Everyone else, thank you all for hanging around as long as you have. The list is a little too long to read, but I appreciate all of y'all. And special shout out to why are they on the list? There was a Hundo at the start of the stream. I don't see it here though. Oh, there it is. Scythian 2 for a hundred. Because we're finally hitting those a hundred month sub counts, which is in Insane. And there's a Dranicos with a 98 there as well. Thanks all for hanging around as long as you have. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What have we got in the carton? Do games you've completed not appear in Fortune Cookie, or is every game in your library possible? Every game that I can stream is possible on Cookie. There's nothing that's barred from it, except for regular Cookie usually has RPGs off. Some of them anyways. And, uh... Any game I just don't ever want to show up again, I usually mark off so it doesn't show up again. Alright, there's a lot of eggs in the cart, and I'm only going to play a couple of these. So let's start with this one from Yusuf Bifaru. Up to age three? Bifaru! Bye and bye! Age one. Bifaru! Bayamba. Age two. Bifaru. Bayamba. <laughs> Age three. Bifaru. Bayamba. I thought like the bass boost was going to kick in there somewhere. It was just going to be like. <laughs> Bifaru. Game fan with by Marge. Oh, I feel like I feel like the thumbnail kind of gives away what this is, Bullsh but you know, still gonna show it anyways. Game is very Simpsons. Holy shit! <laughs> Bye, Marge. Thanks for saving Popstar. Uh, okay. Green Day Rock with just play your workout music. Shit! Just play your fucking music. Oh, heck yeah, dude. <laughs> the fuck? I was listening to that. What was that from again? Bro, that's from uh, the game Lisa. Uh, 
and it is awesome. It's called Ooh. <laughs> Work least, smarter. Least, of, least of the painful RPG, right? Yeah, let me see. I can't remember the exact name of the game or the exact name of the song, but let me look it up because I have it in my stream song playlist because I play <laughs> it all the time. Uh, it's called Work Harder on Lisa. Nice. And this is the from Headset Guy. You will give me a good answer. You will give me a good answer. Good answer. Is it up there? Rest in peace, Louis Anderson. We're going to go to break. When we come back, we'll be playing oh. Mario's Time Machine for the NES. See you guys in a bit. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> like, so whenever whenever uh, chat gives me a workout related thing to do like the other day i was doing jumping jacks for the fun of it uh i play that in order to like pump myself up and it's so dumb but i freaking love it jared do you ever think you might have too much energy for one person <laughs> I do at times, but then I realize how lucky I am. <laughs> Can you share with the rest of the class? <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know how to share it, though. Like that's, Just that's hook funny. it into my veins! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do have a lot of energy, dude. Oh, my God. I don't know how. It's honestly impressive, dude. I like, <laughs> like whenever we watch you do your drumming, it's just like, man, no normal person can survive this. Like that's like just physically impressive how much of yourself you put into that. Dude, it's it's so fun, man. Like I, I've, <laughs> my mom always used to tell me whenever I was younger that I needed to be one of three different things: an entertainer, a public speaker. Or a musician, and now I am all three of those. I was gonna things. say you're all three. So <laughs> yeah, it's really funny how she just freaking called that crap, man. I love it. <laughs> the living personification of caffeine. <laughs> without the without the uh, what is it the uh, the drop off either. I'm just always <laughs> like. And Erica's funny because she she tells me that I have two modes. I'm either completely asleep or on. Like there, there is not any other thing for me. I'm just glad that I found a way to like utilize it to my advantage, because man, let me tell you what, <laughs> being in school and having this much energy, <laughs> oh lord, I was the teacher's favorite. <laughs> I'm, do you mean that sarcastically? Yes, I yeah, very. That, that's <laughs> what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Except for, dude, except for one teacher. Well, a couple teachers. I had some really good teachers growing up. But my fifth grade teacher, uh, I don't know if I want to say her name, but she, dude, she let me teach science class a couple of times. She let you teach the class? Yeah, like, I actually had, like, I made up, like, a uh, class about, like, um, volcanic rocks and stuff because I was really into uh, minerals and things like that whenever I was younger, like, collecting minerals and uh, different gemstones and whatnot. And she let me teach about um, metamorphic and ingenious rock, um, like all the different types of things, like how a volcano a volcano worked and stuff. And then I ended up uh, getting the class to make their own volcano, like, you know, the baking soda thing. So it was actually really cool. Dude, that's but, awesome. Yeah, she was she was a fantastic teacher because she she took kids under her, her under her wing that like nobody else would because i'm a freaking madhouse of energy right so it's like it's hard to like contain me so she was like you know what frick it i'm gonna let him teach the class and i did and it was one of the most empowering things as a kid that i can remember that i was able to do um so yeah shout out i once again i don't, I don't know if i want to say her name but just shout outs to her because she's wonderful. She still lives in my uh, my my hometown area. I saw her at like Staples about a month ago, or uh, I'm sorry, about a year ago, and I was able to introduce her to um, to Erica, and it was just a really wholesome moment because she's just like, "I'm so glad that you're doing well." And I'm like, "Frick yeah, dude, let's go." <laughs> that is incredible, dude. That's amazing. Yeah, like I have so much respect for teachers. <clears throat> Like in general, and also I have a very soft spot for teachers who go out of their way to unlock the potential of kids that nobody else would give time to, because somebody did that for me, and it definitely set me on a really good track. So <laughs> yeah, it definitely explains the format of my streams for sure. <clears throat> did I want to be a teacher when I grew up? N actually, no. Um, I wanted to be a meteorologist. 
uh, for the longest time. Like, I'm fascinated by weather. You would have been a very entertaining, like, weatherman. Dude, if, if yeah. If you went down that path. Absolutely. I, dude, I would have been, like, one of those guys that you, you see on, like, freaking, <laughs> like, like, E-Bombs World. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doing crazy crap. Uh. <laughs> All right. Boss123 says, preparing the SS... Uh, cheer one three hundred for liftoff. Oh shit! Wait, it's already launching. The cow <laughs> shot out already. Twalcario yeah. says, "Drummer man, drum us some luck." <laughs> Thanto Shade says, "Hey, so I have COVID nineteen and I feel like shit and I'm tired of the sore throat. Oh, sorry you got it, dude, but give yourself some rest and you should hopefully recover." Yeah, feel better soon, dude. Hopefully recover soon, dude. Here's hoping for a good recovery. Uh, Shadow King 25 says Wario time. Shadow King then says Wario time to the sequel. <laughs> and followed by Shad uh, I'm also saying Wario time three, the last bits. Winter says, hey, John, so I decided to buy and complete Paper Mario Sticker Star. I'd link you to the tweet I made about a glitch I had. What is this? Oh, you crashed. Didn't even finish the first stage and the game crashed. I was in the Sphinx level in 2-2 trying to hit a panel to open a door and it hit an enemy too. I exit the battle and the camera clipped out of bounds of the level and then I fell through the level and got a game over. Wow. Impressive. You've, you've found all the quality in Sticker Star. Thanks, Winter. Good luck on finishing it. <laughs> Faison Farmer says, Hey, since Jared's here, does that mean we should be as generous as we are on his streams? Yes. What, is that how that works? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Listen, listen, sometimes I'm just like, oh man, a gifted sub, and then it just shows up. And apparently all you have to do is say it. <laughs> like, <laughs> Manifest destiny, as we've learned. Yeah, absolutely. Using the secret. Pseudobite says, Gengar may be a psychic type, but he does uh, but does he have a psychic puffin shield? Probably not. No, I don't think he does. I'm sorry. Also, Jules and and Tyler aren't here, so that that doesn't work really at that point. <laughs> See, I freaking this told you it works. Me to you. Than Thantos Hades. Oh. What? You're saying Thantos Shades. Sorry. I mean, well, friends, I look forward to I think that was spelled different again. for a second there. I see the word Shades and my mind just locks onto that, sir. Sorry, Thanatos. Because I thought there was supposed to be an A in Thanatos, like in the middle there. Or I guess two A's technically, because there's the first one already. Anyways, uh, thank you for- oh, god. Okay, well, if you're doing it, then that's cheating. I just wanted to make the magic happen, John, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brandon's, like, in between mine. Like, we had- we shared the same I, they're, they're, like, inter so. Yeah, like, laced through. Very nice. <laughs> Weaved <laughs> together. Doing what? a zipper. Some random fox says, a random question, would you ever make well, or watch a meal finish a Grand Theft Auto Online, online mission or heist? Dude, I would absolutely love to do that. I would love a hundred percent to do GTA 5 online for TRG. That would be incredible. Well, friends. It will never happen for the channel. <laughs> Maybe on here it could happen, but for TRG as a YouTube channel, they he will never want to put that on there. I'm amazed he lets me get away with as much Rosa John stuff as he does on that channel, so. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> see, that, uh, that wasn't me. I'm not sure who it was yet. Let's see which Ryu it is. <laughs> Who's Ryu looking at? It's Robert. I think it's the classic. Robert, God. Just a cop. Get out of here. I will, but first. What the... Oh, it's the original. Okay. Horizon Strider kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, Challenge accepted, Jared. Also, answer the question. Are you on Team Beefaroo Devourer or Not Eat Beefaroo? Uh, oh, wait, me? Yeah. Um, well, well, I would not eat Beefaroo specifically, like the character, but I 
do like a nice hamburger every now and then. I had one for lunch today. It was pretty yeah. good. I no, we're, yeah, you're fine eating beef. But the, the thing is, Beefaroo summons infinite beef. So, but for some reason, people are like, well, if he summons infinite beef, he must taste way better than regular beef. No, so what the like, fuck? Why? What, okay, it's like cutting down a money tree. Like, are you? It is exactly. It's the golden goose. <laughs> <laughs> like who who in their right mind would do that that doesn't make any sense i'd rather have okay tasting beef for the rest of my life than like a little bit better tasting beef for one one and then you starve <laughs> that's like that's like the forbidden that's the forbidden question thank you Jerry. you're welcome chat absolutely <laughs> Mima Riru says, since Jared is here, I uh, I had another Proton John branded dream about Coliseum with the highlights of Jared and his wife, who was named Eve for some reason. I guess I forgot. Eva. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's like, they're like, I guess I forgot Erica's name. That's written in the message. They straight up, they, they know her name. Yeah. Playing Zelda and Link, a game where they had oh, to play man. through a top-down you know Zelda game doing? without killing each other, <laughs> but they could only attack to their sides. Another part was John was banned from playing co-op games because the lag made him cheat, what? like, a lot. Jules making all of the musicians play IRL Rock Band, which, isn't that just a concert? Uh, <laughs> with, with Minecraft cosplays on. And finally, Jules offering to eat his own ass for charity for a second year in a row. Wouldn't it be third at this point? No, that, that happened. That wasn't a yeah. dream. Yeah, that wasn't you, a dream. You gotta wake up now. Okay. <laughs> Please stop haunting my dreams, John. I can't tell what's real or fake anymore. Welcome to my life. Dude, and or the Matrix. You would be a very good uh, candidate for lucid dreaming, uh, my dude. Because that right there, you can do a reality check at that point. You're like, huh, this doesn't seem right. And then you're like, oh, cool. Now I can fly. <laughs> so, yeah, look at that. This, this dude is primed and ready. Still jealous you can do that. I'm working on it, man. It's 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 kind of tough. <laughs> uh, Philip J. Fry says, All "Right, it's Saturday night. I have no date. A two-liter bottle of Shasta and my All Rush mixtape. Let's rock." Bu2b intensifies. <laughs> Zering says, "Congratulations on being the first stream I'm watching to test my new Wi-Fi after moving into my first apartment. Congrats! Heck yeah." I'm exhausted, but so far everything's running smoothly, and I love it whenever Jared is a co-com. <laughs> oh, thank you. Meganerd says, 8-Bit Drummer is here. Well, then let's get some hashtag Master Musician 8-Bit Drummer in the chat. There's your revenge, John, for the God Gamer Proton John moment. But he didn't start it. <laughs> I want revenge for this phrase that's a compliment that bothers me. Pick a random person and annoy them with compliments. Like, that, yeah, that ain't revenge. That's just weird. <laughs> That's funny. Fleet Admiral Blue Triple Seven says, "For the ghosts, what about Pac-Man? If only he had been there, we might we might have survived death at that point." Sly Guy says, "Did you see the devs of Vampire Survivors posted a fake NFT thing saying they're against NFT practices?" Yeah, so that hot curry we picked up—that was an item called NFT. What was it actually supposed to mean? Let me find the actual update. Uh, your name da, 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 da. The NFT uh, is known as the Nduja uh, Frita Tanto. Okay, it can randomly drop from candles and braziers to add 10 spicy seconds to your run. So it's 10 seconds of fire breathing. Huh. It's literally just a glowing, like, Dorito. This is a glowing, like, Cheeto. Bro, I need a glowing Dorito. If only. You know if only what? They made Never that. mind. I, I, take, I take that back. <laughs> you don't want to rate it back to Dorito? You don't want to rate it back to Dorito? Clean out your, clean uh, out your colon a little bit? <laughs> Psychotic Sonic uh, says, So the last time I donated, mistakenly under my real name, I had tested positive for COVID. Well, I have good news. I tested negative today. Let's, let's go. Heck yeah. Also use the isolation time to replay Chrono Trigger. Still fantastic. Nice. Well, glad you're feeling better and glad it apparently... I assume it cleared at this point if it tests a positive, so. Alita says, no worse. Uh, no worse. It'll go right to your thighs and then you'll blow up. God damn it. <laughs> Liminality Carb says, more knives. What up, Liminality? Fleet Admiral Blue 777 says, the black candle, Abra. 
Smashing Ellie says, who's your favorite character to play as in Left 4 Dead 1 and 2? Uh, Coach. 2 was probably... Uh, see, I love Nick. I love Nick, because he's just the New York stereotype. But also, Ellis is kind of great. Coach is my favorite. Okay, well, I, I like Coach in his SFM videos that people yeah. make of him. I would say that's why he's my favorite, but Ellis is pretty freaking funny. I have a friend of mine who talks just like Ellis, and it's one, the best thing one ever. One time, my buddy Keith and I, we went down to a rodeo. <laughs> Kill all sons of biscuits. That's my official instruction. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good. Dude, I love Ellis. I didn't play Left 4 Dead 1, like, at all, so I don't actually don't know who I would probably play. Probably Francis? I believe that was the biker. I, Lu I like... Lewis was the pills here guy. Yeah, that's the only thing I know about Left 4 Dead 1 is grabbing pills. Like, that, yeah. that is literally it. Pills here. <laughs> pills here! Yeah, Francis is probably my favorite. Winter says, update, fucking beat Sticker Star to 100% completion. Never have to play that game again. Definitely one of those games that is less enjoyable if you go for 100%. Amen. I hear you on that. Because you have to get every sticker and put it in a library, which uses up said sticker. Good lord. Fact Checker says, the Dairy Queen misinformation has come up twice on this stream, so here's the Snopes fact check on that exact topic. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I just want some ice cream. <laughs> It used to classify as ice milk due to low butter fat. God, I wish I had low butter fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dairy Queen's probably products... probably be 20 pounds lighter. Dairy, Dairy Queen's products are not dairy-free. They just don't meet FDA butter fat standards for categorization as ice cream. Fair enough. Apparently that is... Yeah, because the claim is Dairy Queen is ice cream is dairy-free or non-dairy, and that is considered false by Snopes. So yeah, it's ah, just it's just okay. very low. So that also probably explains why it doesn't really set off my uh, my lactose intolerance. Huh, that makes sense. Also, uh, Mimariu, I am very jealous. They had some uh, takoyaki ice cream, Ooh, that and that nice. sounds freaking awesome. You know what? I actually did have ice cream today. I had a Ben and Jerry's, um, like one of those little pints that you can get from Walmart. Um, I picked one up for me and Erica. We got a treat. That was freaking awesome. Nice. Smashing Ellie says, my spell card, thousand knives. <laughs> Gamer Mooney says, just a little donation for birthday luck with everyone's favorite little beef. Also, this game is insane. Happy birthday, Mooney. <laughs> Happy birthday. Give me one second. Um, I'm going to run to the restroom while you are reading off. Go for it. You got time. I'll be probably okay. in our block when you get back. All right. Level 50 Vampire Survivor says, none of you seem to understand. I'm not surviving the vampires. The vampires are surviving me! Accurate. Sexy Gardevoir says, Saw John, uh, have you shown 8-Bit the meme slash asshole song? No, I have not. I mean, you can just send it to him directly. You're the one with the file. Y2K890 says, Hey John, still waiting on a negative COVID test so I can go back to work, but at least I'm asymptomatic. Also, a late congrats on that Hololive... Oh, I guess I'll read that out for Jared later. Late congrats on that Hololive collab from last year, 8-Bit Drummer. Makes me wonder if a Hololive member will be in Coliseum. I can guarantee 100%. No, <laughs> that will not happen. I would love for that to happen, but it will not happen. Uh, Cardian Joker says, First Saturday off for my current workplace, and I feel like celebrating to an extent. So here's some donor monies. Thank you, Cardian. Appreciate it. Some random fox says, Continuations of my first question. Would you want that as a Coliseum goal? Like, with the yearly and meal watching you play Sticker Star. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe. Ooh, maybe. But he doesn't... Uh, hmm. Now I want to figure out how to do this. Because he doesn't own the game. He barely uses Steam as it is. But now I really want this to happen. I'm going to have to figure out something with that. The Little Hylian says, A week or two ago I noticed I was no longer in the Egg Farm Discord for some reason. Turns out it was an issue on Twitch's end and I'm finally back. Seems that your glitchiness is spreading. Yeah, no. Uh, I think... Twitch, yeah, removed a bunch of people from servers for no reason. It was very silly, but it does seem to be working now. And Lord of S'more says, Good news, John, I tested negative. Unfortunately, it was an IQ test. God damn it. Ah, yeah, knucklehead. Let's go to Art Block while Jared is away. Because Art Block starts here. If I would click the right window for once in my life. There we go. 
Our block starts here with some big daddy dragon. Since we played Spyro Reignited on Wednesday stream. From Saria. Oops, looks like I was too late for the Wednesday stream, but hey look, it's 2022 and I'm doing art again. This is Magnus, one of the redesigned dragons and my personal fave, for no particular reason. Let it be known, dragons will always get my art gears going again. Yep, the Dragon Dads had a fo popular following, I noticed. Thank you, Saria. Next up, from Junko, Chinese New Year Countdown Challenge Day 20 Moon Yu, male version. Nice white tiger outfit. Very cute, Junko, thank you. Next up from Nerd, it's Beefaroo's birthday. So of course this means Snippy had to celebrate with him. Yes, Beefaroo's birthday was officially Thursday on the 20th. So there was a bunch of celebration art from here, as you can see, such as this one here from Rhyme. Little popper and everything. Next up, uh, from Sam Data 64 rd I misspelled my name as Sam Data and not San Data, but it really explains a lot about me. This is the most this is the most gumpla I have built in a month that I have in the past ten or so years. I'm gonna work on a few more for posting a picture like this again if such a thing is okay. Yeah, usually we only take the gumpla pictures during actual uh, model kit streams, and we haven't done one in a bit. So, but wow, John, who knew that ten dollars and a bunch of bored college kids would lead into this? I mean, yeah, model kits are a pretty fun hobby, honestly. Well, not this is a whole, but live streaming this. Oh, you mean live streaming? What? Okay. Two megabytes of memory costs eighty dollars once. As fans, we remember video X Y Z, but have you? But you have a whole life to think about. So I hope we are all treating you with respect as well as to each other. I mean, here's the thing. Anytime I seem annoyed by like someone repeating a reference or something like that, it's not the fact that one person repeated the reference. It's the fact that that one person was probably the a thousandth person to repeat said reference. So that's why I always found Move Faster Pokey annoying after a while, because I would hear it every day. So that's the thing. For you, or for any viewer, it might just be like, oh, I just wanted to say it once because I thought it was funny. And then for me, it's like, yeah, add it to the checklist, I guess. So that, if anyone ever seems snippety about something like that, it's probably something like that. But for the most part, yeah, viewers, like, everyone's fine. No one's really bad about it. Thank you, San. Appreciate it. Next up, from DB. Happy birthday to our beloved Cowbub Beefaroo. Here he is with purple, ready to tear up the dance floor. I was hoping to finish his art in time for his birthday, and I succeeded. Unless his birthday was on the 19th and not the 21st, as the wiki says. But if so, oh well, better a day late than never. It's actually the 20th. So, uh, if this was posted on the... No, you posted on the 20th, so you posted on the exact day. You're good. I'm back. Welcome back. Um, really quick, what was the name of that game that you just played? Because uh, Erica wants to take a look at it. That was Vampire Survivors. Okay, thank you. Thanks, DB. Next up, from Mika. Happy one year anniversary, Beefaroo. I drew him and Pastel John trying on flower crowns. Oh, that's cute. Look at the happy boy. He's so happy. Thank you, Mika. Adorbs. Appreciate it. Tentacle says, fun fact, my first time here was when Beefaroo was created. Geez, so it's been exactly a year. And shy a day or two. That's cool. Aw, that's cute. Meanwhile, from the actual creator of Beefaroo Rhyme, he's got a cake! It's a chocolate marbled cake with vanilla and caramel ice cream. My grandma ate the other cupcake hoof before I could decorate it. it. Like it was even when I looked away for a second. Sneaky, but I think the one the one hoof works. Looks like he's trying to do like a peace sign. It's very cute, and I'm sure that cake was delicious. Thank you for sharing, Ryan. I like how you even did like the little payumpa there in in chocolate icing. Nice touch. Speaking of birthday boy. Here he is from Dovey. Happy birthday to the beefy bub. He's got a burger with a candle in it. Delicious. And a little balloon and hat. <laughs> Thank you, Dovey. Next up from Junko, Chinese New Year countdown challenge day 21. John Koo with a lovely tiger themed outfit there. Thank you, <clears throat> Thank you, Junko. I've been so distraught by the thought of cutting it that I have not eaten yet. No! It's gonna be worse if the cake spoils though. <laughs> At least enjoy the cake. Look, I know I'm not pro kill beefaroo, but man, you gotta eat the damn birthday cake. <laughs> Everything is cake, John. <laughs> Ain't it just? Ain't it just? <laughs> Next up from Devens. Devens stupidly short comics number 85, the long hauled recap. <laughs> put the money in the bag. Sir, this isn't Arby's. I said put it in! Smile for the camera and 
Holy Bucky's, John, is like they turned a gas station convenience store into a supermarket. That's because Bucky's is a giant gas station supermarket, Steven. Hello, Proton Buru. I have a lot of art to post tonight. Let's start off with comics. This was supposed to be a recap of the December 2021 episode of Disc Only, but my finals were a bitch to study for. And let's get into business. Panels 1 and 2 are references galore. Poggy represented the poorly drawn sock puppet. Is trying to rob an Arby's that Jared is somehow working at. Oh, apparently working at Arby's now. Congrats, Jared. Frick yeah, dude. We got the beat. Beef. <laughs> meats. The Sorry, beat. meats. We have the beats and the meats. <laughs> this is a reference to the put the money in the bag scene from SpongeBob and the sir, this is an Arby's slash Walgreens meme that was kind of a gag in Jared's stream a while back. Panel three is Tom and DK smiling for the camera. One of them has retractable teeth. And panel four is Steven is amazed at the sheer size of the Bucky's store, but John says otherwise with little amusement. So it's a normal conversation. Got it. <laughs> Thank you, Devens. That also means we're jumping over here. Manatee, no! Woof. 911 operator, animal control. My adoptive father's trying to swallow me whole. <laughs> Finally, a game with stickers in it. Couldn't you choose a better game? And come on, Blue, do something. <laughs> You're white ninja. <laughs> He's thieving. What's better than one comic? Two! Here's the first of many disc only comics for 22, specifically for this month. As the title implies, everyone's pets are featured front and center with the exclusion of Bagel because I've drawn him a handful of times already because Bagel is the attention seeker. Manatee loses the knowledge he gained from the Brain Age cartridges by taking a mud bath in the swamp of a park. That wolf roughly translates to, I'm sorry, father. It appears I am losing my gained intelligence in order to partake in the simple activity only a normal dog would enjoy. Panel two, a dramatic visualization of Steven sucking the tail of his cat Kepler to remove the hot chocolate from his tail. Kepler appears to be very disgruntled, unsurprisingly. Panel three, cosplay somehow got brought up into the mix, or at least a Photoshop cosplay of Steven did. Anyway, Steven as Kratos found a game with stickers in it, but Rosa knows that the game in question left a lot to be desired. Yes, yes it did. And panel four, Drew Jared is the dude from the come on do something meme trying to get his cat Blue to do something. Blue after all isn't an adventurous outdoor cat like Bagel. You don't know what White Ninja is? Oh man. Man, not a bummer if he's only known for the meme now. Ah, uh, I used to love that web comic. <laughs> I've actually, um, like, I knew what it was from, but I never really watched or uh, read the uh, the comic. White Ninja web com the web comic was great. They were all just super simple, like three panel comics with just like a dude who just barely did anything. It's so <laughs> funny. They're, like no one, no one knows. Oh my god, there's so many people who don't even know what White Ninja is. Hang on. I think we, we might be detouring off of, uh... We might be detouring off of our block here for a second. Looks like the archive is still up, at least. This archive is unofficial and incomplete. But here, I'll slap this down here so you guys can see it. You've probably seen some of these around here. They're just, like, weird comics like this, like, Severed head! Poke! Ha! Ah, <laughs> throw it throughout the skull! Pop it on my head! Now nah, I'm a zombie! White Ninja and the Fridge of Blood! Blood fridge. Take the note. Kick me. <laughs> White ninja oh and the growling God. pirate. Arr. White ninja and his friend. Arr, 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 arr. Oh, I'm sad now. That, that's, this is just, this is what White Ninja was. It was just weird comics. And it's just, nowadays it's just known for that, like, weird ass, like, come on, do something thing. Flabby, flabby, I am so fat. Uh, white ninja in bone bike. Rest in peace. Dig in the grave. Pull out all the bones. Make myself a safety helmet. Go on a little skeleton bicycle. <laughs> made a bike. Yeah. yeah, no, white ninja comics were just, they were so weird and avant garde, but they were amazing. Like, I loved reading these back in the day. White ninja training. Oh, I don't remember him curb stomping a turtle, but that also seems completely in character for white ninja. White Ninja's trampoline. Bird, trampoline, catch the bird! Oh, wow. Right, I forgot he killed a lot of random animals. Maybe that's why most people don't remember White Ninja. All right. <laughs> that would be a good reason. White Ninja questions Kevin's Kevin about his missing shirt. Oh, don't tease him. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Where's your shirt? It's just weird stuff like this. All right, anyways. But yeah, no, that, was, that used to be like a well-known comic. Like, how many are in... Yeah, no, there were a lot. Wow. <laughs> there were a lot. Jeez. White, <laughs> White Ninja's teeth no longer fit his lifestyle. 
Goodbye, baby teeth. White Ninja, those are your adult teeth. What comes after adult teeth again? Grandpa teeth? <laughs> yeah, grandpa. like this is the stuff I remember from White Ninja. Weird things like this. I don't remember like the random ass violence. Yeah, no, that's why I feel funny that most people don't recognize it and they just know him for the come on, do something bit. But yeah, no, it was a long running webcomic as you saw. Uh, and my art block alarm's going off, so we'll end on this picture here. From Devens as well. Happy first anniversary, Beefaroo. The whole family's here. It is done. I don't care about the minor imperfections of this picture. The deed's been done. I'm a little late to the party, but one whole year of Beefaroo. Beefaroo invited his friends to celebrate his first birthday, and even Bub came to the party with him. Uh, I'm gonna skim this a bit here. Beefaroo kind of means a lot to me as he brought me somewhat closer towards the community and made me find many artists I love and look up to. If Bustamu 4 was never played that Chaos Fortune cookie stream, I would never not be posting art actively like I did last year. When Ryan made the first drawing of his recognizable design on that fateful night, I fell in love with it. Of course, my interpretation of Beefaroo was nothing more than Bub holding an Italian beef sandwich, but after 375 posts and 24 pages, our lovable beefy boy, I still can't tell if I said, please let Beefaroo catch on seriously or with jest. Either way, it works. Since February 21, I've also been making full-color drawings of Beefaroo since I had the silly idea of making one drawing for each and every month. It seems like uh, a lot of you guys really enjoy them, and this is drawing number 12, which lines up with Beefaroo's anniversary. After all this time, I think it's safe for me to say that this will be my last Beefaroo-related drawing for a while. Does this mean I'm done drawing them? No, certainly not. It's been a blast doing these drawings, but I see no point in doing them anymore. One of my New Year's resolutions is to become even more active with the egg pack, and to do that, I'll be drawing weekly sketches, which may take less time to draw than making something with flashy colors. Who knows, you might see me draw Beefaroo doing something funny in the future. Here's another year full of wholesome cuteness. Thank you, Devens, and thank you for doing all the art. I do appreciate that. And yeah, don't uh, don't sweat just not doing like the monthly Beefaroo pictures. Like, just do whatever you want. That's the whole point. The art blog's just supposed to be like casual and chill. So don't sweat it. Thank you, thank you. There's plenty more art to go, but we'll get there next break, because now it is time... for time... travel. <laughs> Literal time. Yeah, let me, let me reset the cartridge. Oh yeah, which window works best for this game? That one does, perfect. Mario's Time Machine for the NES. You know what's funny? Is like whenever I first heard about this game, like a long time ago, I didn't think it was real. I thought it was a freaking like ROM hack. The NES one I thought was a ROM hack because there's also Mario is missing for the NES. Yeah. And that one looks way more like a ship post than this one does. <laughs> but they're actual games. Yep. And these were made in Canada too. Radical Entertainment made them. Wow. All right, let's start. Bowser's Museum. Like, this legitimately does not look like a Mario game. Bowser and his Koopas have built the greatest museum in history, but to do it, they have stolen many important items from the past. And then Yoshi went in there for some reason. <laughs> Bye. Oh no, Yoshi! <laughs> you got the Mario 3 Bowser, Super Mario World Mario, and Yoshi. Like, it's so weird. Yoshi went exploring on his own, and now he has been captured by Bowser. Before he rescues Yoshi, Mario must find the stolen items and return them to their proper places in history. As Bowser apparently is pacing back and forth, deciding if he wants to use the key lock or use the, the little uh, winch. He can't make up his mind. His indecisiveness will be his downfall. <laughs> All right. So they've got a picture of Yoshi here in the museum, apparently. Here's a, that was quick. Yeah, here's a torso. Here's... I'm not gonna lie, for a second there, I know this is just a statue of Bowser, I thought it was the picture of like, is it Pluto eating his own son? <laughs> that, that famous picture of someone eating their son. I thought it was that, but Bowser eating like a Koopa kid or something. <laughs> cause it looks, cause it fucking looks like that. Like he's got like a hand sticking out of his mouth. If you look where Mario's hat is, you can see what looks like a hand there. I genuinely thought it was like, is it Saturn or Kronos? Yeah, Kronos eating his son. Okay. It's it's a uh, Saturn. Oh, was I right with Saturn? Because I see, I see a bunch of people. Like, I'm getting two answers here. Some people uh, are saying I'm, it's Kronos, and some people are saying it's oh, Kronos is Saturn. So I was right. Okay, I will accept Titan, that. Titan Kronos, I believe. Title okay. roma uh, romanticized, romanticized, romanized to Saturn. Okay. Okay. So apparently I was correct. Cool. I'll take that. 
Also, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. here's DK Jr. Here's a star, and here's a door. The title itself is Saturn Devouring His Son. Okay, so yeah, so everyone who's correcting me, apparently Ooh. I it was correct, so relax. Well, well, no, no, I think you said Pluto first. Did but I then say, you corrected. Did yeah, I say Pluto? Then you corrected oh, fuck. Your... I know, I meant Saturn. I did mean Saturn. God damn it. Dude, that right there, that right there is straight up streamer brain. Trust me. I know that feel. Ugh. All right, hang on. I gotta remember how to actually kill these guys. Cause I thought the spin jump did it, but I guess it's standard rules for... Yeah, it is standard rules. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, my- oh, the floor, it's no longer solid. What is- what is happening with my life? I think that's your mind telling you that you should play more Hades? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I got thrown off by fan- Fanto Shades, as I kept saying. <clears throat> Alright, we've got an Olympic torch. You picked yes. up a torch. Let's hop in the old time machine here. Finally. Where- where could we use a torch? Could it be 80 million BC? Could it be 776 BC, 31 BC, 1192, 1520, 1602, 1687, 1862, 1879, 1903, 1905, 1947, 1969, 1989, mm. and that's it. It's one of those numbers. So that torch could literally be used in any of those time periods. I assume, and if memory serves me, it's for like the first Olympic Games. Uh, so let's try okay. 776. I just wanted to light something on fire, but that's just me. Alright, so we can hit these information blocks for, for clues if we can jump on them. Sometimes the problem is you, you jump a little too much because you're Mario. <laughs> and then they do annoying things like that. In fact, I think I'm... Am I soft locked? Hang on. Do you have uh, momentum whenever you run? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's it's a bit it's a little a little finicky. <laughs> James, don't judge me for being a black mage and wanting to set everything on fire, okay? <laughs> we have ice attacks too. Right, oh my god, Kaizo blocks. I know. It's just a main mechanic here. The Greeks value all around excellence in sport. The penta or penta bleh. Pentathlon was a contest which included discus, long jump, javelin, wrestling, and racing. So we're in the right time zone. We just have to figure out where we would drop <laughs> off. What? what are they? Ah, uh, onions? I don't little know. onions. I love them. These athletic contests are held as, as a religious festival in honor of Zeus, ruler of the gods. Oops, and I killed a man. I oh my god, he was going to be the first winner. Nope, it's Mario now. Mario's the winner. Mario is the... <laughs> All right. So how do we... I'm trying to remember how we even select our inventory. There we go. Let's use the torch here. If I can remember how to do that. There we go. Thank you. Now that the torch has been lit, let the games begin. Your new password is... Regan Council. Regan Wait, Cole. Why is there a... You know what? I'm not even going to ask this question. Is it the newspaper? Or... You don't want you yeah. don't want that 776 BC newspaper? Yeah, if it's written on freaking marble, maybe that would be amazing. But <laughs> they didn't have that back in the day. What's that? Maybe, Donkey maybe Kong they Jr. did, Jared. Maybe Dude, they did. Dude, his <laughs> Donkey Kong Jr.'s eyes, bro. He's just wondering why you're questioning the newspaper making of Greece. <laughs> He's just looking like, don't question it, man. <laughs> That's why they put me in the frame, dude. Don't do it. This game was fricked up back in the day. It still is. All right. When do we need to use the light bulb? When was the light bulb made? Was it 80 million BC? 31 BC? 1192? 1520? 1602? 87? 1862? 1879? 1903? 1905? 1947? 1969? Or 1989? The light bulb was crazy. I don't even know. I've seen some guesses on 1862. Let's try 1862. That looks very incorrect. Because <laughs> they're playing Dixieland by the sounds of it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot how awkward the platforming is in this game. Bro, I feel like I'm having a fever dream. Like, am I dreaming right now? Hold on. Nope, reality check. Nope. Uh, might as well be. <laughs> 
my god, I cannot get in here for this hint. Onion Man, no! There we go. I like their shades, dude. The Gettysburg Address is a speech by Abraham Lincoln, not a number on that gate over there. Well, I'm gonna assume that this they don't need the light bulb at the Gettysburg Address, so. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's just get out of here. Why is Mario so pale? I mean, does it look like he's hanging out in a museum all day. He doesn't go out in the sun. Yeah. It's a tragic tale, really. He didn't it's know. All the, uh, <laughs> it's the all the radiation, radiation from the time machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, same brain cell. <laughs> <laughs> same hat. All right, is it the light bulb oh. again? It is the light bulb again. All right, yes. let's try another year. If I can pick up the damn light bulb. There we go. L light up my world, Mario. What, what year? Because I freaking don't have any idea. Now, what was I don't even remember what one we just tried. That was 1687 we tried, wasn't it? Or was it 18? No, no, that was 1879, I think. Okay. Uh, uh, I think 1862 was the one we just tried, actually, because I'm seeing that a bunch of chests. Let's try 1879 then. Oh, okay. Wait, was it? Did you do that one? Yeah, you did. Sorry, that was my bad. I no, can't remember. Yeah, this anything. looks right. This looks right. Oh, it's dark because you need a light bulb. Yay! <laughs> Frick you, get out my house! <laughs> <laughs> when Thomas Edison was born, the world was in the dark ages. Womp, 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 womp. Dude, this... Oh. Did somebody's dad make this game? Probably. Because it's just freaking filled with dad jokes. So here's the thing. We have to find exactly where to drop this off. If we put this in the wrong spot, they take it away from us. So, this looks right, right? Like, this is a phonograph. This is probably where you gotta put it. Yep. Thank you. If you hadn't returned Edison's light bulb, we'd all be in the dark. You wouldn't be playing this game. <laughs> R7 Noosel. Uh, anyway, we can we can break up that old door. We don't need that door anymore. <clears throat> oh, my God. We can't go back. Yeah. Mario believes in not messing with the timelines. <laughs> If only if Marvel. <laughs> same way. With, I feel like the MC would be very different. We've got <laughs> an apple. Oh, this is this is absolutely. Um, oh God, what's his name? Oh frick! Now now I look like an idiot because I can't remember his freaking <laughs> name. Sir Isaac Newton. There we go. When would Newton be born? Newton, obviously. Yes, I know, but I forgot his name. God, funny man. 1192, funny man. 1520, 1602, 1687, 1862, 1879, 1903, 1905, 1947, or 1969 or 89? 20 million BC. <laughs> seeing, uh, isn't 1687 where we just went? No, that's a... No, I'm thinking of a different one there. Uh, I'm seeing 1602 I think and it's... seeing 1697, or 87 rather. Let's try 1687. My question is, why the frick is this time machine so specific? Like, why can't we go to wherever we want? Newton's most famous law says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, it's because the, the whole point is that I think they left the, um, the dates they stole all their stuff from in the machine, and Mario's just using those to go back. Oh, okay. Newton demonstrated that the sun attracts the planets and the earth attracts the moon. And my wife attracted me to her to for marriage. <laughs> Hooray! Bop. Oh, that poor guy. He was Where just doing his job. Off this apple. Newton You made... gotta put it in the in the tree! Newton made contributions to the understanding of motion, gravity, and light. So do you have a stand on the tree? Yep. Thank you, because you've returned the apple, Newton will soon discover the principle of gravity when it falls to the ground. <laughs> Thank you, because you returned the apple, Newton will, Newton will soon discover that he now has a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Newton will never go hungry again. Not if y'all who's talking about eating beef or who has anything to say about it. <laughs> there goes the infinite beef theory. Oh, no. We've got a sledgehammer. I know where this goes, but I want to see if you can figure it out, Jared. Where would a sledgehammer be? 80 million BC? 
776 BC, 31 BC, 1192, 1520, 1602, 1687, 1862, 1879, 1903, 05, 47, 69, 89. Does this have something to do with the Berlin Wall? Yes, it does. Okay, so I, okay, I got that part, but I don't know what year it was. I do believe that was 1989. Yep. Wow. Also, what? This song, what is it? It's the famous Berlin Wall Mario theme. <laughs> are, are you not familiar with the famous Berlin Wall Mario theme? Which one of these breaks? I thought one of these broke. Oh no, I remember what I have to do. Like it sounds like like a like a famous rock band song. I just don't know which one. The Berlin Wall was built by the communist government of East Germany to halt escapees from East Berlin to West Berlin. Yeah, it sounds like a red hot chili pepper song, dude! I I guess? I can sort yeah. of hear it. Yeah! That's that's the uh boot dan dan da 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 dan dan da 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 What song is that? Uh Can't Stop! No yeah, it does sound like Can't Stop in a way. November 9th, nineteen eighty nine, the wall cut through the heart of Berlin like a jagged wound in the middle of a great city. This is absolutely can't stop, just missing like one note. Frick yeah. Guards. This is so uncanny. Like, seeing, like, this history stuff with Mario running around. So strange. Thank you, another sledgehammer will come in handy. The Berlin Wall is about to collapse. Timber! Oh my god. I'm just gonna break up that door. Alright. Let's get more artifacts to bring back in time. Jared talking about music impossible. Yeah, it's almost like I'm the 8-bit drummer or something. <laughs> Sounds like it's his job or something. <laughs> Dude, that is literally my job to figure out like what the frick something sounds like so that I can play to it never hearing it before. <laughs> I found an egg. When does egg need to be in time? Bro, it has BC? to be has to be 80 million BC. You think it's a dinosaur egg? Dude, yeah. That's that's Yoshi's great 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 Grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed that, to be like an I lost infinity. you for a second there, actually, so I thought. The name dinosaur comes from the Greek words for terrible lizard. I don't know about that. I mean, they're they're like uh, subpar at best. I wouldn't call them terrible. They're misunderstood lizards. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wait, you're the 8-bit drummer? I don't know who the frick that is. Hmm? Never heard of him. If you see a Tyrannosaurus Rex coming, Mario, you better hide in that cave! Oh, frick! Like, one... Cue the Joe and Mac music, like boss music. <laughs> Over 150 million years ago, the sky was filled with pterodactyls whose wingspans ranged from 3 inches to 25 feet. <laughs> what about the 2-bit drummer? <laughs> okay, funny story about that. Um, I, got a, I got a kid at the youth group that calls me that as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's really stupid. Nice. <laughs> because you returned a precious dinosaur egg, you have given new life to these magnificent creatures. Mario has doomed us all by bringing the dinosaurs back to life. I mean, that's how Yoshi was born. It's true. Dinosaur Island and all that. Or if you want to go off the plot of the Mario movie, dinosaurs <laughs> never <laughs> went away. <laughs> I found a stovepipe hat! Where could that possibly go? Dang it. I said Joe and Mac boss music. Now I want to go listen to it because it's like one of the biggest freaking jams in gaming history. We could also just play Joe and Mac. You could suggest it. That is true. All right, Americans. This one's I for think... you. Did I? I I got you to play Joe and Mac at one point. You probably did. I'm pretty sure I did. The Gettysburg Address is a speech by Abraham Lincoln. Not a number on that gate over there. No, bloody! I did not. I didn't ban anybody for calling me the two-bit drummer. <laughs> I 
the two cubed bit drummer. That is true. Four score <laughs> and seven years ago, this great man said a government of the people, by the people, and for the people had been founded. Oops, sorry, there's more ins in these, I forgot. During the war, Honest Abe freed the slaves by issuing the Emancipation Proclamation. What a good boy. Where could we drop off a stovepipe hat? Could it be at the gate of Gettysburg? Bro. Ow. It was. Thank you, Abe just hasn't been himself without his stovepipe hat. He even refused to sign the Gettysburg Address without it. Sid? I really need my hat to sign this piece of paper. I, I could free, <laughs> I could free people. I could like make a declaration. No, hat, need hat. Hello, sweetheart, how are you? Good, I'm going to bed. Ah. Yo, Erica. I I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> probably. But I'm I'm not going to because we got video games to play like Mario's Time Machine. Okay, so I rented this from a video game store, and I don't remember like it wasn't Blockbuster. Yeah. It was just like a local like mom and pop when I was a kid. And the thing that I got frustrated with is that like. Yeah, so when you hit, like, the 1600s, it's like, how the heck am I supposed to know, as a kid, whether something happened in 1602 or, like, 1687? Yeah, exactly. Or, like, eight, they get so close. Even as a 31-year-old, I don't know what the frick's going on. Like, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> good at history, and I generally can't tell you whether something happened in 1602 or 1687. Like, I can't. I have no idea. Was that the wrong one? That was the wrong one. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I I thought this game was a crap post. I thought this was a literal like. No, I knew it existed because I played. I also played Mario's Missing as a kid. God, I thought they were both freaking. Mm, as, real. Yeah, as I said before. Same same mom and pop video store. Dude, I rented both of them from. This looks like a freaking crap post though. Like legitimately. Yeah. Using sprites from three different Mario games at the same time. It's like that's weird. Anyways, uh... Yeah. Well, thank you for coming up and saying good night. Good night, good night, chat. Good night. <laughs> who, who is Mario? <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is just. Hi, Franzel. This is just so crazy. The Strait of Magellan was an important route around, around South America before the Panama oh. Canal was built. I love you. Love you too. Have fun, boys. <laughs> See you later, Can do. Good night. Uh. Although his crew completed his mission, Magellan perished in the Philippines during his voyage. Magellan. Oh yeah, I'm trying to remember where, like where this family. one actually goes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh my god, this music. <laughs> That's great. With a telescope, you can see land, Mario, but you'll need something else to navigate this ship. I know what I, I know, I have it. I'm trying to think of where it goes. Does it go in the front or the back? I forget. This sink is filthy, but just three shots from kitchen gun. And it sparkles like new. I love you, kitchen gun! Alright, let's put it here then. Thank you, because oh you God. have returned Magellan's steering wheel. He can continue with his crew on this first voyage around the world. Oh my God. Someone in chat just said, thanks to you, I played Vampire Survivors for almost two hours and got 51% of the achievements. Damn. Nice. Nice. Like I said, it's still early access, so they're going to be adding a bunch of stuff to that game, but what they got there is pretty solid already. <laughs> I like this comment in chat. Wait, the 8-bit drummer is married? Yeah, it surprises me too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, we got a flag. Where do you think a flag goes? Oh, oh god. I'm, uh, is 1776 not an answer? It's not an American flag. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. Someone said 1969. Let's try it. Let's see what that leads to. What year <laughs> did this game come nice. out? This is like 93, I think. And the moon! Hey. Oh, that makes sense! Oh my god! 
I hate that. The gravity so of the situation you... is not that great. You won't feel weighed down here. <laughs> so when are you be gonna become the 16-bit drummer? Look, you can't you can't beat a classic, okay? You got Too retro for your own good. good. Heck yeah, dude. Do, do, oh no! Do, do. Oh my god. Jo John Madden. The Apollo program was a series of space flights undertaken by the United States during the 1960s. Oh, Do you want this flag? <laughs> Sorry, Mario, but that doesn't belong in this time. Please return with a different item. And then a UFO shows up and steals the flag. Well, we're not getting that back. What the frick is this? This is the map. It shows what ones we've already done, so we know not to go back to those times. So yeah, we've we've done uh, seven of them already, and we have seven left. We're at the halfway point of the game already. And we've only been playing for 20 minutes! We're back with the, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers again. Oh, hey, oop. Can't stop. I owe Jules residuals. <laughs> is that, is that... It was he in Red Hot Chili Peppers? Is that what happened there? No, no. He he used to do this thing where he'd be like, Ooh, ba -doo, ba -doo, like all the time, <laughs> and I freaking I took it from him and I added my own spin to it, so I, I owe him money. <laughs> Nineteen forty-seven. I'm seeing for that flag. See, anytime I think of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, I just can't think of like I think it's by the way, where the lyrics are there are such things such as steak knife. Con job. Yep. Just like, it's just it, him just listing off random shit. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon. Unfortunately, Gandhi's method of uh, Satyagraha, courage, nonviolence, and truth did not stop all violence. To influence British rulers, Gandhi used methods of passive resistance. To exercise his disapproval, Gandhi was renowned for his l for leading boycotts and hunger strikes. I like the onion guy is the best. <laughs> Gandhi overcame uh, fear in himself and taught others to master fear. He was given the title of Mahatma, meaning great soul. And I am stuck here until that thing stops spinning. Gandhi, I need your help. No, oh, he's dead. Gandhi, no! Well, I'll put this flag here in his honor. Thank you. The return of the new Indian flag marks the birth of a new nation, making Gandhi proud. Rip. <laughs> I'll seal up this wall so no one will ever find out that we killed Gandhi. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. <laughs> <laughs> Mario commits mass murder. <laughs> Mario is missing because he's on the run from the feds. Koopa was trying to arrest him the entire time. Koopa was the good guy. Yup. Quill pen. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to assume this is the sign of the Declaration of Independence. Americans, when was that? 1776. That ain't there, so Isn't that's it? not the answer. Wait. Hold on, wait a minute. Declarate, wait. What? Yeah, so it's not the Declaration of Independence, then, in that case. It's Shakespeare, 1602. Oh, okay. Because it was... Well, technically, it was signed, I think, two years later. I think. I don't know for sure. Yoshi, Yoshi, where for art thou, Yoshi? Yeah, oh, Shakespeare. my freaking There God. he is right there. There's Willie Shakes right there. He's running away. Run. Yo, Willie! You Willie look Shakes. a lot like Mario! <laughs> Thank you! Now that you have returned his quill pen, Shakespeare can continue to write his famous sonnets and plays. He couldn't go to the store and buy another one. He was poor. Good old Willie Shakes. Ugh. Alright, next up, what do we got? The American flag! Heck yeah, but I cannot pick up, apparently. That's probably the one we need to go to space for, isn't it? America. Frick yeah. Oh, excuse me. Now to the moon. Oh, hey you. Hey you. Hey you. Hey you. John Madden. <laughs> John Madden. 
I love that when John Madden passed away like two weeks ago, everyone just kept spamming that like on the internet. That was just everywhere. Yeah. Thank you, because you returned the flag. Man's first landing on the moon can be claimed by the United States. Great, I'm just gonna seal that up so no one knows that a Canadian did it. Uh, and there we go. <laughs> Dude, oh man, the fact that you have to do this little mini game every time is ridiculous. Dude, like I said, the, the one in the Super Nintendo version is more fun, but there's also more to do in the actual, what the fuck is that? And there's more to do in the actual stages too in, in the SNES one. A throne! What did I say? That looked like a like a weird keg. Where have we not been? <sighs> I'm trying to think now. I'm in a 31 BC. I'm gonna assume Go this is probably Cleopatra. Do you or something. know what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, that looks I right. Don't. Um, how many warps do we even have left? 31 BC, 1192, 1903, and 1905. We only have four what? left. Onion! Just as Egypt is famous for its high pyramid, so was Cleopatra for her beauty. Hey, Cleo! Looking pretty cute! Do -but -do -but -do. Have a chair! Thank you, now that Cleopatra has her throne back, she can resume her reign as the Queen of Egypt! Dobbs, BD! Dobbs, BD. We got three left. We can beat this game in the next five minutes. We technically beat it in under half hour. Uh, a propeller. A propeller? Yeah. Or a it was either a propeller or a bow tie. Bow tie. Yep. Yeah. Same, same freaking brain cell. She's 12? Was she 12? Jesus, never mind then. I thought she was like in her 20s. I mean, she was 12 at one point, I guess. No, I think, I think I think they're right in that she was actually, like, surprisingly young when she was going through all the things with Mark Anthony. What do we got here? You're at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Heck yeah, There's dude. There's nothing flighty about these fellows except that they flew the very first heavier-than-air machine. Did you know this version came out after the SNES version? Ew, really? Good lord. Well, uh, that does make sense, though, because, like, it contains the sprites from the SNES games. No, I, like, well, yeah, this is from, like, Mario World, but, like, they're saying this is after the, the SNES Mario's Time Machine. Oh, that just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> now you've returned the propeller, faster you fasten your seatbelt, and prepare for takeoff. Stop. We have two left. All right, I think they're both in the 1900s at this point, right? Oh yeah, she only lived to 40, or 39. Really, oh. she was that young? Oh, we found a katana? Heck sword. yeah. All right, where does the sword go? Oh, did we not do the 1100 one yet? Oh, you're right, I don't think we've done that yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wager. Yeah. <laughs> Konnichiwa, Mario. Welcome to the land of the warrior. I'm just gonna leave this here, I guess. Thank you. What would a samurai be without his sword put on a stage, I guess? And that leaves <laughs> one last item. Ow. Damn it. I gotta wait. E equals MC squared. That's my boy. Yeah, my boy equation. Einstein. What? What's the one time we haven't done yet? It's in the 1900s, isn't it? I do not remember. It's the 1903 or 1905. It's one of the two. I've seen a lot of 1905s. Yeah, that looks right. Does it go on the equation board? Does it go on this equation board? Or does it go on this equation board? Probably the one that doesn't have anything on it. 
This is the wrong location for that item, Mario. Reading all the clues will help. And a bird just goes ahead and steals the theory of relativity. Oops. Prime says, okay, I'm eating my cake, John. Aside from the fact that it's still kind of frozen, it's super good. Good. I'm glad that the cake is tasty. Have your cake and eat it too. Ugh. Yeah, so now we have to leave. Like, it's stolen. We have to leave here and come back. Frick that bird. Yeah. We just have to figure out where in the world the actual equation goes, and then we're set. There's Einstein right there! Look him go! If you want to find it, be sure to write it on the chalkboard near the empty table. We had to write it on the filled out chalkboard. As you would think you'd put something. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Your logic is undeniable. Yeah, you know, don't use the empty one. We're keeping that for something else. We're keeping that for something else, man. Just, just, just that all the work that's on that is just not worth keeping. No. Just gonna go ahead and jump back over here to 1905. And let's go ahead and put that on the old filled in chalkboard. Oops. There we go. Thank As you, because you you've returned the E equals MC squared formula. Physics students will have a reason to pull their hair out. Great. <laughs> 5H question mark JBC. <laughs> And with that, that's, that's the, actually great. I like that a lot. Test. All that remains now is to answer just a few questions before you can go on to rescue Yoshi from Bowser's evil clutches. The formula equals MC squared is based on the energy, mass, and the speed of light. That's right. Are you ready for another question? During what nope. time was the Apollo program undertaken? In ancient Greece, during the 1960s or <laughs> World War II? In honor of what Greek god were the ancient games held? Zeus, Apollo, or Dionysus? Here we go. Now it's time to find Yoshi and rescue him from Bowser. Good luck. Time to go beat Bowser up. Let's do it. Hi, Bowser. <laughs> oh, jeez! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why did they keep his head out of his shell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. He turned into a oh giant my, key. Oh, oh no. He's dead now. Oh no. Let's go, Yoshi. You win! <laughs> He's crying! He's so oh sad. My God. This game is so freaking crap posty. I love it. <laughs> what the? Oh, good lord. Don't we have a gif of him crying? I think someone actually gave me a gif of Bowser crying. Oh I'm Lord. pretty sure that's in my in my pictures folder somewhere. I'm gonna look now. Dude, that uh that little logo just makes me want to play solitaire. Cause it looks just like whenever you would beat a game of solitaire. It kind of does actually, doesn't it? <laughs> Boing. Yep, there it is. Bowser crying. I think Tenmar gave me that. Here he is, right there. There's the sad boy right there. <laughs> oh my God. Just just like him. Just like him. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm taller now! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, I'm so sad. God bless. That took, according to my timer, uh, 32 minutes and 30 seconds. To beat the entire game. That's it. Let's go to the cookie. Oh, oh my god. Is that... Wait a minute. Is that freaking Stream Elements thing right there, drumming in the drumming years with 8 Bit Drummer, is that a freaking reference to gaming in the Clinton years? Yes. Did you not notice that the stream title is Gaming in the Gaming Years? No, I, I didn't look at the stream title. I had no idea. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> oh, that stupid whistling. <laughs> uh, which I think is actually from like Shadow. No. Um... Do, do, do. Shit, I can't remember the name of the game suddenly. Oh, Shadowgate. Shadowgate. God. That's the one. Yup. 
Oh, I know, man. I know. I watch Kid Icarus videos, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he did a full freaking 40 something minute video on gaming the clinton years and it is freaking hilarious nice drumming in the drumming i hate that <laughs> <laughs> silicon graphics computers that is that is something man all right let's go to the cookie then now jared what are you gonna do for your game choice uh i'm gonna stick with it i i would love to see some sonic mania because why not all right, let's see what our viewer choices are this time around. I got from Prime Explorer. I got you no straight <laughs> roads Encore Edition for Steam. I will make an attempt. There you go, no straight roads. And on top of that, we've also got from Xeno Persona 819. <laughs> Jesus, Tales, that is such a crazy reference. Return of the Oberdeen. Ooh. That's an Eric excellent game. Yeah, Erica played that, and it was freaking awesome. All right. What about the Joe and, ba Joe and Mac boss music? Listen, yeah, but while the Joe and Mac boss music is really good, almost every single song in Sonic Mania is really good. So, <laughs> All right, let's see what we got for the random games. Game number one. Robo Pit 2 for the PlayStation 1. Game number 2. Limbo on Epic. Oh, dude. That game's creepy. Game number 3. Super Dodgeball for the NES. Game number 4. Ridge Racer 5 for the PlayStation 2. And last but not least for this round of cookie, Portal 2 for the Xbox 360. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. All right, those are oh, our Tom, I Tom, I agree. Studiopolis Zone's music is a work of art. Yeah, that's a solid track. Yeah. That's one of my favorite uh, collabs I ever did was that song with uh, Carlos. Portal 2 was on the 360. Yeah, both Portal 1 and 2 were on the 360. That's how I played both of them. Because at the time, I didn't have a computer strong enough to play either. Yeah, I got a choice. I uh, picked Sonic Mania again because I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> well, let's see if you're doing any better this time around. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, mm, better. Oh, frick! Currently in the lead, Sonic Mania, 86 votes, 31% of the vote. Portal 2, right Bro. behind it though, 73 votes. No, make that 85 now, 27% of the vote. Return of the Oberdeen, 43 votes, 13%. No Straight Roads, 43 votes, 11%. Super Dodgeball, 25 votes, 6%. Limbo, 14 votes and 3. Ridge Racer 5, 14 votes and 3. And Robo Pit 2, 7 votes and 1%. 487 votes clock so far. Sonic Mania leads over Portal 2, 172 to 150. While, while Oberdin is fantastic, like, it's a really hard game to stream, I would say. Dun, 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 dun. One minute. Let's see what wins. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like you might get your wish. It's close, but you might get Chat. your wish, Jared. Chat, thank you! Thank you for giving me this! <laughs> <laughs> thank you for believing in me! It also helps that you picked a good game. Dude, I, I freaking adore Sonic Mania. Me and Eric are going through all of the 2D Sonic games right now, and I'm on Sonic 2, and I'm, oh my god, I'm amazed that I still have hair. <laughs> Stop pitying Jared. No, pity me more. Do it. Where'd you get um, to that you're pulling out your hair? Oh my god, the final freaking uh, special stage. Final special oh. stage is a nightmare. Oh, like, you're going for that. Okay. Yeah. It, well, ironically, I'm playing as Tails, so I can't even, like, finish the game proper. But I, Erica's like, I don't care. Just get all the uh, the emeralds. Because she's kind of, like, controlling it, and it's really fun. Um, like, I'm able to do save states only at the beginning of levels. So I never really run out of lives. But, yeah, she makes sure to keep me uh, honest. <laughs> Sonic Mania wins. Yay! Boss. All right, so here's the question. So we have, uh, thanks to Aelita, we have a Sonic Mania community mod. Uh, it is a, it is Jonic the Hedgehog. 
Oh my god, really? Yeah, do you want us to play with that on or do you want vanilla? What do you want? Um, I mean, might as well. Go for it. All right, cool. Yeah. Because I was gonna ask you to, I was gonna ask you to play with tails, but I am okay with Jonic. Okay. Will you play the encore mode since you did vanilla mode? Isn't encore mode specifically? Oh no, I guess you do play as Sonic first, huh? Then we can we can do uh, encore. <laughs> Bring on the Jonic! Oh yeah. I'm surprised that No Straight Roads doesn't have more votes since it's a game involving music and one of the main characters is a drummer and Jared's on the call. It's because not enough people know what it is. I, I didn't even know what it was, honestly. Yeah. It's a musical beat em up, essentially, from what I remember. Oh, frick. That's cool. Prime specifically yeah. requested it because her art is actually in the Encore edition. Oh. Oh, I've been warned if I have the mod on, Mighty and Ray's colors will not look right. Right. Okay, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be fine. All right, let's drop some eggs. All right, Skit Scott, thank you for the gifts of the busy kick. Chris M five four three for fifteen. Miles Luigi for fifty eight. Mal set for fifty eight. Zero two one five. Madman for thirty four. Aura Morgan for seventy four. Legend of Daniel for thirty. DB Cooper for fifty. James E P for eight. Mick Johnson for one hundo. Joe Mock for five. Hey, it's Frisky for 13. The Rhyme Anno 6 for 50. Miracle Captor 714 for 36. Reprogram for 43. CJ 47 for 40. Puzzle Gamer for 56. Virtual Kazuma for 31. Zero Dime 188 for 24. Commander Proton for 62. Uchel for 73. Trophy Hunter Varg for 37. Sir Ilium Ishium for 55. Portal Beard for 26. And Wolf Link 0370 for 63. Alongside Gel89 for 60, Psychosis by Osmosis for 54, Video Gamer Paul for 58, 32 for 36, Nick's e Nick EPC for 42, Yuki Mizuno gifting a sub to Laughing Boy LP, and Rex Aura Triple Eight for 31. And oh, and a couple people are sneaking in there too. Crazy dude gifting a sub to Sanic and Maniac. <laughs> and Maniacal gifted a sub to Big Honkin' Bonkers. <laughs> Thanks, Maniacal. Thanks for seven folks, your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Uh, you gonna, you gonna load? There we go. Game fan with right at the end. I'm not even the one. What? No! Good old Flintstones, the movie, the game. Endless beat with Project Joniverse background music for Smile Game. Tamagotchi. Thank you, Endless Beat, for the Joniverse remix. Private Butter with You Will Give Me 1,000 Knives. You Will Give Me the Knives. Yep. <laughs> that is definitely me. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful sound you made, Jared. It's very, very beautiful. Yep. And cool out with Johnception Alert Edition. What? What'd you think would happen? Uh uh. That's just the starter bit, John. <laughs> you know, normal stuff. Damn it, me. Oh, yeah, Jared, I don't know if you're aware. We actually got rid of the uh, the Rose Alert. It actually changed. It's a different one now. Oh, really? Yeah, so the old Rose Alert officially has been retired. Ah, we, have well, a that's we have a parody one uh, poking fun at it, but that's about it nowadays. The, <laughs> the, eight th the 8008 points to something else now. Okay. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, Sonic Mania. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> JT says, allow me. <laughs>
another Rex racer? <gasps> you are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. Egg. Good old egg. Egg. Back. I gotta go get a drink. Eight. All righty. All right. Eight. See you in a bit. Eight. 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 Hi, Chad. Help, Stanley. Eight. Cow. Cow. <laughs> it's funny. I actually have um, a. I have a couple of 808 alerts um, that are that have like fan art and stuff, but like I don't have anything fancy like in a well, friend, like an animation or nothing. To new people again. I can't even remember exactly what those alerts are. I don't think they're any any of the um, the massive Bahonkadonkaroos like some of the art that I have. I'm actually gonna go look and see because I have no idea. What the frick? What is this alert? Someone is the Earth's clock. I have not yes, seen this. <laughs> the Kermit voice. We get signals. <laughs> oh my god. What in the hell? <laughs> That's awesome. Jesus, that's actually fantastic. <laughs> I freaking love this song. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. That is good stuff. Actually, I'm going in to see... Yeah, that was one from Sandwich. Um, I have... Another one from Sandwich. Another one from a name I cannot remember for the life of me. And I have one from Jumney, too. Okay. Another one from Sandwich. Cow! Well done. Cow! Another one from Jumney. Nothing too crazy. And then I have one from Sandwich again. So mostly Sandwich, mostly Germany, and one that I cannot remember the name of, which I am very sorry for. So I, I was looking through my uh, my alerts um, on my channel because I couldn't freaking remember <clears throat> which ones I had. Oh, did the, did the R base actually go off while I was gone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. What ending did it get? Uh, was it a little the... ship, ship ship falling down with a honk? Well done. I didn't hear I didn't hear the honk. Okay. Well, I, I I don't know if it did or not, actually. I can't remember. My brain is fried. There's like four different versions of it, so... The, the only That's difference funny. is the ending. That's funny. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> you got me to do... Uh, well, not technically, but you inspired me to do an 808 alert, and then I also have one for 7175. <laughs> that does the same alert sound, but it's just a little bit cheaper if someone finds it. Nice. Has Jared seen the Stab House alert? I don't think he's seen the Outback Stab House one. Oh my god. Yeah, we're very we're very original people around here, as you can tell. <laughs> I would say uh, Bug Fable <laughs> Sassy Assassin. Or Persona 4. That game is good. Toby, I just saw your art. <laughs> oh boy. Uh... All right, we'll get. Well, it might not get to it this art block, but <laughs> we'll see it in a bit. Hold on, oh, nah, I gotta God. go look at it too. Uh, I have not played uh, Dance Rush Stardom. No. Is that the one where it's like a big old pad on the floor and it's like the flashing lights, like the pixelated lights where you just you dance instead of like doing arrows and stuff? <gasps> I don't know for sure which one it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's like Dance Station or Dance something? Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, that's it? Uh, yeah, no, I have never tried that because I can't actually dance. <laughs> mm. 
Rip. Right. What was I looking up? Oh, that's right. Our blocks already, so let's quickly look at alerts while Jared's looking up something. I, I was looking up the uh, the art that you were talking about because you were laughing at it, and I want to laugh at it too. I can I can link it to you if you want, because it's not it's definitely not coming up this art block. It's this one. <laughs> oh my freaking god. It's, it's great. It's great. It's great, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy frick, man. That's good. All right. Where were we on alerts? Uh, well, there's a bunch of these marked off as red, but I definitely did not read these off. Oh, there you, we go. IQ marked... test was where we ended. Holy frick! You mark them off as red. Yeah. Oh man, I've never, I've never actually used that functionality. I you just click on it. <laughs> well, I, I yeah, I, do I you, don't. Do you stream elements or stream labs? Labs, labs. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. In, I did that in labs too, but in elements, I, I do the same thing. So it's just, it's huh. easier. Well, here's the thing. In in labs, it's easier because you can just there's just a window of just your alerts. In elements, you have to make a filter for it, but you can only have one window visible, which is annoying. I liked how you had the multiple split ups in labs. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the few things I do miss about making that jump. That's fair enough. Fleet Admiral Blue Triple Seven says, "Have you heard of the ROM hack Super Mario 74 Extreme Edition? If you have, you can tell what it's going to be." You can tell what it is going to be for you. Yes, it is basically hell and 158 power stars. I, I've been over this before. I don't like Mario 64 enough to want to play ROM hacks of it, so... I'm good. So Flare Kia 89 says, I finally got over my COVID and became negative. Now I can go back to my job, finish my two Pokemon playthroughs, and watch your streams completely. Well, glad you're feeling a lot better. Heck yeah. Yay. Uh, da, 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 da. Bad Chatchpunk says, USA! USA! Hey, it's Frisky says, Hey, John, it's now the 23rd, so henceforth it is my birthday, and as with everyone's duty when it is the day of their birth, here's some of my money. Take it. Uh, tale as old as time. Thank you, Frisky, and happy birthday. I will never understand that. I don't get it either. Yeah, that but, crap happens on my stream too. I think it's just because they get they get the reaction out of us. That's actually what it is. But yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the best gift of all. <laughs> the gift of confusion. Yep. Westerford says, "Why can't you travel to 2000? Mario needs to return the missing Y2K program thing. The developers are cowards. I mean, they didn't know what was happening yet. So, <laughs> Flame Titan says, John Madden." <laughs> Ryan Curtis 2001 says, A bird in Einstein's lab? Wait! That's why Falco says, Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side! He was there! Oh my god. We found the truth. And, and with that, I'm gonna run to the restroom. I'll be back. Alright. Go for it. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to read one of these back to Jared. My bad. Try to remind me, chat, uh, to read it back to him at some point. A bunch with no messages, but thank you all for activating those. Dan Metro says, cash in some bits for a lower tier hype train emote because I always get the level 5 emotes from Jared's stream. Fair enough, thanks, Dan. <laughs> Smashing Ellie says, will you still do a Gears of War playthrough with Greg Chun? Suddenly remember that you proposed the idea during your Lost Judgment segment forever ago. He popped in chat last week saying he still wants to do it, so we're going to figure it out at some point. Rex Aura says, just want to say hi to Jared to make sure he's ready for this year's Coliseum. I know I am. Been preparing since Chaos Cookie last year. Oh, God. I'll read that back to him when he comes back as well. So I've got two to read back to Jared. Uh, Pickletron XD says, I have an art in progress, but I'll wait, though. Uh, there'll be less art for me since school is starting back up this week. I'll be keeping the same deal with Ryu, but other students should see if your school email gives you a student Amazon price account, a Prime account, when you, which you can use the sub to John, but if you are subbed to, go ahead to sub to Jared. <laughs> okay. I think I goofed up reading that a bit, Pickletron, but thanks for the sub to John and sub to Jared. JT Average activates the uh, all your base alert and says, yes, I can afford this. Drake F says, testing my cow luck since I got some extra bits. Catch'em Kid says cows. James EP says someone said cow or someone saw cow. Rex Red Nexella says yo, hope everyone's having a good Saturday with the Bomberman alert. Uh, Fleet Admirable Blue Triple Seven says, did you get my last cheer? Is that the one I read out earlier at the beginning? Because I'm pretty sure I did then. 
Rio9 says, what is the strangest side or topping you usually have on your food? For me, it's supposedly salmon and cream cheese. But uh, that isn't as rare as one would think, especially since there's salmon-flavored Philadelphia. Uh... I don't think I have an answer to this one, to be honest. I can't think of anything that I put on my food that's weird. I'm a very boring person when it comes to food, I guess. And Captain Joe says, more cow, and Fleet Admiral Blue says, uh, per 1k. Gotcha. Alright, so remind me I got two. I'm supposed to read out to Jared when he comes back. One was uh, from Rex, and the other one was from the last break. But let's go to Art Block meanwhile. Because Art Block starts right here. From Gabri19, hello everyone! Keeping with the theme of pancakes and the Pancake Festival, I figured I would draw some concept art of emotes revolving around the theme. As a reference, in case the text is hard to make out, the emote na names read as such. Pancake Balloon, Get Pancake, Luma Bagel Eats Pancakes, Rosa John Pancake, Beefaroo Pancake, Luma Bagel Pancake, Hyper Cold Waffle, Pancake Lad, Pancake Sad, Shocked Lad, Pancake Mad, Chill Pancake, Pancake Festival Beefaroo, and Waffle Loving Goat. I'll be back to drawing the gang's adventures at the Pancake Festival soon, but I figured this would be a good intermission for now. Enjoy. Thanks, Capri. I was informed that Primus War created beef reel and include that in the credit section. Gotcha. So here we go. We got Pancake Balloon. Get Pancake. Pancake Mad. Chill Pancake, who is, I guess, snapping and like, maybe also dabbing. Pancake Lad. Luma Bagel Eats Pancakes. Rosa John Pancake. Beefaroo Pancake. Luma Bagel Pancake. Hyper Cole Waffle. Pancake Sad, Shocked Lad, Waffle Loving Goat, Pancake Festival Beefaroo, and, and we're looped around. Thank you, Gabri, for the continuing adventures of the Pancake Festival. <laughs> Hang on, I just saw that. Show me, let me read that out. I spit hot bars, make you see stars. 34 months is a lot, but not so many. I think I'm not the best around. I'm like the Karate Kid, he's a clown. Some say I'm a fun guy. It makes me sad that like that one guy who gives pro tips faster than your mom got quips. It's beautiful. Thank you for the hot bars and the hot rhymes. Appreciate it, Shroomy. Thanks, bud. Hope you're doing good. Simpsons, uh, from Storm, rather. Yes, I'm truly mad, and yes, you can complete Road Rage, you just need to beat Mission Mode and attain the million dollars to buy back the buses for Mr. Burns. John, give me a hot bar right now. All right, I gotta go up to the microwave, and I gotta throw in, like, a chocolate bar into the microwave, so it might be bit melted, and it might cool down by the time I send it over to you. Hope you don't mind that. Also, I have suffered through the pain of completing, uh, Char? Char? And it's not fun at all, mostly because you have the coin grind to buy everything. I don't know what you mean by Char. Also, I have a backlogger mostly to help keep track of what I have uh, to finish my count. It's only one, two, three games, but I'm not a collector, so I don't mind. Yeah, no, backlogger is not meant for giant collections like mine. It's meant to actually lead you to beat your games. Which I can't do sometimes. Char is Simpsons Hit and Run? Oh my god. I never thought of it as that, but yeah, you're right, that makes sense. Also, like, Char... Or, now you got me saying it. Hit and run doesn't seem too bad to complete if it's just the 10 missions and get a million dollars. It just sounds tedious more than anything. Thank you, Storm. Next up. Puffieri Fish Ranger. Stupid idea. Ahoy, based on a 90s TV series, Walker, Texas Ranger, where Chuck Norris portrays the titular character and is, is as stupid as you'd expect. That show was incredible. I will not hear slander of Walker, Texas Ranger. Fuck Chuck Norris and the, who he is as a real person, but man, Walker Texas Ranger was the dumbest shit to watch in the best way. That dude fucking karate kicked through windshields of cars. It was great. What a dumb show. Fantastic to watch. Next up from Ellie Smash. What happened with Chuck Norris? Uh, he's very anti-LGBT, if memory serves. Basically, not the nicest person in that aspect. That's all I remember. I'm sure this. I thought there was something actually bad, like, like, actually worse than that, but that's still pretty bad. Don't remember the full 
Yeah, there you go. Kermit, uh, Chuck Norris is a hateful piece of garbage. Yeah, that's that's the actual summary. Hello. Hello. Hello, I've returned. Uh, I have to read out two donations to you after Art Block, so remind me to do that in about five minutes. From Ellie okay, Smash, Dad. Behold my most ambitious idea yet. A Meetopia playthrough where every party member other than myself is related to the Johniverse in some way. Starting off are Shantae the Mage, Ryu the Thief, and Wesker the Warrior. To be honest, the hardest part about making the Shantae me was picking the right skin tone. Came out good, though. And made Reese the Horse due to suggestions in the Discord. Nice. Thank you, Ellie. Since when? For for Chuck Norris? Oh, like, people are saying, like, he's a transphobe? Yeah, no, that's been, what, a minimum a decade at least? That, that's that been known, well-known info? It's been quite a while that it's, that it's been known information. Uh, from Junko. Chinese New Year Countdown Challenge, Day 22, Luca Jin. Very nice. I showed this to Reese because she hadn't seen the tweet at the time. She loved it. Thank you, Junko. And the hating on the hateful makes that hate better? No. What are you supposed to... Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Here's the thing. I'm not... Like, I'm just pointing it out. I still like the stuff Chuck Norris made. That doesn't mean you have to like him as a person, though. <coughs> Unless me. I misinterpreted what you meant by that. Yeah. That... You... You should hate someone making some doing something bad like that like I feel like that's not a hard stance to take <laughs> anyways let's go back to our block uh, from King Monty it's called the intolerance paradox you cannot tolerate the intolerant oh yeah no that okay yeah that line yeah, that's fair from King Monty, hey yo, long time no post, huh? Well, I guess I should introduce this gal. This is Funko Pawn, uh, an alt of Pawn Pawn that I made in the Funko Pop designer. I forgot there's a Funko Pop designer. Uh, then further edited in MS Paint along with her beloved Funko pet, Darth Bagel, who I also edited to include the eye patch. I decided halfway through making her that since the basic Funko Pop designer is very limited, I would make it my new project of occasionally making what I like to call the Funk Alts which is basically an edited custom Funko Pop version of an existing alt. Hope you and the other artists in the community like it. I like that we've basically made marketable figurines now at this point of the alts. Thanks, King Monty. Next up, oh no, it's time, it's time. All right, mm -hmm. Bexy, Bexy tweeted this at me today. I made a new model for my husband's birthday. I took that model and something happened. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. No obligation to use this, but I do have the VRM stashed and ready if you want it. So I, here's a 3D model of Rosa John. That's accessible. Uh, I've already been given the file. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to get this in VR chat, if I can in any way, so we have an actual 3D model. But I know that this is Vroid, and we already have the ones from Angels as well. So we actually now have a couple different versions of Rosa put in there because of Angels and Bexy Mama. So thank you both for these amazing, amazing models of Rosa. <coughs> Excuse me. Also thrown in here for good measure, it's a hat. Feel free to use it in case you need a hat. And there's my old toque, the one I have in all those pictures. Thank you, Bexy, for that as well. Next up from JD, it's for Beefaroo's birthday. Was caught a little off guard with everyone celebrating Beefaroo's birthday last stream as I assumed it was, was the 27th where he became an alert. So my piece is a little late, but better late than never. Beefaroo's celebrating with his two siblings and Purple as they share a nice bubble cake. Hope you like it. Is she able to convert her work in VRC? I, yeah, I heard, like she said there was some way to do it. So I'll figure something out. Uh, Cause this week coming up, Wednesday, I think I'm going to have my VR headset finally set up for streaming. That is the plan, at least. Is that Wednesday is going to be a whatever Wednesday, so we're going to try to do some VR streaming, which may include VR chat. So, it could be a mess. <laughs> Thank you, JD, for the picture of Beefaroo Purple and the other beef alts, which I had forgot about for a while. Beefaroo and Beefaroo. 
This sounds dangerous? Yes, it is. It very much is. Thanks, JD. Next up, I got a little Koibi here from Arsene. So I had to try my hand and draw John as Kirby, which is the first time I did this. I had motivation from the art community as well as John in general. We all have a good stream, and I leave you with this joke. What is the difference between divorce? Hang on, I'm gonna reread. I'm gonna read this before. I guess it's on screen already. <laughs> Never mind. What is the difference between divorce in the South and tornadoes? Nothing. Either way, someone is losing a trailer. Uh, I'm, I'm from South. I'm from South Carolina, and. <laughs> it made me chuckle so you Half, were... <laughs> uh, halfway reading it, I'm like man maybe I should have read this one off stream but I'm like I can't because it's on yeah. I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> it's I have to say it now uh, it's yeah. it's like, uh... <laughs> not, not everyone in the south lives in a trailer but yeah I get the joke you're going for thanks Arsene oh god uh, Dude, that happens to me on cast sometimes. Like, I'll be uh, I'll be like reading off a, a cheer or whatever and I'll be like what is the difference between Ah, thank you for the 200 bits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's why specifically why I don't have text to speech on for alerts. I'm like, hmm. Oh, neither do I. I. I read off all my all of my alerts and stuff. I don't have them on, but I'll be reading one of them. It's like, oh, probably shouldn't read that. <laughs> <laughs> from Senshi, we'll end on this one here. The color version is done. Also, expect even more horse mom from me for a while because if, because I want to get better at drawing her. I'm gonna need more orange pencils. Looks lovely. Thank you, Senshi, for the uh, Jessica Rabbit leukogen. More art to go, but we'll get there next break. Uh, quickly, before we hop over to the next game, I did have two alerts I was supposed to read back to Jared. One was, one was from Rex Aura. Where was that? Just wanted to say hi to Jared and make sure he's ready for this year's Coliseum. I know I am. Been preparing since Chaos Cookie last year. Ah. Uh. Yes. <laughs> are you are you ready for Coliseum? Is the question. No, no, no. I I, I thought I didn't know if the uh, if the uh, uh, if you were done reading it off yet. That's why I waited so mm -hmm. uncomfortably long just then. Yes, yes, indeed, I am. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. Uh, now I gotta remember who sent the other one. I was supposed to read before you bounced off during the last break. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly skim and see if I can find it. Abyss, that's a really good one. <laughs> Just yeet the Pika. <laughs> right, that one. Of course, now I'm not going to find it when I actually need it. Yeah, can't find it. All right, I'll have to dig around for it later then. But it was specifically a question to you, and now I can't find it. Uh, whoever sent in that alert, if you at me in the in the chat, I'll read the question. Because I'm looking at chat. It was about the Hollow Life. Ah. Oh yeah, that was it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, they were congratulating you on the Hollow Life uh, appearance. Oh, the Mikarone thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was, dude. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was Y two K nine zero. Also, a late congrats on that Hollow Life collab from last year. Eight bit drummer makes me wonder if a Hollow Life member will be in Coliseum. I said no. That that will not happen. <laughs> There's no. no way on that one. So so the funny thing about all of that. Um, is like I didn't actually talk to any of the members of Hollow Live or anything like that. Their company reached out to me and was like, "Hey, do you want to do something special for this?" Because you know they have a ma uh, managers and stuff. So I I got contacted by uh, whatever the frick project that company. I have no idea what their company name is, but uh, it was all done through their correspondence instead of anything. I like, hey, don't do too much detail or anything, but it was just like an email saying, "Hey, do you want to do a project?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, let's do it." I don't know about that arcade part. All right, in that case, then let's go and get uh, some Sonic Mania going here. Oh wait, never mind, arcade. I read that completely in incorrectly. <laughs> oh dear! Mind. Oh dear God! Please tell me that I actually have the crowd control option off. I don't know if that mod's gonna turn on when I turn this on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the headache from it. Ugh. Cover Corporation, thank you. Yeah, um, like, yeah, sh uh, shout outs to uh, all of the Hollow Life members because they are, they work hard. They work very hard, and I'm, I'm always super impressed. 
by like the amount of quality and the amount of uh, content that they're able to produce. Yeah, they're 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 all wonderful people. Okay. Um, Sonic Mania has crashed three times now. Four times. Yeah. Uh, shit. Ailita, what's the name of that app for managing the mods? <clears throat> We're getting a sick. Seg. Segway. <laughs> we went to seg. Full we're seg. The Almost full, the ah was in there. Almost got the we're ah. Gonna, we're going to get the vowel. We're going to get it. The second like, If I keep trying it, we'll get farther along in the word. <laughs> seg. <laughs> seg. <laughs> Sonic Mania file folder. Uh, no. He will give me a seg. <laughs> yeah, Alita, that's the name I was looking for. Thanks. Uh, I actually had to go into the Steam directory and fix it because I think because the last time we did crowd control, it's recognizing that crowd control isn't on and it's getting mad. So I need to go find Steam. If you're able to collab with any Hall Live member, John, who would it be? I'd love to play retro games with Corona. That'd be that'd be great. That's I don't, a good answer. I don't know any of the other members. Personally, I've seen all of their fan art. So uh a bunch of people be like, you should do the one with the, the space girl. Or like the was it Watson is also I think that's Hall Alive. <laughs> Dude, Watson is actually awesome. Watson I've heard hilarious things about, so it, Yeah. Common <clears throat> Sonic Mania Mania Mod Manager Dude, Guar or uh Gura, like oh my god, Gura would be a freaking trip to hang out with. <laughs> she seems like a gigantic meme lord and I love that. Okay, yeah, so that was the Sonic Mania mod that was freaking everything out. So let's save that, and now it should work. Sega. Oh my god, we got the full word. Yep. There we go. What up, Sega man? All right, well, since you haven't seen this, Jared, here's the intro to the mod. Oh, Lord. It's a Saturday night, the perfect night for streaming. I agree. For Proton John, it's a night of playing games, hanging with friends, viewers, and his cat, Bagel. Suddenly, a rather mysterious-looking cable appeared on one of John's arcade machines. Knowing his history of nomming on cables, cords, and more, Bagel simply cannot resist. Ah, <laughs> uh, desynced again, damn it. Wonder why it keeps desyncing specifically on OBS. After biting the cable, all of a sudden, a large pink portal appeared in the room! Quick on his feet, Bagel was able to escape. John, on the other hand, wasn't as lucky. He instead got sucked in. It only desyncs because OBS is running. It's so weird. Did you click off OBS. the window? Specifically, no, I did not. OBS causes me problems with uh, uh, video stuff, too, sometimes. <laughs> Upon waking up from the sudden trip, John discovers that not only is he in another world, he's also turned into a hedgehog. Shoutouts to freaking Hyper Potions. Not long after, a rather familiar-looking two-tailed fox appeared from the bushes. My boy! Say, I don't think I've seen you around here before. I'm miles per hour, but everyone calls me Tails, and who might you be? Tails is my favorite. I'm John. John the Hedgehog, I guess? I'm not from this world, actually. I'm a human where I come from. This weird pink portal appeared in my house and ended up sending me here. Mm, 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 
On hearing the words, Pink Portal Tales began to explain that some odd things related to portals and teleporting have been going on lately. Do, 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 do. Based on what he's heard, it's all due to the immense power of the interdimensional gemstone called the Phantom Ruby. Dun, dun, dun. I really need to give Drawing Tales a try. And he's got a pretty fun design. Like, there's there's a lot of, like, guides on how to draw him properly out there, too. Yeah. Even I got a bunch. Oh, God. The world-renowned hero Sonic the Hedgehog has been missing since his last battle with Eggman. John proposed that he would help, and in return, Tails has to come up with a plan to get him back home. See, like, first, like I don't horrible. know why OBS has this issue, but, like, without it, it runs fine. The young fox agreed, and with that, our heroes took off to begin their quest. <laughs> Pingus! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, Lord. I thought we determined the desync was caused by our alt tabbing. Like, yeah, but I didn't alt tab this time. I clicked OBS no. as the game booted up, and that was it. That's the only click I've done. No ping as usual, I see. Did you see the edit of that for to be Happy New Year? <laughs> no, but I you didn't see the Happy New Year edit. Come on, all right, we no. got we got to find this for Jared. Where the fuck is that Happy New Year video on Twitter? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look up Happy New Year Robotnik. The animations in this game are so fluid. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to find it easy. Happy New Year! It's really good. I, of course, I can't find the damn thing now with a quick search. Dude, I'm, I'm Chat, excited. Chat, please tell me someone knows where that is. I don't even remember the artist, the person that did the edit. <laughs> if anyone has it, I'll pop it up on screen. It's odd. When I streamed this for showcasing, I used OBS and it did not desync. Weird. Guess I'm the lucky one. Maybe I ate his OBS. No, I mean, that, this, isn't, this isn't the first time this happened. We did game clearing with Sonic Mania last year. We played through the entire game in November. Maybe I ate it back then. Link it in, yeah, link it in <laughs> chat for those who found it. A couple of people said they found it. Link it and I'll, I'll pop it on screen. Ah, there we Here, go. I'll, uh, no, I got it. I got it. I'll pop it on okay. screen for you. And I got a <laughs> Sonic Mania for a second here. Oh God! Oh! Happy New Year! <laughs> 2022. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Happy, New Year! Happy New Year! I love how you can still hear the Pete stress Happy, too on it. Happy New Year! Happy! Happy New Year! It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, Long John Baldry, you beautiful frick. Oh. All right, so what are we doing? Are we doing Encore mode or Mania mode? So we, did do uh, a, uh, we did do a full playthrough of uh, regular Mania mode before. We had 21 lives, two continues, and all the Chaos Emeralds. Um, we could just we could just start a new uh, playthrough, I guess. Just a sure. new game overall. You want, you want to do Mania or Encore? Which one are we doing? Uh, I... Uh, chat says Encore, I guess. I, I don't know anything about Encore. I've never really played it after I played it the first time, so... I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Someone wants Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles mode, and most oh, people seem to want Encore. Encore's fine with me, I don't care. <laughs> Ilita wants Mania mode because that won't have the messed up palettes because we're using the, the Jonic mod. Because <laughs> just, just just to show what we're talking about here, uh, the color schemes for them are messed up because they <laughs> the palettes they use were edited for other things. Oh, you, you like suck all the life out of them. <laughs> it's the only way I could become a hedgehog. Yes, give me, give me your life. Blood. Encore just adds new spikes to portions of levels. Well, in that case, I'm I mean, just a new file. Yeah, I'll just go with Mania if that's the case. Dun, 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 dun. Wee. Interesting thing about uh, Long John Baldry is that the fact he was also the pirate captain of Reboot. I did not yes, know that. Yes, that explains a lot. I remember his voice matching up pretty closely. The man, yeah, no. He definitely, I feel he's more recognizable as Robotnik. Bye, 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 bye. 
Encore slightly changes the levels a bit, gives it a new palette, and you can switch between two characters at once. Okay, so it's like it's like Knuckles Chaotix. Doom day, doom day. Shout out to uh, T Lopes for the freaking amazing soundtrack. I'm gonna be singing, and I'm sorry, but you can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's not much I can do. This is just part of my life now. Why do I have 99 lives? Uh, Cause you're just that much of a gamer. Orbs. Oh. <laughs> Acquire blue balls. <laughs> Acquire. <laughs> <laughs> My entire chat's like, God damn it, here we go again. <laughs> when I played through the game originally for game clearing, I every time I stopped for orbs. Every yep. time to a point where chat was starting to go insane. Dude, that's what you do. You, you that's go what orbs? you do. You gotta get the orbs. It's important. It just became a meme the entire time. It was just orbs. <laughs> so many <laughs> orbs. <laughs> Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> I didn't realize Scatman John did the, uh, the music for this game. Uh, God, that would be a glorious a thing. Rings still. Ah, sadly, I do not have a kazoo at my house. I only have one at the stream. I'll take the silver, I guess. Scuba de do bad we. John has an orb addiction. I have no idea what about me would make people think I would have an orb addiction. I have no idea what anything about me would lead anyone to think that. I'm not feeding him anything. He's been feeding me stuff from his stream the entire time. That's why none of it's been working. What? Somebody somebody said that I am I am feeding your orb addiction. And I was like, nah, -uh, he's been feeding me. <laughs> Instead, I've been eating all the stuff on his stream. <laughs> <sighs> this, this is balancing it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why do I have 99 lives? Like, what? I, did I pick some different difficulty mode I wasn't aware of? Or is it just because we beat the game already with all emeralds that it just gives me that by default now? I have no idea, actually. I tell you what, man. Going from freaking Sonic 2 to Sonic Mania, it's like, good God, the difference is just crazy. Because, like, Sonic 2, you'd be surprised going back to it again, like, just how jank the level design and enemy placement is. Like, it is insanely jank. For Sonic 2 versus, like, Mania? Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I feel like Sonic 2, they were really trying to figure out, like, exactly what they were trying to do. And then Sonic 3, they nailed it, right? Yeah. Also, more, more orb. More orb for the orb gods. <laughs> sphere <laughs> for the sphere throne. <laughs> So people are thinking it might be because of the mod we're using? No, guys, we did a full playthrough of the game already. We had, there was no, like, changed life count. It's just being weird. Woo, 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 woo. God, I love this game. Dude, when freaking Sonic Mania came out, I was over the freaking moon, dude. Like, because uh -oh. Sonic is, uh-oh. Oh, frick! Yeah. Sonic, Sonic, like the Sonic games and stuff, other than maybe Mega Man, well, Sonic is definitely my first, right? Like, it's my favorite. Mm. Um, Mega Man, the Mega Man series probably being a close second, followed by, well, Mario, then Mega Man. And, dude, I freaking flipped out when this game was announced, dude. Oh, my God. Sonic 3 Knuckles holds up very well. It's still, like, Mania, of course, is better, but it still holds up very well comparatively. Like, I'm looking forward to playing that. Some people think the life counts are residual from the crowd control shenanigans. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, 
that would be weird considering I specifically had to turn off crowd control to get the game to turn on. Go. So that would be really weird, but it also would make the most sense. Give Tails head pats, please. He deserves them. How do I do that? <laughs> no, I, I, no, I just... You I, can't do it in-game. I'm just like, I just want on. it to I'm, happen. I, I'll nuzzle his, his forehead with oh, my nose. Oh, oh, oh. I'm dying! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man! <laughs> Sorry, Tails. Tails was very distracted by me doing that and now has no idea how to process the rest of his day. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> Don't know why I even bother going for the one-up, but all right, we'll roll with it. Listen, sometimes... What if you instantly died from buffer overflow? I mean, that would be very normal around here, honestly. That would be funny. I should have went and got more rings so I could get more orbs. <laughs> we all know that Tails is immortal. Dude, there was a really funny... Uh... Oh, shoot. I can't remember that YouTube channel. There, there was a sketch about that, and it was really freaking funny. Cole was saying something about infinite lives being enabled by default whenever you use the program that loads the mods. But why didn't it happen when we did the actual game clearing? We have to use the exact same program. Dorkly, thank you. That was the oh, name wow. of the channel. Oh, wow. Dorkly. I haven't thought about them in ages. Do Dude, they exist yeah. anymore? I don't know, but I know that they made a freaking uh, a video about like Tails being immortal and could like survive everything, but it ends super dark because like oh, all of right, his friends yeah. die. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Jesus, it's like Tails, it's you're like, the hero of like uh, you're the hero that saves us all. Like yay! And then it like ends. And he's just like, why am I still here? <laughs> oh man, that was that was like. That was some dark humor, but it was freaking funny to me. Oh my god. Dork oh, died did when they... College Humor was run by uh, was ruined by Facebook. Yeah, that's what I thought happened to them. Shit. Yeah. Fell for it again. I didn't know that they were owned by College Humor. Okay. Yeah. They were spinning. That makes sense now. They were that the gaming branch sense. essentially of College Humor. God, they they made some good yet exceedingly cursed content, man. Woo! There we go. That's what I wanted. Give me the ring! Sadly, the 3D model is still regular Sonic, but everything else was, was Jonic themed. You just have a, co a costume on, it's fine. Exactly, it's cosplay. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sonic for hire? Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Oh wow, there's another long series. That was Dorkly as well, right? I believe so, yeah. It, it, it might have been. I don't know for sure. I don't want to say without a shadow of a doubt because I can't remember anything. Hey, look! He's getting even more orbs! You cannot stop the orbs. <laughs> the orbs the are orbs that are ingrained eternal. in my life. The orbs are eternal. Ponder the orb. Give me the emerald. You got it. Sonic for Hire was Lowbrow, not Dorkly. Gotcha. Ah, fair enough. Though, though yeah. Lowbrow does do the animation for Dorkly. Oh, so, okay, that's probably why I thought it was them, then. That would make sense. Ah. I'm gonna get more orbs. Isn't there, like, a one-up around here somewhere? I, look, I don't even want to look, look for one-ups. It's got 99 lives. Oh, more orbs. <laughs> this is gonna be the entire thing, and I'm all for it. Dude, seriously, that's all the that's all the playthrough was. Ha at least half of the playthrough where we did Sonic Mania, like for the most part blind, was me just doing blue orbs because oh I love God. blue orb. It's like yeah. orb jokes aside, I genuinely enjoy the the orb mini games, and I was a little sad when I was playing Mania myself for the first time that it wasn't the actual mini game for the actual emeralds. Yeah, it's like. You do it for the unlocks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm like, that's cool, but at the same time, it's like, that it's means not, you're going to be same. doing a lot of yeah. these. Oh, you oh, know, there are like so that many. There's so many orbs. Uh huh. Did you ever, um, 
did you ever oh man it was like on i don't know if it was just on pc but like there was a sonic three and knuckles disc that you could play it on pc and if you like went to a certain thing or entered a code you could play infinite orb levels um you can just do that with sonic and knuckles the cartridge proper oh okay cool because i know that um i know that a friend oh, of mine had ooh, I the friend of mine that. had a uh sonic 3 and knuckles cd that i got to pl I, I i played it all the time um in computer class because i just didn't give a frick <laughs> and uh i know that you could play those like anytime you wanted and there was literally like an infinite amount it was insane yeah no if you put i think it's you're supposed to put any non-sonic cartridge in sonic <gasps> yeah Knuckles, it acted that's itself. right yeah so the the cd just had it as an extra feature it was just like, yo, play blue orb stages until your freaking eyes pop out. <laughs> Speaking of orbs. Oh my god. See, I made the mistake. You got me going. You got me going on orbs again. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I completely forgot about these stages. Because once I got all the, um, the, what are they, the, uh, medals, I just, I never did another orb stage. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. We, how many were we missing by the end? It wasn't too many. I think there was, like, seven we didn't actually get any medal on, and then there's, like, 14 we only got silvers on. Something like that. Chat will remember better than me. Woo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a bit extreme. That <laughs> gone it, man. This game's soundtrack is so freaking good. It's a really good soundtrack. Oh, uh, T Lopes, I want to buy you a drink. Human interaction needs to be at, like available again first. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fuck. Boom. No, my fireball. No, oh, I just want to. I'm just hoping we get to uh, Studioopolis. Like that's all that I want. Uh. <laughs> then I should stop doing orb. <laughs> no, you do whatever you want. I'm just hoping we get there. You see. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a difference between hope and reality, unless you specify otherwise. <laughs> Listen, if we get to Mean Bean Machine, that means I got two games in one, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I guess that's a good point, too. Now, that, <laughs> that will likely happen. Dude, oh my god, John. Whenever, like, I played this game completely blind, right? Yeah. I didn't let anybody talk about it, tell me about it, or anything. I played it first night that it came out, and I was, I was, bl like... The moment you drop into the Mean Bean Machine part in the second level, I screamed. Yeah, dude. no, I was like, I saw, like, I think I watched Big John playing the game, and I was like, oh mm -hmm. my god, I can't believe they snuck that in. That's so cool. Yeah. Like, I was I was playing it on PS4 uh, with SharePlay with Erica, because she was still in um, uh, Canada at the time. And, dude, I blew out my freaking microphone hardcore. <laughs> Whenever that happened, I lost my mind, dude. Because, I mean, that's like two of my favorite games together. There's there's a way to, like, cheese these, and I cannot remember how the frick to do it. Argic showed me, and I'm like, Argic, you are a literal speedrunner of Sonic games. I can't do this. <laughs> I mean, from what I remember, they're not too bad. I think we only lost on one once during the, the blind playthrough. There's a way to get the um, the emeralds instantly with most of the levels, and I cannot, for the life of me, remember how our game showed me. Chat. Yeah, bouncing off the sides of the stage builds up speed. Yeah, it's like a really specific way of doing it. <laughs> you almost freaking. I had went. to stop. I had to stop because there's orbs to be gotten. <laughs> you almost went, dude. Jared, I don't know if you're aware of this about me, but orbs. Big, big deal in my life. Oh, I know. <laughs> and big, big orbs as well. Big deal for big orbs. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, I freaking... Alright. I need to give a shout out to my boy, man. Argic is one of the most wonderful individuals ever. Like, oh man. I just, I hope that he's able to go to a, what the frick? I hope that he's able to go to like a convention in the US or I, if I can meet him in the UK because, or uh, wherever he is exactly. I can't remember where. Oh. Um, But dude, he is, he is like me if, if I was Scottish, like energy wise. And I freaking love it. Oh, so, yeah, I cannot! Man. I cannot imagine a, a Scotsman with that much energy. Dude, like, watch, I, I have watch a problem Argic. imagining most other people with as much energy as you have, Jared. But specifically, a Scotsman would be fascinating. I'm and telling you what, a dude. A threat to life itself. <laughs> ah! Um, let me see. Like, legitimately, because uh, the first time I ever heard of him was well, that was <laughs> that went great. That went great. <laughs> The first time I ever heard of him, he did a, I believe he did a Sonic Mania speedrun, and he commentated the entire thing while he was doing it, and it was incredible. Absolutely incredible. And um, <laughs> I ended up reaching out, and I was like, yo, can we, do you want to play some Tetris? <laughs> 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 like, we, we played uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris, and uh, he's just been freaking chill ever since, man. Oh, what the? Why didn't I get my full height off that? Oh, because the fucking camera moves! Damn it! Yeah, that, that Mania run was incredible. Yeah! I would give Tails head pats. If I could, because he's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> also, it, dude, he was just—he uh, was straight up freaking moonwalking there for a second. Woo! <laughs> I love the—I uh, love the Shinobi one, that's <laughs> bouncing it on his head. <laughs> Forgot about that, Wario. Okay. Oh no, Keon, I know how good you are. I ain't playing against you. Uh-uh, <laughs> I've done that once before and I got my butt handed to me. I was gonna say, you've heard the legend, I forgot you actually played against him. Oh no, I felt the legend. Right against my behind. <laughs> <laughs> the legend put a new divot in. <laughs> I did have one crack, now I have two. It's just a little dimple, no big deal. A dimple? That's definitely what I need, another dimple on my bond. Does this mean that Rosa's chest is just orb implants? No, it just means that the more orbs there are, the more powerful she gets. Exactly. Get that orb! Where's the Get orb? Oh, right, I forgot the, the tiger slimes were actually made. Oh, they're so cute! What the frick? Bro, I love this! There's so many like nice, neat little touches too. The final boss was even changed for it. It was such a cool, it was such a cool surprise that unfortunately Aww. I had spoiled for myself because I was looking for a certain file and that I fell for it again in the uh, director for the mod. But the uh, the final the final boss was changed to be Rosa John as a hedgehog too. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh yeah, tails. Dude, yeah, the Sonic Four Episode Two speed run that they did this year was absolutely phenomenal, and it was a freaking world record, too. In a full Sonic costume with gloves on. Like, what the frick, Argic? That man, that man's on another freaking level. Who does the what is oh, a wham yeah. voice in that alert? That's Gex. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Shockwave. Frick yeah. Oh no, my big rings. Oh, dude, look at them onion rings. Oh, yeah. I love the big rings. They're such a nice touch. That's from onion Chaotix, right? I think people told me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Onion rings. I feel so stupid. I have Knuckles Chaotix, but the damn 32X is can destroy certain models of uh, of Genesis, and specifically that was the one I was using for the longest time was the model that could be destroyed by it. <laughs> of course. So I'm like, I do not want to ruin a CDX because of uh, a 32X. So I'll wait till I figured it was gonna be eventually playable on the analog system. Nope, still not yet. If John is Sonic, who is Tails and Shadow? I'm Tails, I called it. Um, and <laughs> Shadow... 
Uh, I don't know. I have See, no I, idea who Shadow. Most people would expect me to have been Shadow, honestly, at this point. <laughs> Rather than instead of Sonic, but... No, uh, I'm 100% I'm Tails. If I wasn't, like, if if my... <laughs> If my chat given Sona was not a bunny rabbit, I would be I would be Tails. I don't even know like a fox, there we go. <laughs> Shadow is Masay. I can accept Masay, I can accept Jules. Dude, I Jules is Shadow? Lord, Frick yeah. Lord Donator is Shadow. That might be a little too insane for Shadow, but yeah. But yeah, I call Tails. <laughs> Emil is Vector. <laughs> <laughs> I accept this cannon. Why is he Vector? Uh, dude, yo, Mephilus is Lord Donator. Oh, frick yeah. No, you know what? The I'll only accept that threatening one too. Character. I will accept that. The only threatening character in the full Sonic canon. Frickin' Mephilus the Dark. Who is Amy, Luca, or Adri? Oh, Adri. Reese hates Amy. <laughs> <laughs> But that's mainly because she only knows the uh, classic Amy. I'm going to assume I've already screwed this up. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who Erica would be. I have no freaking idea. Dude, Sally Acorn's such a good character. Cream or Blaze? I could see her as Blaze. Definitely not Cream. She's way too fiery to be Cream. Maybe she must be Bunny Rabot. <laughs> That'd be good. She could definitely kick your behind. That's for sure. Alright, I think we were doing good on this one when we were doing the actual playthrough and then an actual speed up at the very end screwed it all up for us. The Raccoon Girl? Oh, shoot. Who is she? Sticks. No, she's a badger. Oh. Yeah, we screwed up that one. I'm seeing vanilla? M Marine? Marine sounds right, because that's from Sonic Rush Adventure, right? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, uh, Marine is from uh, Sonic Rush. <laughs> Yo, freaking Tomoyo just sent me a picture of Tales from Sonic Boom on a drum kit. It's freaking cannon, dude! Nice, Let's there go. you go, there you go. You've got the blessing from Sonic themselves. I absolutely do. Have I read the Sonic Forces comic? No, I have not read any Sonic comics since the Genesis wave. Who could be Knuckles? Tim, Tom, Steven, or someone else? Oh, well, here's the question. What version of Knuckles? Because there's the Boom Knuckles, and then there's every other Knuckles. <laughs> Dude, Boom Knuckles is freaking funny. <laughs> I, I love Boom Knuckles. I love Sonic Boom the show. That show is surprisingly well written. It really is. I love it. Oh. Emilix Sonic Boom TV Knuckles. You know, sometimes. Sometimes. Bro. I thought your middle name was The. <laughs> Good God. Um, first Genesis Wave or second? See, I don't know. <laughs> It was the one with the special, uh, it was like a special edition, and then Sally got her new design after they defeated Eggman. So, that's the one I know. Yo, Tangle, heck yeah! I can see her as that. Ta that was her name, Tangle. I love the freaking EKG machine in the background on this one. Oh, at the, the beginning the, the of the song. The random beeping in the song? Yeah. Yeah, the beep, beep, beep. It's like freaking. Ah, T Lopes! Oh! Yes, after the Mega Man crossover, yes. Which was fantastic, by the way. I freaking love the Mega Man comics. Oops. Uh oh. Scoop that dead and it back to do the bit. Sonic Boom is worth its time to watch. Oh, hey, Orb! God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we've looped already! We've already done this one! Yeah, I would say that Masay is definitely sticks the badger from um, from uh, Sonic Boom. Absolutely, I can accept this. Oh crap! Oh look, right Surge in the new that. comics. I I don't know who Surge is. Botched. Woo! Botched it. I knew I screwed that up when I realized where I had jumped. <laughs> Dude, that's a good that's a good line there, Caesar. <laughs> Mal is Blaze. Sab is Cream. I can see it. 
Actually, Sab's a bit more spicy than y'all think she is. <laughs> I mean, I know, but yeah, I think chat in at large may not. Yeah. Who's the big the cat then? Mm. <laughs> My buddy Homic. <laughs> Sam, maybe. Yeah, no, I'm a little conflicted. Who who would Tim be? Did we ever come up with a Tim option? Um, I think. Man, I don't know. Tim, Bro, is, Tim is Omega. Tim is Omega. Tim is 100%. Omega. Yeah, man. Have you ever seen how meticulous he is while playing the game? I guess that's. Well, a good I mean, point. yeah, you probably have because oh, you're hey, his friend, but. <laughs> Freaking orbs, dude! <laughs> uh, I feel bad. We're over time, and I'm just like, hey, oh, hey, orb! Oh, hey, freaking orb! Freaking orbs! Hey, at least we made it to the jam that is Chemical Plant Zone. Would Toxic be SBO? Uh. I don't. I almost feel I like that would know. be Jules! Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think Jules would be more SBO than Jack. God, I don't know who Jack would be. Rick. Who's Tails Doll? We don't talk about that. <laughs> Jack would be Rouge the Bat. Because no, no one else has had that option yet. <laughs> Look, if I can't be Rouge, then we might as well be Jack. Frick yeah. Oh, man. Tom says, my favorite iteration of Omega is from the comics where he's basically HK47 from KOTOR. <laughs> Who would be Scratch and Grounder? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Jared, I think Scratch you might have to be both of those. Bro, I'll be both. Absolutely. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting. <laughs> I, I freaking love Scratch and Grounder, man. Like, they were, they were, they were my childhood, dude. I mean, they were a lot of people's childhood, to be fair. Oh, MC and Jiggy. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh. All right, it's time. Heck yeah. Oh, right, I forgot Scratch the song was even changed, too. Scratching Grounder. Um, Walked so that Orbot and Cubot could run. <laughs> this is cute. Yeehaw. Ray and Mighty or MC and Jiggy. <laughs> I like that. Dude, coconuts. Oh my freaking goodness, Tom. No. I have not thought of coconuts the monkey in years. Holy frick. I think most people haven't, to be fair, but yeah. Oh, God, man. Oh, my goodness. Come on, game, give me something a little bit better to work with here. Uh, yeah. uh, well, well if you something. take if you take that one and move it over three times and press A twice to flip it, then you could drop it down, and then you take the next one and move it over two tiles to the right. And I, no, <laughs> please stop, Julio! Please stop. Uh, just give me nothing... Tetris where things make more sense. Dude, there is nothing better than playing a puzzle game like this with lag, having somebody tell you what to do <laughs> while you're doing it. <laughs> Ah, if you would have just went there! <laughs> oh, God. That crap is just funny. Stugopolis is next, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so I'll at least let the music play. Yeah, I just I just want to hear that opening theme. Also, I love the transitions. Mm. Maybe maybe this time I can find the edits I missed last time. Ailita, where is that chapter two or should I be looking around here? Cause it oh no, it's right here. That answers that. <laughs> That's awesome. Y'all can't see it, but I'm actually dancing. Oh no, oh, I knew spins, we were gonna get to... Oh shit! 
That's cool. I knew we weren't getting to lamp oil ocean zone. I knew that. Oh, we were in, oh, like, if we were going to oil ocean, you should have just told me I would just load up the save we had. <laughs> no, uh, well, <laughs> it's a reference. Like, lamp oil ocean zone. Have you seen that? Oh, well, I, think no, I haven't seen the actual video, I don't think, but I know you're lamp oil bombs. You're, you're quoting CDI Zelda. Yeah. Uh, but you, you've seen the video of lamp oil ocean zone, right? No. You haven't. Ooh. No, I just told you I have not. I, I, I could have swore I showed that to you. That, you're going to have to look that up and listen to it really quick because it's great. <laughs> it's penance for all the orbs you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 I wanted to see that. I think that was different. Yeah, I definitely need to. Oh, cute! Is there a beefy boy? Oops. Oh, hey, orb! <laughs> Listen, you gotta end it on an orb. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I meant, to be fair, I actually meant to just do this, but... <laughs> Tails, get down here, please. There we go. I no, no! It. What the frick was that? It was a bat. He was mad that I got in the way of beaver here. It, it didn't look like a bat on my screen. It must have been pixelation or artifacting. Yeah, he's, he's right up there. You can just barely see him off screen. It's a shutter bug. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ah, there he goes. Okay. It, it looked really weird. It was like really blocky, and I'm like, whoa, is that is that freaking sprite screwed up? Nah, it's fine. All right. And with that, let's, uh, let's go back to the cookie, shall we? I have the oil ocean motion linked in the Discord as a heads up. Alright, I'll check that out during break then. Yeah, why did it <laughs> default to 99? It must be because of the mod. You're just that powerful. That's it. Who is Mama Robotnik? Oh my <laughs> freaking goodness. Happy New Year! <laughs> it was on yes! my screen, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and yeah. link the mod in chat. <laughs> oh my god. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year! Alright, let's go to the cookie. Jared, what game do you want to suggest this time around? Bullshit. It always gets me. Um. Oh, shoot. Give me a second. I'll go for it. I'll uh, look up the viewer choices meanwhile. The viewer choices this time around come to us from Pizza1016 and Chris M543. Pizza1016 suggests Cluedo, aka Clue. Multiplayer with chat if possible. I wonder if that's not going to get picked because we played that like the. I think that wasn't that Wednesday we played it? Wonder if that's gonna get bumped because of that. When did we play Clue? I know it was in the last week. I can't remember if it was last week's cookie or Wednesday. If if you want to leave it on there, I can. Pizza, if you're here right now, I'll leave it up to you. Do you want me to keep Clue on there? Clue let was me, last week. Let me, okay. Let me check and see if you have a game really quick. Um, I was gonna ask for one of two games: um, Mega Man 11 or World of Goo, whichever one you have. I have both. Okay, if that's the case, then uh, World of Goo is my answer. Okay. Yeah, Pizza, do you want to change your game then? Uh, if you tell me what game you want me to change it to, I'll just go ahead and change it here now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chris I M... Sorry, I'm going to cut you oh. off for a second. Chris M543 picks Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> nice. Sorry, what were you trying to say? Oh, I was just going to say, um, I picked it up on Switch and it plays really well with the motion motion controls. World, oh, World of Goo. I was like, Mega Man 11 doesn't have motion controls. <laughs> Dude, I, um, Mega Man 11 was really good. Like, I was actually really blown away by how good it was. The only thing that I wish that was a little bit better with it was the music. The music was a little bit, like, subdued comparatively to most Mega Man games. Uh, but... It more than made up with it in the freaking gameplay department. Oh my god. Pizza has changed their game to Pajama Sam 3! Let me get the full title. Uh, if it would let me type in the full title. There we go. 
Pajama Sam 3, you are what you eat from your head to your feet on Steam. Oh my god. And Jared, you're gonna go with World of Goo, you said? Yes, sir. Okay, I think I have that on Steam. So we got World of Goo, Pajama Sam 3, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and the following five games. Starting with game number one. Monster Truck Madness for the Game Boy Advance. Question for your game collection. Do you prefer to have a manual plus any extras the game may have been sold with as new or just in a working copy of the game? Fine. Um, I prefer complete, if that makes sense. When it was just, like, for Game Boy games, I don't mind as much. Uh, or, like, Genesis games, but, like, if we're talking, like, a PS2 game, I would prefer, like, the case and everything. Or if we're talking, like, DS games, for example. It depends. I usually aim to have complete, though. Uh, game number two... Konami's Collector Series Arcade Advanced for the Game Boy Advance. So a bunch of Konami arcade games. Yeah, complete box preferred, but I won't say no to a game if it's offered to me and it's in good condition. Like, if it's scratched to hell, it's like, yeah, I found this underneath, like, my chair. <laughs> my couch. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, um, thanks. I made this for you. <laughs> <laughs> game number have you, three. Have you ever seen... The warm Kool-Aid sketch. Yes, uh, yes, I have. Yeah, <laughs> took me a that, that's what that's from. I made this for you. <laughs> Freedom Force on Steam, game number four. Genghis Khan 2, Clan of the Grey Wolf for the Super Nintendo. That's very specific. And the last oh. one is an American Tale, Fievel's Gold Rush for the Game Boy Advance. Here we go, those are all, like, all our games. Let's, oops, don't mean to do that. Let's see what we're playing next. When was the last time Fievel was relevant? Doesn't Fievel still show up at like Universal Studios or wherever it is that they, yep. they're a mascot still? There is a uh, Fievel's Kids play area in Universal Studios still. Which blew my mind the last time I went. I wasn't expecting it to be there. It's been a, like it's a long running series at this point. All right, Pajama Sam currently in the lead. 80 votes, 35% of the vote. World of Goo in second place, 53 votes, 21%. Smash Ultimate, third place, 46 votes, 16%. An American Tale, Fievel's Gold Rush, 22 votes, 7%. Freedom Force, 12 votes, 3%. Monster Truck Madness, 11 votes, 3%. Genghis Khan 2, Clan of the Grey Wolf, 11 votes, 3%. And Konami's Collector Series, Arcade Advanced, 9 votes, 2%, with 347 votes clocked so far. Pajama Sam 3, you are what you eat from your head to your feet. Currently leads 144 to 95. Let's slap him in on there and see what happens. Stop. Looks pretty safe, honestly, at this point. I've never seen the first American Tale. I've only seen the sequel. Yeah, like, the sequel is a lot more, uh... Happy <laughs> than the first one. The first it American really Tale is. is very depressing. Yeah. Kind of like how the first Land Before Time is pretty depressing at times. But like, I feel like I remember liking Five O Goes West a lot more because it's a lot cheesier and weirdly has a lot more action. All right, it looks like another easy win for Pajama Sam because it's 167 to 115. Yep, locked in there. Pajama Sam 3 is up next, thanks to Pizza 1016. All right, I'm going to drop eggs here, but I do realize, uh, because I know some people might bounce after this break, I'm going to actually mention the schedule for the week. Monday is game clearing. This month's theme for game clearing has been revenge, playing games from my childhood that I couldn't beat as a kid that I'm trying to beat as an adult now. So far, we've beaten Fortified Zone, which is actually a game that we tried to beat on stream to get revenge on. 
and then we also have beaten so far the Flintstones, the movie, the game for Super Nintendo, and Who Framed Roger Rabbit for the NES. This upcoming Monday, we are going to be attempting to beat Home Alone 2, Lost in New York for the Super Nintendo. And if we have enough time after that, The Simpsons' Bart's Nightmare for the Super Nintendo. Both games I rented and borrowed a lot as a kid. Wednesday, we've got... Uh, actually, it's probably going to be a whatever Wednesday, so we're just going to play whatever in the mood for, but we're going to focus on VR, because I want to actually see if I can get VR streaming working so we can throw that in the cookie as well. So get ready for some mini golf, probably some Resident Evil 4 VR, and uh, some other stuff. We'll see on that. Saturday next week is regular fortune cookie, and uh, for those who also haven't seen as well, the Splat League, the Proton Splat League, actually has announced season six, and there are signups available now. So if you like Splatoon 2 and want to play in our Proton Splat League or Splatoon League, Exclamation League will get you access to the Discord if you want to hop in there and get a team together. having to play Virtual Bart as where? As a kid, I did not play Virtual Bart. As a kid, I only played Bart's Nightmare. And Bart versus the Space Mutants. Uh, but I have, I definitely tried more to beat Bart's Nightmare than I did Space Mutants. So. So that's the one I decided to pick. And if we somehow beat both of those, because I know Bart's Nightmare is not that long, and actually isn't super difficult, it's just a bit confusing at points. Namely the Indiana Jones ripoff parts. But uh, we'll see what we can do with that. And Home Alone 2 is actually really short. I think a long play is 20 minutes. And as a kid, I got like 12 minutes in or something like that. So we'll figure something out with that. Let's drop eggs. Am I going to try Beat Saber? If I can find some music that won't get me in trouble, sure. <laughs> there, uh, if, you, um, if you mod it, you can find some that are pretty DMCA safe. Yeah. Just gotta be, just gotta be careful with that. I haven't, be, I haven't booted up Beat Saber yet. I've only booted up the mini golf game, and I have Resident Evil 4 VR loaded onto the headset. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I waited till I got custom lenses so I could actually use it without having to put on my glasses. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely yeah. worth. But like, I don't know if my prescription was just slightly off, but it seems a little weird to get used to. So it might just be that. We'll see. I got my new glasses today, so this is officially the last stream I'm doing with my old pair of glasses. Oh, nice. Skit Scott. Wait, isn't this the old list? Skit Scott, thank you for the gift sub to Busy Kick. I think this is actually the last. This is the last list. Uh, by the way, John, after. Um... Or right whenever we get into the uh, the next game, I do believe I'm going to bounce. Yeah, that's what I figured you were going to be doing. Uh, that's cool, yeah. man. Don't sweat it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is, it is 2.23, and I'm, uh, I'm uh, getting uh, sleepy. I think I clicked the wrong list, Bubba. Nope, Bubba, you sent me the wrong list. There we go. There we go. Warrior Fire, Yuki Mizuno, and Gokai, thank you all for the gift subs. <coughs> Jade Leaf B, thank you for the new sub. JT Average for 11. Red Aspen Poppy for 3. Unidentified Squid 8 for 12. Shroomy for 34. Them Turk 217 for 54. Chun Li Wan for 47. Waddle Esau for 29. Bell Clover for 16. The Crossing Fate for 36. Um, Sundere Evo Shadow for 13. One Shot 13 for a Hondo. The Random Genius, 42 for 65. And B-Ball, 1986 for 56. <laughs> Sounds good, Jumny. Sounds good. I'll be sure to check the Baru for sure. I, or just I add it to me. I mean, I can also just show it to you before you bounce. If you want. Oh, either way. One Shot 13 says, after something for 100 months, hard to believe it's almost been a year. <laughs> Thanks, One Shot. Thanks for summoning everybody. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Uh, where's the carton? There's the carton. Assuming it's the Quest 2, it did have an update that messed up the visuals recently, but Meta said they're working on a fix ASAP. Ah, damn it. Don't tell me there's gonna be a damn update that screwed things up right before I start streaming it. Motherfucker. If, if that's the case, then I might have gotten that update because mine's a little bit fuzzy. That might be the case for me too, because I used it last week. But I didn't yeah. know any better because I put the new lenses on, so I just assumed it was part of the new lenses. 
<laughs> it's a it's a feature, not a bug. <laughs> hey! That is the the TV screen I put right in front of my face. <laughs> uh, from Heavy Base. Twenty one days later. Sorry, not sorry. Beefaroo, Piyampa. Why is it twenty one days later? Did you? Is this a zombie movie thing? That's 28 anyways. Or I figured this could be a Happy New Year thing, because that was close to 21. Anyways, thank you, Heavy. Next up, only a chatter with, you'll give me a segue. You will give me a segue. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I expected, but exactly what was advertised. All right. <laughs> We're going to get a break when we come back. Time for some Pajama Sam 3. See you guys in a bit. Hip scoop ba 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 doo. Hey, why does it say Sonic Mania is still running? What? No. Because <laughs> he's Sonic. No. He's always running. Uh. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, just uh. That's. Uh. <laughs> I know the feel. All right. I'm not surprised. Pajama Sam Three is already installed on this computer. Because <laughs> we've already streamed it. Goodness me. Ugh. This has been a good time, man. I appreciate it. It'll, it'll, we'll, we'll, we will need to do this again before the next 13 months comes up. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we got Chaos Cookie next month, so. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got we got so much stuff down the line. <clears throat> We've also got, uh, I think I might be doing, I we haven't, actually, the schedule's not even locked down yet, which is a bit N nerving because unnerving rather because we've got about a month till Coliseum. But yeah, uh, one of the one of the events I pitched is called Sugar Rush Fortune Cookie, mm -hmm. and the way it works is that uh, every after a certain amount has been donated in general by chat. So like let's say every two hundred and fifty dollars that's donated, I have to change the game I'm playing. So. Oh God. Uh, I, we're gonna change the amount because I don't know how much how bad crazy Coliseum's gonna get. But I did it for every hundred for uh, for the charity that we did in December with the Smile Time charity, and it, I ran a scoreboard. The scoreboard was anytime I get to play a game that is I've gotten off of the title screen, I earn a point. Anytime that uh, other than like if it, like let's say someone donated a thousand bucks, that meant ten changes. I don't score for anything. I only score for the last one. So if uh, so anytime that I attempt to go get a game and I do not get it started in time, chat gets a point. So it's a competition to see who wins between the chat and myself. And I believe it ended in a tie, right? 18 to 18? I think was how the Smile Time event ran? That right there is a good idea. But yeah, for Coliseum, I would have to up that amount because $100 at the rate that event goes sometimes, no, we would never get anything. We never get anything what done. Am I thinking? The way Sugar Rush works is that you create so much static you make your switcher angry. Oh yeah! Uh, so, my stream deck is very susceptible to static sh electricity. So, huh. every time I sat down in my chair to turn on the next game, uh, I zapped it off. <laughs> oh my god, of yeah. course. Every time I touched the stream deck, it turned purple. And then just it had to reboot. That's incredible. It was rough. It was rough. That is it such a funny. that is such a weird problem to have. Yeah. You know. I mean, to be fair though, I was running around the entire time, so I guess it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. I don't have to get up because it's pajama Sam. I still got water. The exact same thing happened to Steven and Mal. So I guess the stream deck is just really susceptible to shocks. Hmm. Actually, maybe I do need water because I just emptied the glass. I'll be right back. Oh, goodness me. Mm. Oh, lordy, lordy, man. I, uh, I did a drum stream earlier from 4.30 to 7.30, so, like, I am tired tonight, man. But I have been having a good time. I'll tell you what. 
Ugh. It has been wonderful being back on here, by the way. In chat, y'all have been beautiful. Uh, do I have an anti-static wristband? Somewhere. In my old bag of IT tricks, I have an anti-static wristband somewhere in this house, but I don't know where the frick it would be. No idea. I have heard of Freedom Planet and Spark the Electric Jester. I have not played Freedom Planet yet, but I want to. It's always so fun, Jazz. Which drum did you stream, Jared? Uh, all of them. <laughs> No, highly like some of the like a lot of the songs that I played today were like they were challenging, but they were not like ultra hard. Like there are some songs where I'm just like winded as frick afterwards. But playing stuff like uh, Blaze Blue Music or um, SSH, because of the fact that I know those tracks, there it cuts down the difficulty by like seventy five percent because I know what's coming. If I'm like playing on the fly and trying to figure out like a a, a metalcore song on the fly, that is like a hundred percent. Uh, like, exhausting. Alright. So, Jared, you gotta bounce before we hop into the game. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mm -hmm. show, specifically during Art Block, the stuff that's for you, so that uh, you actually wonderful. get to see it before you bounce. Sounds like a plan. Which means Art, Art Block's gonna be a bit uh, hectic, because I'm gonna leap around, and some of these I'm not gonna know for sure for you, but... I'll make sure that you don't have to miss too much. Let me quickly skim alerts and then we'll hop over there. Carecaster says moo. moo. Does this look infected? Says what's the difference between a late night buh? Wow, I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Bleach Bummer says yo, John. Just that that was also written in the message. That not reading that out loud. Just to clarify. Bleach Bummer <laughs> says. Okay. Yo, John, just got back from work and only to have to get ready for bed for work the next day. Random part-time scheduling, huh? That aside, been trying Resident Evil 4 VR on your recommendation, and as much as I wasn't a fan of Resident Evil 4, been enjoying it more than the OG. I have heard that a lot from a lot of people, actually. Hmm. That Resident Evil 4 VR feel, like, for some people, like, they didn't like 4, but they enjoy 4 VR. So I don't know what they did specifically, but apparently it's pretty good. I didn't even know that four had VR until you just until you told me. It is specifically for the quest too. They specifically made it for the quest. Bro, I might have to give that a try. Yeah, it's uh, it's like I said, it's really good from what I have heard. Um, but I do remember when it originally came out, it was getting some flack for one of the dumbest reasons possible. Um, uh, for some of your equipment, they strap it to your chest. So, you know, you reach to your chest and grab, like, a grenade, for example, or, like, ammo, mm -hmm. or, like, a, a, or like an herb or whatever. Uh, they didn't account for anyone with breasts. <laughs> so of course, they didn't. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people were complaining, like, yeah, every time I have to go, like, grab ammo, I just slap one of my tits. I was like, oh, <laughs> Capcom, you were so close. Come on. Capcom's it's half the population. Bad. Capcom's the best. Small indie company, you know. <laughs> Payday 2 has the same issue? Oh, yeah, VR, come on, man. Which game did this? A couple, apparently, but specifically Resident Evil 4 VR. I don't know if they fixed it since. I only remember hearing about that like the first week it was out. I'm gonna hope they fixed it. Hmm. I'm hoping they're not that dumb. <laughs> but I have been proven wrong before, so who knows. Uh, uh, though I stopped right after getting to the part, I hate escort mission the game, so we'll see if that enjoyment stays. I'll not lie, all the new features such as the ability to dual wield have made me hope for a Resident Evil 5 VR. Oh my god, actually boulder punching would be incredible, and I really hope they do that now. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine it, throwing eggs at Wesker with your own actual arm, or better, punching the boulder yourself. Come on, John, you have to admit you'd stream that day one if it was made. I absolutely would. I would, 100%. Oh, yeah. Based on articles I read, though, people feel mixed to wanting 5 VR. That's fair, because it's designed around co-op, so... You either have to deal with just AI Sheva, or it's a two-player game, which... It could still work. Westerford says, how to make friends! You want to play Tetris? Truth. Pizza 1016 says, hi again, John. Last month I sent you the long dono message about my ADHD and ASD diagnosis last year. Didn't expect that you were also going through the same process. Curious as to what you were thinking at the time if you're happy to share. It must have been surreal. 
Oh, when you message, yeah, when you mess send me that message, I'm like, I wish I was ready to talk about this yet. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, I'd gotten the diagnosis in November, or that's when I actually did the original test. And then I think two weeks after that, they gave me the actual diagnosis. And then I was like, okay, well, let's let's try um, the actual, like, suggestions first. And then it's like, let's also try the medication. And then I, I decided to try the meds, and they've been working pretty good. They've had some quirks. I'm gonna... I asked my doc, am I okay to like step off of them for a bit to try out, see how my body reacts to that. So I'm gonna be trying that in a week or two. That's gonna be interesting, but otherwise, like it's been pretty helpful for me. So it's been nice. You got yours in July, nice. All right, Art Block, Jared Focused Edition, let's go. Checking oh, yeah, I didn't even listen to the lamp ocean oil ocean zone. Hang on. Let me pop that on there. <laughs> Yay <laughs> Should I should I show this instead of just playing it? Dude, yeah, you totally yeah, should. Yeah, I think this needs to be shown. Hang on. Hang I on. I freaking love this video, dude. I want you to know that while we were playing this last night, Erica was like, I have to. And while we were on oil ocean, she pulls us up on her phone and we played this music instead of the actual music. <laughs> this is really, really well done. I know. I'm gonna assume it's mostly this for a while until they get to like the breakdown. Yeah, it's basically this the entire song. All right, for those who it's haven't that, seen it's that, that one, it's that one long note where he's like, mm -hmm. like that, that is the best part of the whole thing. <laughs> for those who want to check that out for yourself, drop the link in the chat. It's, it's so fun to play drums to, too. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, just search up Lamp Oil Ocean Zone and you will find it immediately. All right, let's hop over to Art Block then, shall we? Art Block, we're going to hop around a little bit here looking for Jared specific stuff. And I think, looks like it starts right here because I see Sandwich Vamps arcs. Yeah, appears from vampires. the shadows. Uh, I don't know, y'all. We're playing a game that mentioned vampires, so why not draw your vampire alts? At least the ones that I made. Okay, bye. <laughs> Dude, sandwich is a treasure. I love sandwiches art. Thank you so much, sandwich. Also, I, yeah. I had to do a double take for a second. Like, wait, I have a vampire? Oh, you mean pon pon? Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, sandwich. Um... Her stuff has actually really inspired me to get better at my own stuff. So I actually have a, <laughs> I have a bunch of sketchbooks like on my desk right now that I've, well, I filled one of them and I'm very proud of that. So yeah, it's mostly because of her. Ooh, that's cool. Right. From Blue Fairy Kino, because Jared's on the night, I made a Vaporeon inspired sword in Sword Maker in honor of snow. Ooh. Main colors are based on Vaporeon's color scheme, but the main color of the blade is meant to be as close as I could get to Jared's signature blue. I also tried to make yep. it look like water was swirling around the sword, since, you know, water type. That is that is very impressive, and I like that. That's cute. I definitely use a water slash ice sword, too. That's a very good design, Kino. Well done in, in the sword maker there. Do, do. Uh, do, 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 do. I had to double check for a second because I thought I saw Jared in the message. Nope, sorry. I'll get back to that one later. Sorry. <laughs> I know this isn't Jared related, but I'm showing it anyways. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Got an image of the first man on the moon. Good job setting that flag up. You're welcome. I don't know why I brought the American flag since the Canadian one. And I don't know why I brought these two hot dogs with me to space. But, I mean, you make do with what you got. I mean, you gotta eat. You gotta eat. Especially when you got your giant bowl on your head. Uh, this was the one I was laughing about earlier, so I have to show this one. From Dovey, streams have weird art prompts sometimes. Bowser kissing his son because he's a good father, unlike Saturn. Yup. Oh, God. That's really good. This is amazing, Dovey. I laughed so hard when I saw it. Holy shit. No, he's not eating him. He's, he's kissing not eating him. him. He's kissing him. He's a good boy. The, the red is his hair. Yeah. Well, it's an orange, so yeah, it's not even blood. Exactly. Good, oh, good, good dad. Hang on. 
Oh, you specifically linked me to the Jared ones. Okay, well, I mean, that's... We can skim through those anyways. It won't be that bad. No energy. Too much energy! I'm literally vibrating off the plane of existence in that picture, and I love it. This is what came to my mind when you guys talked about Jared's big amount of energy. Also wanted to draw something with Jared for being on CoCom tonight. Well, thank you. Jared, like, just, just slip me a little bit of energy. I need to at least be at, like, 10% or something. <laughs> Bro, I would, I would if I could. Like I, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I could play, I could play one of your favorite songs on cast. Maybe that'll work. I don't there you go. That know. might do it. <laughs> All my favorite songs you can't do on cast though. Uh, dude, I'll freaking Discord you. <laughs> dude, play me some RX Bandits. That's all I need. Oh my god, I love that band. Frick. Oh, I love them oh. so much. A million miles an hour, fast asleep. Classic. Oh. Uh, Actually, do you know what's funny? I learned about that band because of your freaking LPs. Yeah, didn't we talk that. about this during the first Coliseum? No, yep. like, or the first Coliseum you were at, yeah. Oh, that's freaking wonderful! From Mika, here's a sketch of 8-Bit Vaporeon enjoying some ice cream. I didn't have enough time to finish this up, so I'll continue working on it later. Oh, I love her hair. It's oh. so cute. Also, if you see this, what's your favorite ice cream flavor, Jared? Oh, God. Oh, you're going to put me on the spot. A good vanilla bean... Or, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, or Cookies and Cream. One of those three. I actually, like, mint chocolate is good, but I can't eat it in a lot of doses. Mint's, mint kind of, like, makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> uh, yeah, Reese's allergic to mint, too, so. Uh, okay, I'm just double-checking. I haven't missed any here. I'm actually going to have to do a refresh, because it looks like because one is not on here. But this one is from Tiger. Hey, those yep. are mine! Orbs. Orbs. <laughs> What's written on your shirt? Did you know in terms of water type Pokemon, Vaporeon is Oh, cool. stop it. I hate that meme. <laughs> Jared stealing all of John's orbs. Uploaded unfinished since he's going to go to sleep. Finished version will be on Twitter. That Thank is very Tiger. cute. Give me back my orbs. I don't see how she's running, but, you know. Good upper back oh, strength. Yeah, she's got some great upper back strength. All right, and this one is, oh my god. Dude, Oh frick. my god. That is awesome. From Nitro, rushing this out before Jared heads out for tonight, so I'll probably finish this later. That's cute. That is super cute. I love it. Holy shit. Thank you, Nitro. <laughs> this fucking rules. Yeah. That's freaking crazy. All right, and with that... Jared, in case you need to bounce, that is all the pieces I can see that reference you. So I'm going to go back to the regular order for Art Block. I very much appreciate it. Um, and once again, thank you for having me on. It's always a freaking blast, and we need to do it more. Uh, I agree. But yeah, y'all um, yeah, have inspired me. I'm going to learn how to draw uh, tails here soon. Like, that's going to be one of my next little projects. So, But... I'm going to go to bed. Thank you again for having me, my dude. Uh, I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, all y'all chat. I, got, have I a... got one last picture to slip you because it doesn't look like... Actually, I want to make sure he wants me to show this to you. Oh, yeah? Okay, there we go. I got this. I got this sent to me directly from Jumney. 8-bit the Vaporeon. <laughs> dude, she has two tails! Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's super clever. Dear Holy Apen, how do, you, how do you fly with two fishtails? I have no freaking idea. Yeah, swim twice as fast, though. That's for sure. That's adorable. Thank you, Jumney. My goodness. How the frick are y'all so talented? Anyways, goodness. I will uh, I will see y'all later on. Y'all have a great night. Take it easy, dude. Thanks for being on. Oh, yeah, Rooney. Uh, bye. All right, after our block, I'll hop back over to our normal server and I'll grab some co-coms from the mod team. So I might as well just pop in a... Oh, wait, hang on. Oops, oh, okay, tomorrow I'll put that in there. That was the server. There we go, I'll just slap that over there. Guess I can just click the button to go there since I already typed in asking for co-coms. So let's continue our block. Meanwhile, we got three minutes left to our block. Everyone, thank Jared for being on. Wonderful to have him on as always. And I mean, you're gonna hear him in like a week and a half here again, anyways, because disc only, unless it changes, on February 1st. So uh, you'll hear him again in a couple weeks. 
From Daisy and Chibi, Sayonara Wild Electron. Hi, this is Daisy with art. So a while back, you played Sayonara Wild Hearts. And I want to draw a magical girl inspired art piece in that same stream. You mentioned that there is not enough art of Electron Gen, so I started on this. But lost motivation to work on it until someone suggested that uh, every month there would be a spotlight on an alt, and the first one was Gen. So I was reinvigorated to finish it. Thanks for the reference from Chaos Agent and advice I got on Discord. This was colored and shaded with markers, which is a first for me. Hope you like it. It's very nice. I like it a lot. I like the tarot card hovering over there as well, too. Good touches. I like how she has the bat with her, too. P.S. All the tarot cards are in reference to weapons or modes of transportation that main character uses in the game. Tiny details with black ink pens. No undo. Oof. But I use Persona 3 art design for tarot cards with tiny references to Proton. John are squeezed in there like the fool stand-in of the dog is a cat. Star is a Luma, and on the Temperance, there is a pink Lady Boba Tea. PPS, I use reference for the pose, so no shame in using references. Oh my god, this is so this is so minute, you can almost, like, I can see the star. Man, the fact that you crammed in that detail there, very nicely done. Hell yeah, well done. Thank you, Daisy and Chibi. I guess Daisy with the art, specifically. February 2nd is Rosa John's birthday, right? Yeah, so the stream... Yeah, my God, that week is going to be busy. Uh, that Monday is going to be the last of the Revenge game-clearing streams, at least for now. Then Tuesday will be February 1st, which is disc only, and then Wednesday will be February 2nd, which is Rosa John's birthday. But uh, I don't know what stream type it's going to be, so it's going to be interesting for a week. Let's see, that was Daisy and Chibi there. Next up, from Andy. Holy shit, Andy. <laughs> Holy shit. Electron Jen, since January is her month, I guess. I don't know, lol. I did a little bit of my own take with her, fresh out of a fight. Originally, I just wanted to be a quick picture between projects, but it still took forever because I suck at planning. Hope you like her. Yes! Holy shit. The fucking details on this, Andy. God damn. The cracked and dented baseball bat held together with, like, literal bandages. The actual, like, beat-up gen with electricity flying out of her eyes there. The the pins on the jacket. The actual extra detail on the jacket itself. Holy shit. You did amazing. God damn. Well done on this, Andalyn. Jesus. I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, and my alarm is going off, so we'll end on this one here of a 3D render of Beefaroo. Beefaroo is asserting his dominance now that he is one years old by T-posing. Anyway, it's been a long while since I've posted on the Booroo, been posting a lot of my other account and working on the TRG animated bumper, which everyone in the project, like, uh, like I did last year, I will do this year. Thank you all so much for saying yes and taking part. Be proud of what you're making, and you are all awesome. And I'm going to call out Camille and Yoke specifically and say they are doing great, and their parts look great. Everyone else is great as well, but I want to make them squirm. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm sure they appreciate that. Anyways, uh, not, off to, not to go off on a huge unrelated tangent, but don't look in the tags. They don't allude to anything. Nope, nothing. Have a good night, everyone. Oh, no. Oh, no. VR chat. On that ominous note. Boss. Let's hop the intermission for a second. Sending out the invites to them if they want to hop in on for CoCom. Otherwise, let's go play some Pajama Sam. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why? Abby, was that not in... <laughs> Abby, why didn't you put that on the boot? Give me a second. Give me a second. 
So again, the Saturn devouring his son picture uh, brought the artists out tonight. <laughs> Bowser devouring his son with the Mario World sprites. It is on the brewer. I didn't see it earlier. <laughs> Incredible. Second row of the first page, yeah. Son of a bitch. You're right, it's right there. I spaced out. I can't believe I missed that. But I saw it on also Twitter. Chat. And it made me crack up so much. I'm sorry. He's a good dad, John. I know he is! I know he is. To be fair, both games were made well before Bowser Jr. existed, so... Now we know what happened to Koopa Kid. Uh, all right, for real though, let's let's play some Pajama Sam. Um, for the comments on fixing Cookie, by the way, I literally didn't do anything. John just had to refresh. Here's the thing, though, I did. <laughs> At one point, I duplicated the tab to make sure it worked. You can actually you can actually see me change tabs at one point during the first one. I oh, did a refresh. <laughs> oh goody. Um, because I know the source of the bug. Uh, I I put in a fix for a different bug, which caused this. <laughs> nice. So, of course. All right. Oh, why do you? Oh shoot! How do we get out of full screen with him, Pajama Sam? Never mind. Never mind. It's just Alt Enter as usual. Not so fast, evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. You and your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. Yep, we ah, changed. But there's only one more box to go, and I'll have 20 box tops. And that means... I can get the Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust! I can hardly wait! Sam! It's almost time for dinner! Dinner? Oh boy, I don't feel so good. Don't we have a save? We do! I just uh -oh. want to show the intro for those who've never seen it before. I think that was me. I knew I recognized this voice. This is Spinelli from Recess. This is also Bobby from King of the Hill. Suddenly, that makes sense. Oh, first they I never put that dinner, together. Now they've gone to cause trouble somewhere else. I feel like it's pointed out every time we play this game, though. Somebody like Anytime we play a Pajama Sam game, it's the fact that Sam is is Sam, uh, Bobby Hill's VA. Of Always course. comes up. I'll need my cape. Whoa. All right. I well, I guess now we can we can go to the actual save now. What button is brings that up? Uh, actually, no, we can't do that yet, I guess. We have to make progress in the nope, game. It's not behind here. Or am I just not pressing the right button? That was like an arrow we had to bring up in the corner. I tried escape. Escape's doing nothing. I don't see it back here. Try L. Nope. Slap random keys. All right. I did it. Those c hmm. Nothing in here. I think we need to get the actually get the cape because we're technically still in the intro. I already I checked there. What are you doing? It back here. Yeah, no, guys. We have a save. We can't access load until we find our cape. Cookies, your dinner spoiling days are over. But Jim and Sam is on his way. Again, chat, we can't access the menu until we are out of the intro. The first thing I did was move the mouse down here. Trust me, I tried it. Uh, 
Boy, I tell you, that menu ain't right. Boy, I tell you. The pantry, of course. <laughs> Hello? Is somebody there? <laughs> Nobody here but us potatoes. <laughs> All right, cookie. I have this game and I can do it. I that know is you're weird. In here. Huh. Okay, that's. <laughs> That's a little different. <laughs> is this the one where you're exploring <laughs> Sam's body? No, this is the one where you're it, you're in like the food world. Where are you taking me? What? Wow. Right. That might be the same one that I'm referencing, but yeah, what you eat from your head to your feet. Oh, I know. You know what? You're right, because it hits your feet. It's, it is body too. It's it's food world made of his body, like shaped like his body or whatever. Yeah. Yep. A party. All right, now it should work. There we go. There we go. Finally. Please tell me it was not a case where I did not move the mouse cursor enough. Nope, because it on screen it still brings up. It just literally did not let us do that. Okay. Just gonna keep doing this to show that I was doing the right thing. Cause it was on screen. You can see my mouse cursor. Yeah, I think the opening uh cutscene, you couldn't you're not able to do that. Which is weird. But like Darkfire said he could do it, no problem. That's why I'm confused about it. Yeah, it's very strange, because in the first pajamas, Sam, I remember you were able to do that. And Hang like, on, uh... I'm I'm so curious, I will literally reboot the game to try again. <laughs> Cause I wanna know. I do legitimately wanna know. Uh, if I could get the game to... Not so there we fast, go. evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. You and your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard. What? I fucking did that game! Also, why is it not on screen for you guys? Right. OBS? Uh... OBS? I wonder where my pajama Sam cape is. I can't do any superhero OBS? I think I think OBS is trying to just piss me off today. Mm. Yeah, I can't. Uh, let me let me try something here. You know, part of my brain really Wait. isn't running right now because Hang I was on. gonna suggest Hang rebooting on. I, OBS. I, I found I found the problem. What was it? Scum VM has an update. That's why it wasn't taking oh, the inputs. That'll do it. I'm sure I left it here someplace. All right, now it should probably show up. Let me quickly skip back. Let's get the Sam. Or if all else fails, you could just say that, that Jared cake? ate the stream. <laughs> Jared took the stream with him. Nope, nothing in here. Yeah, OBS does not want to show the game because Scum VM opened up two windows and it's freaking out because of that. But also, now the menu will not stop showing up suddenly? Like, it is showing up immediately now when I'm putting my mouse in the same fucking spot, so. I'm just gonna assume everything is broken with this and game right I now. I think everything is broken. Let, let's try booting up that game a third time. Jared took a bite out of the stream before he left. Yeah, he, he had to leave. He was hungry. He needed a snack. I'm glad I had something to eat before this game came up. <laughs> oh, did you need to go get food? If you need to get food, or you can hop off. It's not a big deal. Not so fast. Oh, oh no, I had a sandwich before coming on. For you, you tasty game, you're gonna... Okay, game, please, for the love. Hey, oh, you and no. Chocolate chip gang are through. Loading? It's like work. flickering on the left. What? Ah, but there's only one more box to go, and I'll have twenty box tops. And that well, means a pretty frame to freeze I on. I know it's a beautiful frame. With Titanic elbow thrust. <laughs> I, can't I can't get it to load. Wait. I cannot get it to load. Sam. 
OBS is just so mad I reset out of spite and now it will not load. Dinner? Oh boy. I don't feel so good. Uh oh. How are I you capturing it? Like me. game capture or window capture? Yeah, I'm gonna switch to window capture because game capture is clearly not working anymore. Yeah, sometimes game capture for me freaks out on OBS. Hey! Uh, I don't know why it's so oh, first they tiny. My dinner and now they've gone to cause trouble somewhere else. Somebody's got to stop them. Somebody like Pajama Sam. Dude, I cannot win. Of I can't course. fucking win. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Hang on, let me just. I'm gonna have to do this. No, what? It. Wait, what the hell? Oh wait, what did I just move then? Dude, OBS is... What the fuck? OBS just had me move something that couldn't be moved. What is happening? I wonder where cape is. I can't do any superheroing without my cape. So, the window I'm using right now that I'm moving around uh, had a lock on it. But there was a window directly over the game shortened window that it let me move. But none of the sources in OBS matched it? Somewhere. Strange. That was That's really just weird. weird. Yeah, I think I think everything's just mad at me technolo te technologically at this point. Oh, but whatever, we got the game working. So yeah. Uh turns out I literally did not move it low enough. I'm sure I left it here somewhere. Yeah. This was not considered low enough. Where I ha this right here. I have to move it here. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. But here's the thing. In game, I don't have to go that low. In game, it'll show up around here. I'm wondering if it was programmed differently in the two states. That was it just must what be. I was thinking. In game, I don't have I was perfectly fine. In the opening cutscene, nope. So, there we go. Yeah, people saying uh, humongous games are really finicky like that. Well, no matter what, we're in there. Let me reset the timer because we lost 10 minutes on that shenanigans alone. Okay. Uh, what were we actually doing? Do you again? know if the conference it has started already? I think they're waiting for everyone to get there first. Ah, this is good. But if everyone doesn't get there soon, the general is going to declare war on the sweets and fats. Ah, this. It is not so good. You must get me down so that I may help. I usually run oh, Humongous Games in Scum VM and they work fine. This is Scum. This is just the Steam version of Scum. And usually it's fine, but I don't know why. I always, this window is just sometimes just finicky. It's weird. Humongous is generally known to use the intro segment for interface testing before they actually work on the rest of the game. So the inter the intro cutscene specifically controls differently? Okay. It's if ch chat's giving me reasons, I'm gonna trust him on that. YouTube comments are gonna be like, oh, John's whining about something again. But I mean, <laughs> I'm working with what I got here. We're in the game, that's the important thing. Boy, you it doesn't surprise healthy. me though. Yeah. We know. Shouldn't you be working out or something? Not now, dude. We're busy. We have to draw those cupcakes for our art class. Hi, what's up? Oh, you know, we're just baking, you know. <laughs> the the lines of this game, the lines of these games hey, the have always been absolutely heavy. incredible. Absolutely. Sam, why didn't you take the shovel with you? Do you guys like to work out? Oh, yeah. Working out is almost as important to us as our drawing assignment. But not quite. We've got to draw those cupcakes so we can be famous <laughs> artists someday. I see. I'm glad, I'm glad my Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation is on par with the humongous entertainment game. That makes me feel great. Ah, another box top. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not saying sarcastically. Like, I'm actually happy about that. Okay, let's bring up that inventory. What do we even have here? 
We've gotten two of them already. The broccoli was basically free, and we've got the lollipop. That's Luke Wigglebig. He's already at the conference. That's Lorette. She already made it to the conference. I just need to figure out how to help Pierre get down from that Ferris wheel. That's Granny Smythe. I don't think I found her yet. I just need to figure out how to help Chuck free his balloon from those cotton candy clouds. Right, he, we need sandbags to help him. I still need to find Bean 47. And uh, the baguette's stuck on the Ferris wheel, but we haven't found the Granny Smith apple or the bean yet. Wasn't Arnold in a car accident recently? That is news to me. This Not aware of that. This exercise machine is connected to the what? Ferris wheel. That yep. happen to That's the right, little dude. Oh, shit. When we work out, it makes the wheel go around. Uh, what else is in our inventory? Oh, we already looked at that. Oh. Free dance lessons. Want to learn how to dance? The arts are important. But right now, we're concentrating on learning to draw. Do you cupcakes like dancing? No way. It gets in the way of, like, more important things. Like canning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is this a bag? I don't think they'd be interested in that. <laughs> oh, this is the sandbag that we need to fill up. Okay. Hence the heavy sand. <laughs> the dudes look like Goombas. <laughs> but here's well, the thing. that's don't one I... scoop in the bag. Don't I need a specific amount, but I don't know how much I need exactly? I forget how much you need. That's two mm. scoops in the bag. Let's keep scooping. How many scoops can I put in this bag? There are three scoops in the bag. I have four scoops in the bag. Wow, this is going to let me keep doing this, huh? Five <laughs> scoops in the bag. <laughs> Quick, At some the point, the bag's going to like, tip over and bag. spill or something. God damn it, Mooch. I have seven scoops in the bag. Sam, please. <laughs> now I have eight scoops in the bag. The bag's going to break, Sam. <laughs> there are nine scoops in the bag. Sam! Okay, this has to be the last one. I now have ten scoops. There's no in the way. Bag. There's no way. No way. Oh, it's there we go. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Thank goodness. There's nine okay. scoops in the bag. Hey, we gotta make it ten. <laughs> I now have ten story. scoops in the bag. Sand is heavy. All right. What else we got? Uh, if I can find 20 of these, I can get a Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. All right, we got 14 out of 20. I don't remember. Okay, we got to get them moving. Pierre, what were you doing on a Ferris wheel anyway? I thought you were supposed to be on your way to the conference. Ah, well, you see, I was distracted by a young lady. Eclair, she was called, and she was most sweet. And she took you on the Ferris wheel? Uh, she was in need of the attentions of mm -hmm. Pierre. Uh, I could not refuse. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. All right, we just got here last time. I remember hey, Zach. Sam, you are 52 pounds. What's peeping? I thought you said I weighed 42 pounds. You were 10 pounds lighter when we first met. You must have something heavy in your pocket. Each scoop was one pound. That's important to know for solving the Baron's issue. I guess we could go back and solve that one now. Oh, no. <laughs> but seriously, folks, let me oh, ask you this. this. One. <laughs> what goes ha 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 plop plop plop? An orange holding its breath. Hey! You ain't funny. Bring back the other guy. Don't you get it? Orange, breath, plop, plop, plop. Plop this, wise guy.
It's true. He really isn't very funny. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, tell me, what do you think of these shoes, eh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right. Next up is Tom Rutabaga, the Knock Knock King. Uh, I guess I'll leave now. Okay, bye. How about a nice hand for Mickey Hollandaise, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Hollandaise in his great big floppy shoes! <laughs> <laughs> We're easy to please, guy! Check this out! It'll knock you right out of your seat! Knock, knock! Who's there? Omelet! Omelet who? I'm a lot funnier than Mickey Hollandaise is! Jesus! Savage! Yeah, this Oof! Is my kind of crowd! Knock, knock! Who's there? Kenny! Kenny who? Kenny, open the door now! <laughs> oh, oh, hang on! This is a good one! Knock, knock! Who's there? Ketchup! Ketchup who? Catch up quick! We're losing the race! <laughs> you like that, huh? Okay, how about this? Did they? One? They laugh less Knock on that knocks. one, I feel, Who's my dude. There? Noah! Noah who? <laughs> Noah, good joke? Hey, how about this one? I can tell you're Hi, a Tom. discerning audience. Knock, knock! <laughs> Who's there? Harry! Harry who? Hurry and open the door! <laughs> Aren't you glad you raided during Pajama Sam 3? You are what you eat from your head to your feet? <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them! Knock, knock! Who's there? Pear! Pear who? Apparently you don't want to open the door! But I wish you would! <laughs> Here's another box top! I hope I can find 20! <laughs> <laughs> I saw Pajama Sam and I came running! <laughs> yeah! This is my kind of crowd! There you go. Let's run countermeasures. Oh, dude, did we run any actual? I don't think we actually we ran the, the regular one today. Oops. Tom on Sanity Live, thank you for the raid, buddy. Hopefully your stream was good. You're catching us, I was gonna say tailing a cookie, but I think we got one last game in a still. Bullsh Currently we're on Pajama Sam 3. You are what you eat from your head to your feet. Knock, knock. Who's there? Artie Choke! Artie Choke who? Artie Chokes because he eats too fast! <laughs> I'm gonna go check out the guy they dunked on, because I'm sure he's oh, probably oh. traumatized or drinking. So. According to Negative's comment I saw in the chat, there's apparently like 10 minutes of dialogue of those jokes. I am not even remotely hey, surprised. Is it alright if I take your pumpkin? <laughs> sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Thanks. I think every, like, humongous entertainment game has some segment like that, doesn't it? Or the majority of them do. Uh, not all of them, but a decent chunk, I'd say. <laughs> alright, the fuck. Oh, I didn't even see that. I was just clicking. Ooh, Only yeah. missing four. Wow. Sweet sixteen. Hi. You're pretty I, thorough um, with I these. Saw your act. <sighs> Tell me the truth. Did I stink? Well. I knew it. Oh, I am awful. No, I wouldn't say that. I haven't been able to tell a decent joke since. Well, since those sweet troopers marched through here and got my note cards all out of order. No, why didn't you I'm sort them, you dingus? Comedian. There, let me fix let me them then. Let me take a look at your note cards. Maybe I can help put them back in order. Be my guest. Leisure Suit Larry 7 has half an hour of Bill Clinton jokes you have to get through in order to get full points. Incredible. 
Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> round Terrible, and but awesome. And blue. I wonder if Reese knows that. I don't know, Probably. but it's crawling on your shoulder. Maybe there's a better match for that joke. I don't know about that one. Uh, what's small and red and goes 60 miles an hour? A so straw, this might sound bad. I don't know about what's small and red and goes 60 miles an hour. A strawberry driving a car. This might sound better. What can you use to make a salad, build a boat, and brush your teeth? Lettuce? I think that one's funny. I don't know about what can you use to make a salad, build a boat, and brush your teeth? Lettuce, wood, and a toothbrush. This might sound better. What has yellow and green stripes, 600 legs, and great big fangs? What has yellow and green stripes, 600 legs, and great big fangs? I don't know, but it's crawling on your shoulder. I think that one's funny. I think that one's funny. This might sound better. All right, what's round and tangy and blue? What's round and tangy and blue? An orange holding its breath. I think that one's funny. What is yellow and green? Oh, I already did that one. Yeah. What goes ha 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 plop plop plop? What goes ha 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 plop plop plop? An audience slapping their heads off. This might sound better. I think I got them all sorted. These were funnier out of order. I think I agree too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I found them amusing. Because I've not heard most of them, but. Hey, I think you're right. I think this is better. Man, you're a better comedian I'm than I am. Try I'm going to try them without the shoes. Ooh, he's brave. <laughs> Ooh, nice pumps. <laughs> Ooh, hey, check it out. I've got another one for you. Who's there? <laughs> it's me, Mickey Hollandaise, top banana for all your comedy needs. May I have the spotlight, please? Hey! Now this joke was a favorite of my close personal friend, Elvis Parsley. What's round and tangy and blue? An orange holding its breath. <laughs> uh, that is not the clap for that level Elvis of laughter. Used to ask me, what's small and red and goes 60 miles an hour? Anyone? Huh? Huh? It's a strawberry driving a car. Oh, yeah. And here's one of the deeper mysteries. What can you use to make a salad, build a boat, and brush your teeth? Lettuce, wood, and a toothbrush. <laughs> you, ma'am, there in the front row. Tell me, what has yellow and green stripes, 600 legs, and great big fangs? Why, I don't know. I don't know either. But it's crawling on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> The scream and then everyone starts Just laughing, kidding, including no her. I'm done, I hope. Now, does anyone know what goes ha 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 ha, plop, plop, plop? An audience laughing their heads off! <laughs> and there's the plop. <laughs> I did it! I told five jokes in order! Boy, that went really well. It was my finest performance, and I owe it all to you. Thank you for helping me put my jokes and my career back together. You're yeah, welcome. all it took was reading hop comprehension. And You're as welcome. for you, you great unwieldy galoshes, I shall need you no more. <laughs> they said it couldn't no, be done, but it was five me, old man. jokes. I've got to go and have a little talk <laughs> with my agent. Oh, this guy's getting a little too big for his britches. Or his banana peels, I guess, but I'm gonna take his shoes. He doesn't need these anymore, so I guess it's okay if I take them. Don't mind me, I'm stealing some shoes. A little big for your feet, though, Sam. Finally, the, the high heels he's always wanted. <laughs> Try this one! Knock, knock! <laughs> no, I'm good. Avocado. I'm out. Bye. Avocado. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's over here. Hi, do you sell balloons? Give the boy a college scholarship, he's a genius. He's 
like five. Jesus. <laughs> the snarky <laughs> pee. I love it. Oh, yeah. It's the fulfillment of all my hopes and dreams. Wow. What happens if you sell all your balloons? I can buy a new pair of shoes. Velcro shoes. What's wrong with the ones you've got? Nothing if you've got all day to tie them. The laces keep coming undone. Well, I got some new shoes for you if you want. Could you use some new shoes? Yeah, those would be great if I were a clown. You mean you're not? <laughs> so, no kid, but thanks anyway. Could you use some dance lessons? I think he'd be interested in that. Could you use a pumpkin for a that head? wouldn't be very nice. Are you sure about that? Please pose for your picture. Anything else I can click on or is that it? I think that's all I got. I think that's it. Some of these are pretty great. Some of these are pretty <laughs> Some great. Some of these are awesome. <laughs> Can't even find the one I had earlier because I'm just that out of it. There allowed one photo per customer. It sure got the hair right. <laughs> That's me. That's pajama Sam. All right. Do we? Is there another box top around here? Doesn't look like it. If me and the bell were just closer together, this wouldn't be so hard. Oh, I'm just stealing the mallet? Okay. Ooh. I think helium balloons are a lot more fun than the regular kind. Personally, I prefer a trip to Rio de Janeiro, but what do I know? Do you ever suck the helium out of <laughs> your balloons to make your voice sound funny? Yeah, and I try not to sell as many as possible so I can do that at the end of a long, hard day. I found my spirit food. Apparently, it is it is a pee. Have you ever sucked helium air out of a balloon? I have indeed. I also have. I'll I'm never guilty. Get it this this guy's funnier than the banana guy. I also agree on that. Yes. <laughs> Say, those are nice. Oops. Darn these laces! They're always coming undone. Here, kid, hold these for me, would you? Sure. Whoops. Um. Woo. I'm gonna lose the balloons. Oh, never mind. That works too. Whoops. Bye. There's the bell. We're done, girls. Peak panning hours are over. Bye, bye, boys. Let's go get some frozen yogurt. Oh. Now we can't draw anymore. Darn. I hope they come back tomorrow. But will be torn till then. Work out some more. What else? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Screw these art supplies. Let's get back to pumping iron. Qu'est-ce que c'est? The wheel it turns. I am saved. Um, help. Courage, mon ami. You must grab onto the wheel. No. I'm going to a new land. Zoot. Or I will knock you unconscious, apparently. That works too. Ah, excellent. Now we are both severed, and I can continue on to the Conference of Peace. Say, what happened to my... Oh shoot. Oh well, I needed a new career anyhow. Hmm, perhaps you can start the taxi service. I need to go to the food pyramid. Can you take me there? Sure, hop in. Au revoir, my pajama friend. <laughs> oh, bye. Au Hope he doesn't trip because of his shoelaces. Well, that's one down, three to go. All right, well, let's see if we can also save the dude in the... Uh... Hey, Zach. Sam, you are 52 balloon. pounds. What's peeping? The first time you said I weighed 42 pounds. You were 10 pounds lighter when we first met. You Isn't Zoot a French swear word? Yeah, it's essentially Dan. Pocket. 
Like, Zoot Delore is basically damn it. Shall we? <laughs> Let's shall. John, why are you on this game? It's Fortune Cookie. People voted for it. Welcome to the foothill. Hey, box top. Calm down, Tally. There's what, three? Yes, I, I, I think. You should put us at 17. Correct. All right. Welcome to the foothills. <laughs> Say, I was wondering. Uh, 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 what do we do when we see a door, young man? Wonder why it's half open. Um, knock on it, I guess. Uh, Hello, young man. <laughs> what can we do for you today? <laughs> All right. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sam. My name is Selma Celery, and this is my sister, Selena Celery. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? Right now, I'm helping a carrot prevent a war by finding peace delegates and getting them to a big conference. That is actually the plot, oh, by delightful. the way. Yes, war is always such a filthy business. Say, I was wondering. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what come on, really? Door, young man? Um, knock on it, I guess. Uh. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? Have you seen anyone around here with a straw hat? A straw hat? I think maybe one of those beans at the construction site had one. Don't you, Selma? Uh, yes, perhaps. But I do try not to think about those uncouth legumes. They make such a racket. All right. I love the word legume. Or like a dance lessons, please. Don't make me not. Oh, good. Okay, we're doing it automatically. Excuse Thank God. Me. Yes. You. I have a coupon for a free dance lesson. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I can't honor that coupon right now. Not until I get some new shoes. New shoes? Yes, the sweet troops commandeered the old ones to use as cargo boats, and I'm having trouble <laughs> getting new ones. She's very hard to fit. That's right. I wear a size 37. See? Really, dear, must you? Sorry, I don't know what came over me. I just like showing my feet to people. TOS, TOS. <laughs> Jesus. Excuse me. Every time. Thought you might like to have these shoes. <laughs> oh my! They're wonderful. She looks so I, unimpressed. I've never seen such, <laughs> such, such colorful shoes before. And they fit. They fit perfectly. <laughs> She's so upset. This is incredible. <laughs> so comfortable. I can dance again. Oh, thank you, young Stop. man. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Where's that box top? Someone said there was one. There it is. Oh, good. Another box top. Two left. Mm -hmm. And we've probably not been to the areas, so. Like, all things considered. Uh, so I guess let's try that dance lesson again. Excuse me. Yes? Now can I use my dance lesson coupon? You mean may I, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Terrific! Right this way! <whistles> Waltzing is really quite easy once you get the hang of it. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, you're doing very well. This is fun! <laughs> Well, I think that's about all the time we have. Whoa! Woo! Whoa! I'm a dancing fool! Thank you. Do come again. I did it. Yay for me. Yay! Buy the house! Buy the house! Oh, and clean it, I guess. Garnish. That would be garnish, dear boy. 
Do try it. Carnish. Excellently done. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Excellent. All right, well, bye. Oh, another box top. Oh, good, another box top. So we're missing one. And this accomplished what? I know how to dance now. That's what it accomplished. That's, that's it. <laughs> Is the last box top in this room? I don't notice it. Hi, I'm Sam. Oh, hi. I see you've got a straw hat. Are you a delegate to the peace conference? No, uh, I'm the foreman here. I was supposed to give this hat to bean number 47, who is our delegate, but I can't. Why not? Because we don't know which bean is number 47. Oh my god. I was going to use the new BCS 4000 Bean Counter Sorter. <laughs> but I don't have the instruction manual, so I can't put it together. That does sound like a problem. It is. Oh dear. Oh dear. Work is good. <laughs> that is bullshit, but whatever. Hey, couldn't you just ask the beans which one of them is number 47? No. I'm afraid they don't know either. It's never been very important to be able to tell us apart. Until now. Huh. Do I need help? No, I you just got in the room! 4, Boy, there are a Give lot me a second, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> it's a hopeless mess. And the instruction manual didn't come with it, so I've got no way at all of putting it together. I mean, part sure of the fun of doing this entertainment of titles is just fucking okay. around. Exactly. Oh dear, oh dear. Most of the fun, You're honestly. You're looking for work, are you? No. Good. I've got enough troubles as it is. I'm supposed to sort everybody out with this new BCS 4000 bean counter sorter machine. But I don't even have a manual to tell me how to put it together. Oh dear, oh dear. It's been a while since last time. Did you see the instruction manual last time the game came up? Like, is it something I can physically put in my inventory? If, so, if not... No, or if so, no, rather. Maybe I could help you put this together. I like puzzles. No, it's too complicated. We don't stand a chance without the manual. All right, in that case, let's go find the manual. Although we're at time, so do we want to just go get one last game in for the night? What's the, what, how are folks feeling? Let's find out. Hey, Sprinkle, how about another ride? Sure, anytime. I'm seeing a lot of cookie. I'm seeing enough finish where it's probably worth a pull, but I am seeing edge towards cookie. And let's throw a pull up just in case. That'll give me enough time to just kind of tool around and do something here. Okie dokie, Chief. Let's see. Here we go. Welcome to the blubber. Boom. So yeah, this is basically, are we doing one more game tonight or are we trying to, gonna try to play this and possibly finish it? What are you all jumping for? It's not jumping, we're dancing. It's called the pogo. Don't you ever get tired? Us <clears throat> tired? No, especially not at dancing. Oh wow, okay. Uh, more Sam is actually oh. winning. Huh. 59%, 133 votes versus Cookie. 41%, 96 votes. Alright, there is no multi-voting enabled on this one. It's just one vote per person, so if you do if you want Cookie or if you want more Sam, you want to make sure you vote on this one. You might you might have wanted more time on this one. I think there's only like 20 seconds left. Hello, I'm Pajama Sam! Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? That's right! I'm Granny Smythe! That's Smythe! 57%! More Sam! Getting We're gonna try to see if we can finish this yes, then. Yes, ma'am! And there's one more thing I want to say! What's that? Help! 
Do you think you could stop dancing so that lady could get out? Stop dancing? No way, we gotta dance. Don't mess with our freedom of expression. Aren't you bored of this dance? Yeah, but it's the only one we know. You're gonna Are teach you him to waltz, right here. Yet? I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think no, I'm gonna change the music and then I can waltz and then get them out. You guys are all plumbers, right? Right! Ah, plum plumbers. I'm Sam. Mm. I'm helping some of the foods that are trying to have a peace conference. It's really important. That's nice. Some people are requesting another poll. Run it for two minutes this time, I guess, but I think I think it's still gonna be the same result. I think genuinely it's gonna be the same How come thing. You don't have a plunger like the other guys do. I lost it the other day while I was skiing. It doesn't matter too much, since I mostly just handle the paperwork anyway. Okay. Alright, vote again. What were you doing skiing with a plunger anyway? Real plumbers take their plungers everywhere. Would it be Sam and then end afterwards? Yeah, there's it's either this is either the last game of the night or we get one last game in. That's those are your options basically. And again, for those who said they couldn't vote, in fact, there are more people saying more Sam now. It is now 63% in favor of more Sam. Instead of whatever it was, like 41 and 59, I believe. What do you call what you're surprised. doing right now? So I had a feeling we didn't need the other one, even though people said they couldn't vote, but let's just make Have it official. Have you seen anybody wearing a straw hat come through here lately? Nah. Nah. Are you getting tired yet? Not even Quack. a little bit. Hello. Quack. You showed up for Pajama Sam. You're in your pajamas for Pajama Sam. You're dressed exactly as you should be. Hey. Okay. This pumpkin has kind of a scary face. We just extended the last game I had, but we just canceled our last break, basically. No, that's fine, but I just let him Okay, can do. He always, he always gets on the fence by himself. Yeah, love you. I don't think I can get to you. Can you get out? No, I can't get my footing at all. Too much bouncing around going on. You've got to put a stop to it. I'll see what I can do. Okay. I'll see what I can do by leaving. Goodbye. Shall we? Let's yep. Sam. 60% more Sam, 254 votes to Cookie, 40%, 170 votes. So yeah, uh, even more in favor of Pajama Sam this time. Wowzers. Right, Sam, we, I, I wanted to leave, Sam. <laughs> All right, so we're missing one box top somewhere. Bus. There's the condiments. I forget what those were for exactly. Okay, let's see here. Someone wanted us to toot the horn again, so I think this is the way to the horn. I think you're right. Let's see. Yep. Let us toot. Can I blow the horn of celebration again? Be careful this time. Time to toot! <gasps> this bit's amazing. That was fun! Not so loud next time. Be careful next time. <laughs> no. Alright, the guy we're looking for is over here. Are you sure you don't want to just climb over here? I can't leave the balloon. It's government property, and I'm responsible. I forget how he even tells us how much he needs weight-wise. Like, can I just give this to him and see what happens? Here, maybe this bag of sand will help get you unstuck. Ah, brilliant. Thank you. Too heavy. 
Well, I guess that was a little too heavy. I'll go find it and try again. Thanks, Sam. Bye! Alright, so I need a plunger here as well, right? And I think that's... Do I need a... Oh I forget. Boy, Isn't there like a specific you. path I have to go down this? I think that was think so? something that someone warned me about last time we played this, if I even remember when that was last time. These and poles are self-service. I wonder what Pajama Man would do if he were here. Probably grab the poles for starters. Well, you already did that, I guess. Here I go! If you get that particular route, the plumber would have told you the route. Ah, okay. Woo! <laughs> so it doesn't matter which way I go, basically? I just have to go to the bottom of the mountain to get the sandbag back? Oh god, Sam! Sam! Oh, you know where to help it, Sam! Sam, you're gonna break your legs! Oh, their teeth. That's what they are. Whoa! Oh, well, there's the sand. I oh, could do God, that all there. day if I didn't have to save the island and get back for dinner. Ah, here's my bag. All right. I thought there was some way to actually see the, um... How much sand was in his balloon? Is there not a way to do that, or is it a different path? Uh, that I don't remember. Well, there is a way. Hmm. I remember distinctly seeing that last time we played it, but I, for the life of me, can't remember it. Oh, I need the pumpkin to get through here. Um. Look, a sweet potato! Right. Where is that? I don't see anybody. Oh, hello, <laughs> sir. Blinks. Welcome to the A complex, Mr. Uh, uh Gord. Sam Gord. Mr. Gord. Very good. Oh yes, that's that's very good. I think I'll good. just go on in here now. Hold it, that's the well, wait a minute. It's gourds only, right? Yes, and he's a gourd. So I guess that means, um... That means we let him in. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye, suckers. This is more cramped than the hall closet of our house. I bet I could see all the way around the world. I see with something. This thing. I do see too. I, I, I see whatever this is. Hey, there's Chuck Cheddar in his balloon. Yeah, it's Bingo. five pounds. He needs five pounds. It looks like there's five pounds of weight on the balloon. Yeah, let's grab that box top. A box top? I think this makes 20. Ta da! Ta -da. Mail. <laughs> this Rage is a cute little animation. <laughs> Look at that titanic elbow thrust. It's how powerful. Heck yeah. Alright, so we're done here. Here's the mail that never fails. Look, it's General Beatfoot. Who? I don't see anything. Sam, you could have just left. You didn't have to go through all that. <laughs> all right. I could use a ride again. Fun. Hop on. I love tormenting <laughs> random foods. <laughs> it's the only way I can sleep at night. That sign in the bottom middle has me kind of sort of terrified just then. What was it? <laughs> it was a pair of exposed eyeballs. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was for the telescope. Yeah, no, I know what it was for. It doesn't mean it doesn't look terrified, kind of just sitting there. Because it wasn't like a pair of cartoon eyes. It was veined, like, not in their sockets, like, out of their socket eyeballs. Electrocuted eyeballs. 
<laughs> Pretty much. Oh, I didn't even notice the eyes follow the curse. Oh, Sam, I didn't want to get on the damn Ferris wheel. I wanted to go to the beach. Neat. Neat. I'm glad Sam and I say the same thing in the same way. <laughs> or when we're just like, yeah, that's all right. Hey, the sand is kind of heavy. Right, 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 I know. I gotta actually put it in my inventory. Come on, come on. Neat. There's not. I have. Keep digging, Sam. There's... I have. There's. I have. Hmm. I have five scoops left in the bag. All right, let's Sam check our weights heavy. to make sure that's correct, and then we should be good to go. But I assume it was one pound for each shovel. Is dunking Oreos in warm milk torment or torture? Depends on if they're alive. If you're eating alive Oreos, I feel like that's a bigger question you've asked there. PJ, 47 pounds. What's up there, dude? You told me before I was only 42 pounds. Looks like you've gained five pounds since the first time I saw you. You must be carrying something heavy. Zach's raw muscle, baby. Raw muscle. These things. Come on, Sprinkle. Let's go. Okay. Random question, but do you know anyone who pours the milk in the bowl first and then the cereal? Didn't we had this discussion in disc only, right? Steven's like he, the milk has to go in absolutely last, but wasn't someone milk first out of the four of us? Wasn't that Jared? Am I imagining that? I also remember this being discussed during disc only. Same, but I forget who said you what. I know, I know for sure. Steven was very much a like, milk goes in absolutely last, and only at the exact second you're about to eat it, because he hates any sense of like cereal getting softened by milk. Which is hilarious because he loves super soggy eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I am now addicted Creamy to Vampire Survivors. It's a hell of a game. Hell yeah, that game was fun. Glad you like it. Aww, yeah. Here, I, maybe this I don't play many right video games. I'm tempted All to pick right. that one up. Let's give her a whirl. I'm definitely one of those people that like soggy cereal. It's working! Yay! Thanks, kid, you're a Hooray. genius. I am off to the peace conference. Good luck! That's two down, two to go. All right, so let's get a recap on everything we need right now. Let's save quickly here first. I need to help sort those beans and find number 47. So I need the instruction manual for the machine for the beans. I wonder how I'm going to get her away from those dancing soda cans. And we need to figure out some way to change the music to get the cans to stop the Granny Smith being bounced around. Is that Spinelli from Recess? Yes, it's also Bobby Hill. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. Wasn't there something about having to talk to the plumbers as well? Uh, I don't think that's the path we need, someone said. If we needed that path, we would have had, we, they would have given us instructions on what to do for the ski hill. Yeah. Ah. Where were the instructions for this? Have we even found it? What? I said guard, not gourd! Great goulash! It's so hard to find good help nowadays. Hey, Sam, have you rescued any delegates lately? As a matter of fact, 
Yes, I've helped two of them. There are only two more to go. Capital, baby, capital. Is that good? Yeah. What's that over yes, there? Yes, two plus two I equals no six. <laughs> Put some cheese down on that map. I noticed the map is in the is designed based off of Sam's body. That explains the tough at the top. More dance lessons! I might need another one of these dance lesson coupons. Can I take as many as I want? Because I'm just going to give them to all the cans. I already got one. I don't want to be greedy. Can I check out that book now? Do you have a library card? No. Oh, right, I need the picture. Do I need one? Yeah, Which I've already you got. certainly do. Here's a photo of me. Just like me. Now <laughs> I can make you a library card. Can I use this card now? Yes, you can. There we go, and there's the instruction <laughs> manual, I'm pretty sure. You may keep the book for three weeks. After that, the fine is four hundred dollars a day. Jesus. That's Good really lord. Kind of a lot. <laughs> Forgot about that. Just have the book back in three weeks. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. So this book. BCS four thousand operators guide by Doctor oh, Gizmo you know. Flutewing. Yep. What book are you reading? Is it one of the classics? Oh, well, sort of. Y you see, it's a... Oh, all right, it's not one of the classics. <laughs> it's called Passion in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh. I got it at the supermarket. <laughs> Satisfied? Sure, there's nothing wrong with that. You really think so? Sure. Well... Don't tell anybody just the same. We librarians have to keep up appearances. Okay. My lips are sealed. Thank you. All right, I assume I don't need to go up here. Bye. Yeah, okay. They're all good. Let's go. Uh, which do we want to do? Do we want to try to figure out the dance one, or do we want to try to figure out... I think the dance one will be faster. I could use a ride again. Hop on! Which is your favorite food group? Real life, not the characters. Uh, based on my diet, probably grains at this point, because, you know, pizza, bread... Etc. Pasta. Come on, Sprinkle, let's go. It's okay. what I shouldn't be eating as much as I do, which is why I had to change my diet. Yeah, we have what we need for both of them, so I'm just gonna attempt to uh, figure out the dancing one first. The blubberbs. That's great. <laughs> Here, would you like a coupon for a free dance lesson? Free? Great. Hey, there's a phone number at the bottom. I'll give him a call right now. Hello, I'm calling about free dance lessons. Oh, great. Well, there's a lot of us. It might be better if you came here. Stand back? <laughs> what are you... Yeah! Hello! They're witches! Wow! Burn the witch! Trick. Yeah! My, my, we do have work to do. All right. Listen up, everyone. Grab a partner. We're going to learn to waltz. Now watch us. Do as we do. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, lady coming through. Go! 
Good heavens! I thought I was never going to get out of there! Young people have no respect these days. Except for you, of course, young man. You really helped me <laughs> by <laughs> getting them to stop that horrible jumping. A jam of Sam always helps those in need. Well, that's good. I'd love to stay and dance, but I've got to be off now. They'll need me at the peace conference. Goodbye, and thank you. Bye. That's three down. Only one more to go. Right, there we go. They look like they're having fun. So bad for the one guy by himself, but all right, whatever. My job's done. I'm out. Hey, Sprinkle, how about another ride? Time. Sure, any time. All right. All we have left is bean counting. just see you somewhere before <laughs> yeah didn't you climb through a phone somehow <laughs> hey guess what i found i'm pretty sure that won't work i think i clicked on the wrong thing try again look i've got a book about the bcs 4000 oh it's the BCS 4000 Operator's Guide by Dr. Gizmo Flutewing. Sprouts be praised. We can put the machine together. Quick, help me. Take an end. Take an end. The same end I'm grabbing. <laughs> the only end. That ought to just about do it. Thanks for all your help, Sam. Hey, what do you say? Shall we fire it up? I'll let you do the honors. Sure. Speaking of etiquette All and dance lessons, have you taken either? No, neither. I can use this machine to sort the beans and find number 47. The kidney beans go on one side, and the jelly beans go on the other. All right, so how do I? Oh, oh, it's one of these. I know they're going to screw me over by doing that at some point. Yep, called it. Stamp their butts. Uh... <laughs> is... is it... Is it going to give you a jelly bean ever? Am I doing it? Wrong. <laughs> no, you're doing it correct. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Ta da! It's getting a little concerned there. I think that's still a kidney bean. No, that one's not. I hope they don't make you redo it. Okay, good, they don't. I... I'm, I'm assuming if it's red, it's jelly yeah, bean. Yeah, it looks like it's just red. Yeah, red is kidney. Or if it's not red, it's jelly bean. And if it's red, it's kidney. Correct. See, as someone who likes red jelly beans, I'm insulted. <laughs> For red jelly beans, a cherry or a... What's the other one? Cinnamon. Cherry and strawberry, yeah. Cherry, strawberry, cinnamon. Depends on what you're going for. Some versions of mint, specifically in candy canes. No oh, purple. They had to make it 47. Yep. They couldn't have made it like... 
But kids would be patient for 12. 47, now that's a real test of a kid's patience. second bean machine we've seen tonight. <laughs> it's true. Arrest oh, that man! Yay! I'm number 47! <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like you're bean number 47. So you've got to represent us at the peace conference. It's a great honor! You better take this hat in case there's any confusion. Thank you, Foreman! Favorite type of bean? Jelly. Wait immediately. Jelly bean. I better get to the food pyramid myself to make sure everything goes okay. Good work, Sam. And good luck. Thanks. You think this would get faster to be harder, but no. Apparently, uh, someone just said earlier in chat, if you keep going after I'm bean 47, you, the machine goes insanely fast. Of dairy products for health reasons. But it is the breads which are the most healthy of foods. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Krusty here thinks he's healthier than I am. This cheese has gone rancid. I cannot negotiate with him. Uh-oh. You're both fools. The bean way is the only way. <laughs> Nonsense! The bean way! Fruits are the principal staple for meals and dessert. What do you know, you old crab apple? A lot more than you, you overgrown lump of mold. Please, let's not resort to name calling. Who made you the boss, you wilted weed? Flathead! Shrub! Entre! Loaf! Pabulum! Grub! Morsel! Gobbit! Tidbit! Stop! Okay, those were actually great. What's going on in here? I thought I heard shouting, This means war! No, no it doesn't. You're all being silly fighting like this. If there's one thing I've learned since I've been here, it's that no food is an island. Yeah, you're all actually what? food. You what go in my you stomach. What are you talking about? You two are arguing about whether cheese or bread is better, but it takes cheese and bread to make a cheese sandwich, which is maybe the most perfect food there is. So all the and other foods suck. Could do it without the other. <laughs> Only these two are good. Mm. I have decided. Hey, Brian. Mmm, cheese sandwich. And there's other stuff, too. What about peanut butter and jelly? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peaches and cream? Mm. All the best things to eat are made by different kinds of food working together. And that's what you should all be doing. Instead of fighting, you can work together to create new and better things. New? Better? Sure. Like maybe an apple broccoli Bean cheese and lollipop sandwich. Ew. The kids got a point. <laughs> we have been most foolish. Put her there, partner. All right. Yeah. Lots of yelling one. Lots of yelling two. Lots of yelling three. Why this means means um, um. Peace, General. Peace. Exactly. In that case, I hereby officially and irrevocably declare. Peace. Hooray! Great speech, Sam. You really saved the day with that one. I'm glad I could help. Can you stick around to help us make plans for the future? Or have you got to get home for dinner? Dinner? Oh my gosh. I forgot. I was eating cookies. And <laughs> that's the game. We did it. Ta -da! Sam rules. Here's Sam eating food. Lots of food. Laughing at bad jokes. Flexing with his action figure. Fighting crime. And juggling pies. Hanging out with the plumbers. Eating, wow, he actually made that sandwich. Getting buff. F meeting the Grinch, apparently. Knock, knock jokes. <laughs> Granny bean. Apple. More flexing. More elbow action. Chocolates. Crying. Flexing. Egg! 
Push-ups. Posing. Surfing. That's it. No more. Okay, there are more pictures. Art. Peace. Sam rules. Okay, if we repeat now, now it's repeating. Yeah. <laughs> I assume stop is like go. What does go do? Does it just start another game with a different path? Yes. All right. Well, that's another game down. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. All right. There we go. So well, sorry you two didn't get a, get a choice tonight, but uh, Sam no Sam was decided apparently. Let's slap that down in the old spreadsheet. Game cleared! Yay! I thought I had the whole name there, but I guess not. Damn, why can I never remember how to paste values only in in Google Sheets? Control Shift V. That's what I did. Oh, really? Yeah, because <laughs> that's, that's what I, it is in the other Excel program I use. Yay, Google for being different. Yeah, it says value. Yeah, values only. Control Shift B. It is not. Did it delete my page? No. Okay. Hang on. I don't have an empty spreadsheet to. Sh oh, actually, I do. Hang on. <laughs> Hang Copying on. values into a spreadsheet sucks sometimes. I want, I want you to see this so you know I'm not lying. This is Control V. Control <laughs> Shift V, nothing. But Control V still works. Specifically, I'm sorry? specifically Shift V does not work. <laughs> and if you right click, paste special, values only is Control Shift V. So it is not working. Strange. I'm going that, to assume they broke something. Uh, I'm just going to assume I just have shite luck. Maybe you didn't copy it right? No, Come but on. it pastes normally. That's if it, yeah, that's the thing. If it pastes normally, then something's wrong. It's in his clipboard with all of the related information that should allow it to paste, but it's yeah. not, because paste is busted. You have no idea how often that is broken for me. Fair enough. Is that Google Sheets? That's Google Sheets. Alright, uh, I mean, I'm gonna mark that as complete, because also, I'm also never gonna go back to that game again, <laughs> unless it comes up on Cookie. I mean, you got the, you got the action figure with new turbo elbow action? Yeah, but the game, has, the game has extra pass, so that's probably why. Uh, <sighs> I'm not worried I about guess it. I guess... I really wouldn't count that. Like, unless you're going for all voice lines or something, which is ridiculous. Alright, well, with that, we've gotten five games beaten so far this year. Four of them completed. All right, so like I said, schedule for the week. Monday is going to be game clearing. Monday we are going to be um, hopefully getting revenge on Home Alone 2 Lost in New York for the Super Nintendo and hopefully the Simpsons Bart's Nightmare on, uh, on also on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I need to quickly go check on the cat. And use the washroom, because I needed to do that last break, but we did not take one because everyone wanted Pajama Sam. So, uh, I'll be right back, and then we'll wrap up for the evening. Uh, questions until John gets back, then? Fire away, Jack. You got questions, we got answers. Hit us with some hats and question marks. Is the color of fun. I do not have synesthesia. Word I can't say. Synesthesia? So I can't tell you that. I got nothing on that either. Super salad. Salad. Definitely soup for me. I can barely consume greens as is. 
Um, preferred snack food. I'm actually going to adjust my answer from last time. I completely forgot how much of a mint head I am. Um, you know those, like, dinner mints that they'll sometimes give out? Um, there's, there's mm -hmm. two normal kinds. The, the round ones with, like, the, the stripes on them. And then the, like, soft... They're, they're called butter mints. They, like, melt in your mouth. Oh, um, those, those are really good. I have several times in the past bought five pound bags of just those and consumed them in about three days. Nice. I have a very big addiction to those. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Which is why I do not get those all that often. <laughs> bun or bun? Yes. <laughs> Aw, thanks, crazy dude. I do not know what question you were answering there. <laughs> the bun or bun one? <laughs> Was, did it scroll off screen? I scrolled up a little bit. Oh, there it is. Okay. Mooch. Got it. Oh, yeah. Congrats on 1K, Alita. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Which starter am I going to choose for Legends Arceus releasing on Friday? I always pick the water starter, so there you go. Have, have they dropped the starters for that? I think they showed the stars in the teaser trailers when they revealed the game? I forget which mm. ones they are. Um... Oh yeah, chat! No spoilers, please! <laughs> yeah, do try to... The game got leaked, please do not spoil it! Oh, did it get leaked? Oof. Relit, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott. Oof, not a good Oshawott. grouping there. Um, Oshawott. Maybe Cyndaquil? I really don't like Relit and Oshawott. <laughs> Why does Super Kaizo World probably have to call and see him? <laughs> For those who are confused, I made a bet. If I hit a thousand, I would have to play Kaizo Mario World, Then yesterday I hit it, so... Are you... I have to play Kaizo Mario World. Are you planning on doing a, um, the trainings first? Like, are you gonna start out learning how to do Kaizo with, like, the, the, the mods, mods, ROMs, ROM hacks specifically for that? Or are you going to jump straight into Kaizo first? Mm, to be determined. Okay, that's fair. Alright, sorry about the wait on that. I had to go check on the cats and use the washroom. I guess I should also finish up saying what we're actually doing next week, because I... Stopped on Monday. Monday game clearing. Home Alone 2 and Simpsons Bart's Nightmare, hopefully. Wednesday is a whatever Wednesday, but it's going to be VR focused because we're going to see if we can stream my VR helmet. That's going to be fun. I'm I do not know how much physical energy I will have for that, considering that we're going to start with something simple like mini golf and then probably devolve into shooty ups, shoot 'em ups in VR chat, and etc. But. Worst case scenario, I'll have a bunch of uh, non-VR stuff planned as well, so we'll just make it, like I said, a whatever Wednesday, but VR focused at the start. Uh, Saturday is a fortune cookie. No plans for any changes at that point. I think it's just going to be vanilla. No, no special guests or anything, just the regular crew. Last cookie of the month, so... Is vanilla it cookie, my favorite. Yeah, wow, it is last cookie of the month. Oh my god, January's almost already done, holy cow. Oh, years going okay, fast. Right. It feels like yesterday I was just at Magfest. Mm. <sighs> I'm assuming um, the sub sub requests for Cookie are probably going to change after January. Uh the value may change. Yes, if that's what you're referring okay. to. So mm. for those who have not gotten their purchase in for that, might want to get it in soon. I mean, I don't know, there's... like, let me just, let me see what the key was at right now. Let, let's, let's do some math in here, folks, so. <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> I know, it, it's probably, it was at 143 when we started, 146, I think, when we started tonight. I'm going to assume it's at 187. 156, way lower than I thought, actually. Okay. All right, so here, this brings up the question. Do we up the value of it just to make it so less people can add to the queue? Or at this point, do we just say, screw it, and just leave the queue as is, because people are getting in there and using their points? Um, so my... Um, my proposal, once uh, I realized how large it was, was the, uh... Or 
afterwards was to have it be based on the number of people in the queue. So, oh, like, I, I every get your person point. who's in I the queue point, adds yeah. 10,000. Might be maxing out at like a million because right now it would be 1.5 million points, which is ridiculous. But um, I, I do think up a bit myself just because queue count. How much were you thinking of an increase? Probably not too much. Like, someone suggested 150 or 200k. That's probably where I was thinking. Mm -hmm. But so I wouldn't want to go too crazy with it. But I also know, some, like, for some people, if they don't have any egg points, 110 is also already a lot. It's really just offset by the fact that so many people have so many points. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's tricky at that point, then. I don't know. I might just leave it as is at this point and just establish, like, yo, if you're getting in on the list now, you might be waiting a while. Like... Like, I have 158, and I think someone just spent points just... No, actually, Fire Seal is marked as the last one here. So, like, anyone who got in just then is probably not seeing their game for a couple months. So, if you get... One per person's a good rule? I can't enforce that. I literally cannot. <laughs> I could technically... But that would take some work, and we're not automating it yet. And also, for that matter, like, some people have, like, the most I think that someone is in here right now is three. That's it. And it's set up that they can only put one submission per stream as is. That I was actually able to enforce. But yeah, like, there's very few repeating names here. I think, uh, like, just skimming this right now. Like, Kid Arc is in there, like, three times, and I think that might be the only multiple entry that I'm seeing. I am seeing some other people that were already in here, but their games already got played, so they could hop in the queue, no problem. Mm -hmm. I think we'll leave it as is for now. But I just need people to realize, like, yeah, if you're in the queue, it could be a while before your game shows up. I am going to be doing more of those, like, cookie, like, suggestion, community suggestion cookies, but right now I'm only planning to do those once a month. And that only burns through about 20 or 25 options, so. I think we're looking at something like up to six months in a worst case scenario for oh. getting through Oh the my queue, god, but... this cannot be correct. Hang on. Oh? I don't believe it. So, uh, I will state, I don't know how this keeps happening, but every time we have done a community choice uh, or like a game that someone has submitted a recent community choice for that game has come up a week prior uh, <laughs> so the next cookie that comes up the next time we pull two options one of them will literally have been already played tonight because someone asked for Pajama <laughs> Sam 2 <laughs> <laughs> Today we also had it, the, and here's the funny thing, uh, the person who asked for Pajama Sam 3 changed it to that because the game they picked, Clue, was played last week. <laughs> it's literally just a chain reaction. <laughs> I, I mean, to top it off, um, when you did the, the cookie jar, um... Mind you, I was one of the people who'd submitted for it, but Outer Wilds showed up, and if yeah. we did a and then it showed up again in the I was next round. Outer yeah. Wilds. <laughs> but I also wasn't the only one that night who requested Outer Wilds. I know, I love it. I know at some point, uh, there <laughs> is, at some point, I think on the third page, like page 100 to 150, uh, there are two, the same game is requested twice in a row by two different oh, people. Oh, that's funny. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, no, and also, My Disney Kitchen was actually also a request that I had to change for, I think it was the Wednesday cookie, because we had played it the week prior on cookie. Or it was for, high, it was for Power Trip, I forget which. But yeah, no, at least three games will have that situation now. Amazing. I think you've made your community like the same games as you. Pajama Sam? <laughs> I didn't grow up with those games. I have zero nostalgia for that series. Rising's like, I did grow up with them, that's why I love them. Yeah, Rising Suns is actually one of the next ones here, so. 
Uh, let's let's drop the name. So next week on Cookie, uh, these following users will see their games showing up. For sure, in the first cookie, we've got Keith the Yin Yang Werewolf and Rising Sun 98. Second cookie, Ace Trainer B3N, so Ace Trainer Ben, and Gu Tang Clan. Cookie number three, Aussie Man 314 and Copy Pixel. Cookie number four, Dragon Lord 354 and SL, I'm gonna butcher this. Is it, is it SL Adelaide? That sounds right. Uh, and if there's a fifth one, but I think there's only gonna be the four, it will also be Peacemaker 2448 and Dark the Dark Charmer. So those people should expect their games, well, possibly except for the last two, but yeah, those people should expect their games to be options next week. How do you find these old games? Would love to play them again. Uh, the Pajama Sam games, they're on Steam. They're straight up on Steam. You can just go buy them. I think some of them even got ported to the Switch recently, so if you have a Switch, you can also just buy them. What are we looking at as far as how many are queued for viewer submitted cookies? Uh, there's 158 entries in there currently. We go through eight or 10 a week. Uh, and then if we when we do community cookie we go through 25 But today we actually went through a couple extra because the cookie broke so we threw in three extra ones from the community You could do one community cookie on regular nights where it's just community choice instead of the random and that'd help a lot with getting through the queue I've thought about that and I might just uh, Maybe, maybe the round that we start on, where I just usually roll the cookie, maybe we'll just do that, because then that's five we're going through, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. Wait, they're on Switch. I know they're on iOS, Droid, and the Wii, but not the Switch. Some, uh, some humongous games are on the Switch now. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Pup this is... travels through time, and Freddy Fish 3, the case of the stolen conch shell. Yep, those are heading to Switch. I think they said more are coming. Yeah, this article's from December 28th. Yeah, Putt Putt Travels Through Time and Freddy Fish 3 arrive on the Switch in January, so if it hasn't already happened. Oh yeah, it says they would hit Switch on January 3rd. So yeah, they should be there now. More Humongous Entertainment games might come to Switch later. So yeah, um, the Steam is your best bet, but the others may eventually appear there. So. I'm just trying to mental math reverse engineer how many theoretical games per month we can get. Um, we will is... be behind no matter what. I don't think there's any way around oh, yeah. it. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I'm just trying to figure out like roughly how many points are earned per stream. Because um, it's about one game every 20 minutes. Um if everyone could funnel their points into one thing simultaneously. So, which, all things considered, that would actually... Can we ask where we are in the queue? I would have to do that probably just on the sub server, and that would have to be off stream because like, like I said, there's 150 entries on the queue. I, I don't want to list off, oh, you are number three, you are number 37, like that for everyone. That will take a while. I think the price is actually stable. You think the price is what I have works? I, I think, if my math is correct, it's about one game every 20 minutes for all of the points earned in chat. Um, and then if you meter that out for how long you stream and how many times you stream in a week, that's... Three games an hour, so 18 games a stream, and it's not going to get that high. It's probably going to be like 10. Like, it may be double, but like... I noticed, I noticed that stable. on the community night, it shot up considerably, but every other night, it's just like a small increase. Like, any, like it barely goes up on game clearing. Uh, it goes up. It keeps about on par, if not a little bit up, on Cookie, and then yeah, specifically the Community Night, it shot up like a I, like fifty plus. I I th I think maybe doubling it, we could see what happens 
in February. Um, because in, I think if in, it was doubled, it'd probably be perfectly stable. But In my mind, I think doubling it will do absolutely nothing, simply because those who have points have a lot of points. <laughs> That's fair. I think, is there a way to check how many points a user has for me to check? Not besides just asking people? Because like I said, I'm pretty sure one person has multiple millions of points. I have opinions on the points API. That is one of the things so that, does that not I was going to say, that sounds like a no immediately. I didn't think so. I also just, I don't want to adjust it too much because if we raise it too high, then like no one gets to enjoy it, just the people with a lot. I think leaving it where it is is the correct decision. Yeah, let's see. I see 210.2, 74, 574, 43, 310, 191, 1,309. Oh, that's just 1,390, yeah. 800 plus K. Yeah, like, like I said, the people who have the points, even if I double the value, they're still going to be able to get a bunch, no problem. I think leaving it where it is is the answer because it's at least reasonable for people that are newer to get there sooner. Yeah. There's like uh, like every person speaking up is like, yeah, I got enough for at least one more, if not two more. So it's like, yeah, just leave it. Eventually all the points, like it'll level out eventually. It's just going to take a while. Right. You're, you, you're doing it again, Dave? Why not? All right, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, you reminded me that I have points to spend. I'm going to keep a, a, a rough half a million, though, just sitting here in case you come up with something crazy. We'll I'm see. just going to sit here with my 38.2k because of losing too many points. I'm going to sit here I with my infinite points! <laughs> Actually, John. you're going to put a game on the list, aren't you? Oh, no. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Guess what I can do, motherfuckers? better keep that in there, I swear. <laughs> well, the good news is, even though I'm the st I'm the stream, like, host, it will not let me submit more than one a stream. So the restriction is even in place for me. <laughs> even for me, the restriction is in place, so. Incredible. I mean, I suspect they're just doing a rate limit based on your user ID, so that doesn't yeah. surprise me. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting my own games on Cookie so I can play what I want. <laughs> so th this was my whole plan all along to start putting my own choices in Cookie. Cocon's had choices for years, but I never put one in. It was all my master plan. All right, let's let's wrap up for real though. Let's drop some eggs. Twenty bucks says you forget about it when it comes up and we confuse. I'll laugh because I'll be like, "Why am I in here? Oh no, I know why I'm in here." <laughs> I'll know. I know me well enough to know why I'd be in there. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I hope I'm on Cookie for that stream because it will be my choice and then your choice. <laughs> Is that actually the order in the queue? Oh, Maniacal, don't you dare. <laughs> oh, what did Maniacal do? Look in the bot room. Oh, it's no. not loading for me, which is why I'm asking. Hang on, I'm looking. Oh, oh he's, he's gonna refund account. my points. <laughs> He's got his cursor over the phone. To be fair, if I go through that list, I'm like, wait, why is my entry not here? And I see Deef's request for Outer Wilds. I will remember. <laughs> I will remember. And if I don't remember, chat will remember. Because chat never lets me forget anything. That's right. Oh, All right, man. light light nine seven one five for fifty four. Chrono stream for forty six. Brine blade for forty four. Red there mage is. dove for seven. Uh, Hodgepodge ninety six for thirty four. Razdingo for seventy two. Tiny agreeable war machine. That's a great name for twenty five. Uh, and board co two for fifty three. Alongside Odessa MC for seventy three. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Chat never forgets, chat never forgives, chat never moves faster, Pokey. Exactly. Fucking exactly. <laughs> Wait, never mind, dang, I was gonna refund my old entry and resubmit it, but it wouldn't get uh, in a poll with you. Oh, did someone beat you to it? Someone else submitted since? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Super Icy submitted Prio too. 
and Bitship Runner 2 got in there as well. Yeah, there's a couple entries since. So the real fun thing is I now realize that I, that you just cursed either the person before you or the person after you. But the person before me is you. I know. <laughs> Which makes me really sad. <laughs> to be fair, people might vote for yours out of spike because I picked Ninja Guy and NES. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Uh, classic egg, it is... You will give me an egg! Man, man, I'm testing VR, maybe I should set the shuffler back up, because I keep saying I will. The button is there for it, but I didn't put anything in there. So I have a button on my stream deck that just lights up and gives me a check, a check mark if I click it. That's it, it doesn't do anything helpful. <laughs> uh, I should also point out, I never turned off uh, Mario's time machine, so Sad Bowser has been on my TV this entire time. <laughs> Poor guy's been crying up a storm. Oh, man. Alright, where are we starting on our blog? So, our blog's gonna be a bit janky because we hopped around a bit for Jared, but let's go to it. Oh, yeah. So, I don't think I missed any alert. Yeah, it's no, no alerts with messages, so let's hop to it. Our block starts with me once again not clicking on OBS and clicking on Discord again. God damn it. <laughs> One of these days I'll stop doing that, but. Clearly, today is not that day. The Dumb Pyre by Wagawiji. Watch you playing a vampire game, and I had to make this weirdo. Dumb Pyre has the abilities, not Castlevania Dracula. The only thing that makes him more dangerous is that he's a dumbass, which makes him unpredictable, but also easily taken out if proper precautions are met. As remember, he's still a vampire and always comes back even stronger and dumber than ever. Hope you like this art, your friend Jared. Uh, by the way, my favorite cheese games that... What? By the way, my favorite cheese games that played were the DKC Trilogy, Yoshi's Island, Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, Mighty Morphin, Power Rangers, and Link to the Past. Sadly, I never owned Super Metroid and Super Mario World was another. Have you ever heard of the Super Nintendo game We're Back that was based on the animated movie of the same, na uh, same name as game? Yeah, We're Back at Dinosaur Story, I've played that. Is that one of the ones I'm missing, or do I have that? I think that's one of the ones I'm missing. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. I have a spreadsheet, I can check it. I have it that at least for Game Boy, I'm pretty sure. Thank you, Waguigi. Next up. From Grease Lightning. It's a beef a -roo. Since it's Beaver's birthday two days ago, I decided to give him a nice little costume. It's based on the Japanese VTuber, uh, Debi Debi Deberu, also known as the Koala. He's not old enough to drink like Deberu, but he is old enough to swear. That's true. There is recordings of him saying, fuck you, thanks to Camille. So there you go. Thank you, Grease. Next up. From Ditto is a candle dog. When you said candle Labrador, this was the first thing that popped into my head. It is a candle, or is it a candle statue or a living being? You decide. Probably both. You want it? It's on Amazon for 10 bucks. I have to check if I do have it or not. Let me, I have a spreadsheet literally listing what I do and don't own for Super Nintendo because I'm trying to finish the system. And Backloggery says, ooh. Hang on. It's not in my backloggery. Uh, yeah, it is on my list of games I'm missing. I have a roughly 70 Super Nintendo games from North America I'm missing before I have the entire collection. So yeah, we're back at Dinosaur Story is one of the ones I'm missing. You want it, it's on Amazon for 10 bucks. Well, I need to know condition of that, because Amazon, 10 bucks for that on Amazon is surprisingly cheap. Maybe, Oogie, I don't know. I don't want to put you out for that, but uh, we'll see. Oogie, I still haven't opened, I still haven't put your stuff in the backlog yet. Like, I'm behind on backlog. I have, on top of the box you sent, another 40 games that aren't in the backlog right currently. So I've been behind on things. I've been doing a lot of maintenance and cleaning on uh, on carts. So I've got a bunch of carts for sale now. So my backlog Cleaning has a backlog, stream? correct? No, no, they're already cleaned. Like I did that in my spare time the, this past week. Cause I, uh, cause I have it up. I upgraded a bunch of cartridges. English. I 
uh, upgraded a bunch of my Super Nintendo cartridges from just cartridge only to a better looking cartridge and with box and some cases manual. So, uh, yeah, I basically went through all of them, cleaned all the games to make sure they work. And uh, I've got a pile of stuff I'm either selling or trading, depending on if people are interested. But I'm selling on actual current value, which is expensive on some. Matt Coggery says, you do not have Super Game Boy or Game Boy 2. Are you looking for it? I have a Super Game Boy 2 that I've done nothing with. I have a Super Game Boy. I have my childhood one. I just didn't have it in the backloggery because it's not a game, essentially. But then again, I have Game Boy Player Disc only in there, so maybe I should just do that. Uh, but I don't have a Super Game Boy 2, so crazy dude, if you're willing to part with that, I would love to have that. But only if you're willing to part with it. And I can just, like, I can give you some money for it if you want. Where do you sell your games? Uh, I usually ask the collectors I know. I don't have a specific place I list them. You have spare time? It's rarely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ditto, for the the candle Labrador. Next up, from Mimariru. Wanted to draw Rosa eating what I ate yesterday for lunch. Mac and cheese pancakes. Wow. Yes, there was actual mac and cheese inside of them. Drizzled with ch uh, Cholula honey. Very good, surprisingly. Oh, my God. And a Mr. F uh, Fluffleupagus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shake. Which was chocolate ice cream, peanut butter chips, caramel, both in drizzle and popcorn, chocolates, a Reese's peanut butter cup, and marshmallow fluff. I think I just got a cavity reading that out. Holy shit. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Please note, me and my friend couldn't finish anything we got, and yeah, their shake was hella insane too. It was s'mores themed, and yeah. Just imagine how these two weren't the worst shakes on the menu. There was one with cake batter and a slice of cake. I'm both sad and grateful I didn't get it. Holy crap. My god. I can never understand how people can, like, eat those shakes. I'm just thinking, okay, you either have a huge appetite or you're going straight into diabetes land, because holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that that's so much, man. That's so holy much. That's got to be so many calories. Oh, thanks, Derek. Um, yeah, I, I've been checking the P.O. box, like, a lot this week, so I know it's empty, so I'll be checking in, like, three weeks from now, probably. Someone else asked... Where did I go? There's a Super Game Boy 2? It wasn't released in North America, unsurprisingly, but, yeah, the Super Game Boy 2 can play Game Boy Color games. That was the big difference between it. And it had a, uh... What's the word for it? Expansion port, I guess? It had a link cable port, so you could actually use the Super Nintendo as one of the Game Boys for, like, game trading, like, with Pokemon and stuff like that. No, it can't. What? Oh, wait. I thought that was the whole point of the Game Boy Player, too, is that it could play color games. Or is it only the black cartridges that can? Wait, could the original Game Boy Player not play Game Boy Color games? No, it came out way before that. Oh. I could have sworn it went all the way up to advanced, but... So what did the Super Game Boy 2 add other than the, the port? As a link cable port plays games at their correct speed without modification, the Super Game Boy has support for additional borders and other features, like the special border in Tetris DX. Oh. Well, never mind, I'm wrong then. I thought for sure that was one of the things they added. Huh. Never mind then. I guess that makes sense, because Super Game Boy was like, what, 98? Like, the SNES was well done at that point. So, I, yeah, no, that makes sense. I thought we were talking about the Game Boy Player for GameCube. No, we're talking about the Super I'm Game wrong. Boy 2 for the Super Nerd Famicom. See that now, because I just looked it up. <laughs> yeah, so never mind. That's my mistake then. I completely forgot timeline wise, it doesn't make any sense. Thanks, Mimo, for share for the art and sharing your amazing dinner. From from Endless Beat, Tolerance. I'm still working on the Joniverse project, but he, from here on out, I won't be as active since I now have classes and I'm currently also working on other projects as well. Nothing TRG related like the custom Mario Party board, but very time consuming nonetheless. So for now, I have this still of you and Kermit in a classic TV skit. What? What do you mean you've never did a skit with Kermit? I mean, that'd be cool if we did, but I, I 
don't think I'm on his, uh, his callback list. <laughs> Name your thing the Game Boy Player? No. You know what? Oh, you know what I was thinking of? The fucking Wide Boy 64. That's what I was thinking of. Because I get that confused with the Super Game Boy 2 sometimes. Because that can play Game Boy Color games. But that also wasn't commercially available, so... The what? Hang on. Hang on. Time for more sidetracking. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. I knew... I knew one of these wikis would have it. This... is the Wide Boy 64. This was mainly used for development... Uh, for devs that were working on Game Boy Color games, but... It was literally a Game Boy Play, or sorry, a G Super Game Boy, but for the N64. Huh. Hooked up to the TV, had borders and everything. Dang. That's actually a, a cool little touch that it had borders. Yep. And again, it's called the Wide Boy 64, so it's very, it's a very silly name for it. Oh, it says it actually also played Game Boy Advance games. I thought it didn't play them in full. Oh, video game art, video game and arcade top ten used them. Ah, that's why I remember seeing these before. That'd be why. Or maybe I'm just reading this wrong. I'm thinking I'm reading that wrong. Never mind. But either way, yeah. Yeah, not that for you to look for. Yeah, no, the Wide Boy is expensive from what I remember. Oh, a GBA version did exist of the Wide Boy. Okay, cool. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked. Let's get back to our blog. <laughs> that never happens around here, by the way. Never at all. Thanks, Endless Beat, for the tolerance Kermit art. The secret of keeping John here longer is to get him to talk about cool retro tech. Shh, don't tell people that. <laughs> also, was wrong. Video Game and Arcade Canadian Nick Arcade? Basically... Uh, it was, they, they told you what game they were going to play, and they had four kids play the game against each other. Whoever got the farthest won, essentially. They had, like, a 15-minute time block. From Jake Zero, even though Sengoku Basara didn't win, I'd like to show the thumbnail for an LP of it, drawn by, uh, Yan Kyo. The players in question, Inu and Bas, are currently doing Yukimaru's story, with Inu playing as Yukimaru himself and Bas playing as Saika. Cool. Thanks, Jake. I have no idea who these people are, but the art's still cool regardless. Thank you, Jake. Next up, from Phantom Agus. Doom. Here's a Princess Zorark. Uh, I was thinking of something Rosa-related, but my head didn't think of anything clever, so a Princess Zorark. Enjoy. Thanks. She definitely looks like she's gonna fuck shit up. Next up, time for a Hot Wheels update from Titan. Are you ready, kids? I wasn't, because I didn't think we would get a second racing season two days after the first one ended back on the 18th. Here are the n here we are with SpongeBob Racing Season from now until March 29th. This is your chance to get more coins, gear, and the following cars. SpongeBob, Sandy, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Plankton not seen in this picture. As far as these cars go, I need it, SpongeBob reference. Have fun and get racing. All right, I'm just gonna say right now, I'm a little creeped out on the Patrick one, specifically because of the the two lights here that make it look like his eyes have been stretched out. <laughs> it really looks like they just stretched out his skin over this. Sandy's at least they're like, yeah, here's like fake eyes and like a like a license plate holder to make it look like a buck tooth. And same with SpongeBob, like. They just, they, you can tell like it's not supposed to end, but specifically Patrick's looks really stretched out and a little creepy. There's there's a little bit of creep there. Just just a little bit. <laughs> it's like that one scene from the chocolate episode. Why the seat also stick? looks Staring like his mouth. <laughs> oh, Focusing. No. Oh no, someone just said the seat also looks like his mouth and the right. Oh no. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> it looks like he's screaming. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we showed those two already. From Horizon Strider. 
Welcome back with Honing with Horizon, where today we're back to cooking beefaroo as the birthday truce is over. Now in celebration of the 8-bit drummer coming on as Kokom, we're gonna make an 8-bit beefaroo burger. So first we need to digitize the beef. Uh, thanks, Horizon. Next up from Corel Leo. Hey John, Roger Rabbit was a ton of fun, especially seeing you beat the shit out of Judge Doom. I drew Our Lady Rosalina in a dress to fit the beautiful Jessica Rabbit, although with a bit of Rosa flair to the dress and to her hairstyle. Here's to a fun Saturday night cookie. Thank you, Leo. Very lovely done, Rosalina. <laughs> Next up, this is one I thought I clicked on earlier because I thought it was for Jared. My mistake. From Draco Roma. This is honestly my second attempt at drawing a full body human, but I thought I would give it a shot. I have been meaning to practice drawing recently, but being obsessed with the Trails of Cold Steel games and recently catching the Big C have, have but. I've put that on a bit of a damper. Okay, it's just a spelling error. Uh, I should have counted on Rosa being more trouble with her proportions. Just thought I should get some practice in and uh, shout myself out as a new artist in one go. Yeah, Rosa does not have normal propor proportions, so she will take a bit more to draw than some, but you still did a good job, especially for getting becoming a new artist here. So thank you, Draco. Appreciate it. Next up, from Clairvoyant Sky. Ah, the knife aura. <laughs> and my bird, and an axe, and some flaming axes, and just more, more knives. A thousand blades. Here's a quick sketch of John as a Toho character, equipped with unlimited knives and flame enchanted axes. He, uh, aim... He aims also helps, I guess he is also helped by his bird slash stealth bomber, Bagel. A pair so powerful that only death itself can stop them. This idea came from John's second run of Vampire Survivors and the craziness of how many knives and axes there were. It was a very stabby game, but it was fun. Thank you, Clairvoyant. I, I am super looking to see how they do with that game and like the different weapons they give you and whatnot. That looks That's, like it's gonna be great. It's still very much an early access to. They're only at version like .2 or something like that, so it's still got a long way to go. It has a really good path ahead of it. Yeah, where it is right now is fantastic. Again, absolutely insane that that game has like I'm, let me get the exact number here, because again, it surprises the hell out of me. This game came out December 17th, 2021, so it's only been out for a month. It is overwhelmingly positive 99% of the 5,825 user reviews in the last 30 days are positive. And overall, it has 5,826 reviews total. So, literally, one review wasn't in that recent review list. That is it. 5,826 overwhelmingly positive reviews. That is insane. This is the dev's first game on Steam, too. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Jesus, you're not kidding. The wide boy is $35,000 on eBay. Yes, that's why I don't have one. And likely never will. You guys say Colorado. I'm a giraffe. <laughs> I originally wanted to make uh, the I'm a giraffe vine, but because I can't get the gift to work on here, I turned it into a comic instead. Video, audio included, will be on Twitter if you want to watch it. Why this vine? Because I went on a mini skiing trip yesterday, and it was fun and went by way too fast. All right, let's show the video for that, too. On another note, I have a Twitch account now. Not sure if you saw my comments on the live stream. I got a go by TK Ditto on Twitch. I saw you mention it earlier. Thank you, Ditto, and enjoy being in the actual chat. Let me pop this video up on screen here. You guys say Colorado. Oh, it's you that one. <laughs> I'm a giraffe. Say Colorado. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Classic. Thanks, Ditto. Uh, where were we? We're at Ilita's picture. The Hedgehog has oh. returned. Thanks, Jared, for suggesting the game. Also, in the background, I am working on a mini update for the mod to include some things that weren't fitting for the game clearing streams. Not many, but it's something. Maybe some TRG elements. <laughs> Should be done by Coliseum. Ooh, plots for Chaos Cookie, I see. Okay. <laughs> Maybe by then we'll figure out why my OBS keeps freaking out. Because you said yours doesn't have that issue with the desyncing? No, I, I have honestly no idea why it keeps desyncing on yours. It never had any issues on my end. Mm. Well, I'll mess around with it and see what I can figure out. 
brought it intensifies. <laughs> Except from Wagawiji. Orbs. The almighty orbs, may we bask in thy roundness of thy almighty shine and angelic glow. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the angelic orbs. I already showed that one. Next up from Sol Rock. In memory of Michael Lee, I can't read, I don't know what his actual last name was. Meatloaf. From Sol Rock. Two days ago, we lost a man by the name of Meatloaf. I honestly never thought much of him, but I acknowledge his name and fame. Sometimes I see him and NCS as the same person. But I want to both pay homage and turn my downtime into something. Second time, I might have been infected with the virus and potentially might have spread it to everyone at home unknowingly. Uh-oh. Feeling fine, and so is everyone else. Just disappointed that it happened again. Well, hopefully you'll be okay, and same with the fam, so... But yeah, what is... is What is Meatloaf's actual last name? I see Michael Lee... It looks like a day? A days? It is a day? Is, it, is his last name actually a day? Marvin Lee a day. Huh. Yep. Okay. Marvin? It says Michael on here. Oh. Well, I just did a Google search. I, well, I mean, Google probably well, has the answer. No, I see it. Oh, it is Michael? Oh, that's so many names. <laughs> and that's why he went by Meatloaf. <laughs> Thanks, Solrock. He changes... <laughs> oh, he changed his first name legally. Oh, uh, that answers it. Okay. Right, okay. That would answer it. I see. I almost clicked on it again. I'm clicking on it again. <laughs> oh, we didn't show this page. I just realized it. I showed the Twitter version. From Abby Miller. So, when John mentioned seeing the Bowser statue was looking like Saturn devouring his son, I found that funny enough that I really wanted to make a SNES Bowser rough re recreation of said famous painting. Also, if you didn't know, the original painting of Saturn devouring his son was just one of 14 rather bleak and haunting paintings made by Francisco José de Goya y Lucientes near the end of his life. Uh, that, after his death, were discovered painted onto the walls of the villa he lived in. Because of this, the common names and interpretations of the paintings were actually not given to them by the artist himself. You can look up the black paintings for more info on these paintings. Fascinating. Okay. Yeah, Saturn Devouring His Son is the only one I'm aware of. So, maybe I've seen the other ones and just don't realize it. Thank you, Abby. Again, well done. Makes me fucking laugh. I love the sources John missing something. <laughs> the reading is questionable. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like I said, it really looked like a hand, which I was just like, wow, okay. That could have been a subtle thing they snuck in there for all we know. Next up, it the big booba from Jumney, Vampire Rosa John. Oh God, all we need now is a vampire version of her addicted to blood. Cause that can only <laughs> God damn it, he beat me to it. Oh. Uh, I was gonna say it's only gonna lead to soliloquies, and then the first thing I see in the tags is what is a breast? <laughs> <laughs> a miserable little pile of bra ruiners, but enough talk have at you. Thank you, Jumney, for the lovely art as always. Oh my god, tiger. <laughs> Next up from Rhyme. You fools, me mentioning no straight roads was a ploy for me to draw an alt John of my favorite boss in the game. Meet DJ Sub Subajonic Supernova. I don't have anything else witty to add, I just like the big planet guy and need to make an alt. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey. I like how no matter what though, still has the big poops. <laughs> that's just that's just me now. I'm, I'll accept it. Thank you, Rhyme. Someday we'll play no straight roads. It'll happen someday. At least the planets aren't <laughs> orbiting a little bit higher. Sorry, They're orbiting sorry, at the I, midline. No. I just saw from exploding titty, exploding titty syndrome. It was not by my hand I was given all this flesh. <laughs> That's really good. <sighs> nice. I don't. I, I needed to make sure that was read out. That was really fucking clever. No, no, that's that's perfect. That's it's perfect. Really oh my god. Thank you, Ryan, oh. for the art. Flesh. You're right. I didn't say. I didn't hold on it long enough. Flesh. Flesh. Next up, from Seesaw24. Yeah, this is fair. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. Well, with you going back to Sonic Mania tonight, most of us figured that you'd also go back to Orbs. So we put up this silly meme. Sorry, not sorry. Fair enough. Thanks, Seesaw. 
Sorry, orbs happened again. It just happens to me. <laughs> I was drawn here by artists who wish to give me tribute. <laughs> is, is, isn't it pay me? Yeah, it's, it wish to pay me tribute. That uh, so drawn someone else says, is I was a genius, Tiger. I was given it by artists who wish to make me bigger. Oh, God damn it, Maniacal. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tit butte. Oh, this is just gonna devolve. Let's let's keep going. Let's it's just gonna keep going if I don't move on. From Becky Star, sloppy tire drawing of Shadow while trying to implement jewels in there. Also, since we were discussing who would be which Sonic character, there was a time where the musical channel Random Encounters did a Sonic musical, and Jules was Shadow in that, so that's why my headcanon is Jules. I mean, to be fair, I also feel that out of everyone in the TRG Coliseum group, he's the one that exudes the Shadow energy the most. Mm. I think I'm like a distant second. And even then, I think that's a stretch, so yeah. Thank you, Becky Star, appreciate it. Tribute, you steal men's hearts and make them your slaves. God, this fits uh, too well. I know. I hate. I hate how well this is going. Holy shit. No, your rouge. I mean, in my dreams, but I don't think that's how that works. Uh, Enough talk. Have beefaroo. And to be fair, I would. Oh God. Actually, now that I think about it, and I was gonna say, in all honesty, I would be Sonic. Then I'd pause. I'm like, wait, who actually would be Sonic in our group? Because I think, if anything, everyone's going to say Big the Cat is you because of the Sonic Adventure playthrough, but who in our in our group exudes Sonic energy? Extreme high energy all the time, never stopping? Jared? I mean, Jared? obviously, say if you keep describing that, it's Jared or Emil, but he already called Tails, so... I know, which is why it's a little bit flip-flop there. A lot of people are saying Emil, and I think I'm starting to slide towards that. Yeah, and I think I can agree with that. A couple people are saying Jack as well. Uh, Jack's too mellow to be Sonic, I feel. All the stars in the sky are daggers. <laughs> From Esper Magic, a quaint idea I had with the million knives mix all the mix the all the stars in the sky are enemies quote from an anime called Gurren Lagann and with Rosa John and the million knives. Not too happy with how it turned out, but it could be worse, I suppose. I like it. It's cute. Thank you, Esper. Okay, who makes oh, bad puns? You know what? That's fair. That's that's Sonic. That's Sonic, and that's Emil. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Also, if Emil is Sonic, we know who Masei is going to be. And I, I honestly think that fits well. I so. was, gonna, I was gonna say Masei was Knuckles, no matter what. So I guess that. Okay, works. you know what? That I wasn't gonna go with that. Not, not for the with, dumb uh, aspect, but for the I'm just gonna punch everything mentality. I, I, actually, to be fair, I think Masei actually fits Rouge better than most people in our group. I was gonna say Amy because the pairing of no um, no absolutely not. But just she just, she's of, not Amy, not e yeah, even like not Boom even Amy. She she's more Boom Amy, but even then I wouldn't say Amy. Yeah okay. Masay <laughs> someone says Masay has me shadow. I could also see that. Yes. From Chaos Chow, only reason I uploaded this is because this kill uh, a splat occurred right as you guys were talking about the. Oh, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Pingus, and Happy New Year edits. I had to hold back dropping my controller in laughter at the coincidence considering I'm still in S plus hell. I'll probably never make it X rank. By the way, join the Proton Splat League today. We have another free agent showcase next Wednesday evening if you're looking for a team and want to show your stuff to team captains looking to fill our teams. Hey, oh, he splatted Pingus. Okay, there you go. I think John will be Omega. I can't see myself being Omega. I don't think I agree with that. But I genuinely, other than the meme choice of Rouge or the meme choice of Big, don't see who I would be as a Sonic character. Thank you, Chow, for showing that off. We already showed... Oh, no, you got a colored version there now. All right, we'll show off the colored version. Hey, those are mine! Orbs! Finished version. You'd think Bappy Vappy already had plentiful blue orbs, but some people are never satisfied, I guess. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Tiger. Uh, jumping... No, we saw this one already. This, again, Nitro, this is incredible. Very, very well done. Yes, so good. And let's hop back over here, because we've got from Chloe. Chloe. Hey, Jonic. Hey, Sour Cream. Something wrong? 
The vending machine glitched and gave me the wrong soda. Never had non-blue orb soda. Yellow orbs, not blue. Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Boring? <laughs> See, this is why we only use the blue orbs for boba tea. Don't even get me started about what the red orbs do. I also wanted an excuse to draw more. The skunk was a sour cream design I had, but I haven't really gotten to use until now. Hope you all enjoy. I actually really like the the sour cream design you got going here. It is. I feel it's more Star Fox than Sonic, but it's still got that cool energy. I think it's because this looks like their their usual communicator they have there. But I still like it either way. Thank you, Chloe. Boing. John literally can be every single so Sonic character. He just has to turn into an alt to fit a different character. I mean, that's cheating, but yeah, I can do that. Masay is classic Knuckles, John is Boom Knuckles. I might be okay with that. <laughs> I might be okay with that. I tend to see John fitting the Lancer archetype of the five-man band, but the Sonic Lancers don't really fit John. Who are the Lancers for Sonic? I'm also not familiar with what the Lancer means in a group like that. All right, I see one last thing here. I'm gonna do a refresh check before we hop into it. I will do these other ones first, then we'll go back to the draw pile and end on there. Bring it on, hero from Samaria Moon. Uh, Rosa seems a bit villainous today. Another sneak peek of that comic I mentioned a few months ago with its other sneak peek. This is from page five, and it looks like there'll be one or two more at the minimum. The artist is having fun. Artist is named down in the corner, but they are uh, Fletchitas of Patreon and DVR. Cool. Can't wait to see what the end result's gonna be. I like it. The Lancer is a rival slash foil character to the, to the hero. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. So, like, the Kaiba the, role. The second in command usually a contrast to the hero. The hero being the leader of the group and another member of five-man band. Gotcha. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. John, I wrote out the entire whole Dracula Rosa dialogue in exchange. Yeah, go for it, Blue. I'm curious. From Titan, quick update, this is what the Plankton car looks like. <laughs> <laughs> took me a second. The oh my god. The, yeah, uh. took me a second, yeah. Oh the eyeball, oh the teeth, the actual antenna, my god. <laughs> my god. Those teeth though, holy shit. It's my new car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down to the dealership and get that as my actual car. Oh my I love it. From Ice Finch, I had this dumb idea, have an attack pigeon. Nice missile launcher there, perfect. <laughs> God, I'm gonna go end up playing that Vampire Survivor game right after this stream, aren't I? Let's end with this draw pile. Draw pile 112! Cupo is posting this one. Oh boy, I do not write these often. So, draw pile 112, by being the 22nd and 23rd day in the month of January in the Gregorian year of 2022, or the Cupo ran this and did not crash and burn edition. I may have drawn something big, so anybody who logged in as a, fir as a first had to see it zoomed in may have not been intentional. Also, goodbye to that Cupo free zone. Dragon Tamer, Private Butter, Noir X Kite, Nasu Blue, Learn to Chillax, Tiger Brows, Blonde Lomax, Elegant Raven, Cupo, Disillusion, and Ink Stains. Dragon. I heard something about a mantis, so I drew Scyther. Private Butter drew the countermeasures plain, but Jared's Vaporeon is eating it. Noir, based on one of Jared's emotes, Nasu, Professor Vaporeon, is here to teach you about proper drumming technique. Chillax, fun fact, when you come into the draw pile, you come in right on the titties. So I drew my vamp alt being mad jelly, since I'm curious of me uh, with a bigger cup size. <laughs> Tiger, no, I'm not jealous that someone else is bigger. It's just an improp in improprietary in the order of things is all. Uh, Blonde Lombax, double theme is go. Happy belated birthday to the beefy boy who's rocking his own little drum. Ink Stains, no, Jared, stop eating the stream. Also Orb, which seems to be next on the menu. Elegant Raven, a vampire Rosa John based specifically on the Hore Bat. Uh, and I got my hair dyed this week, so I decided to update my Sona to reflect this. And Disillusion, just a little bunny Jared uh, for his special appearance on Cookie. Forgot to mention, Purple Derg is my OC Elferia. She's kind of broken, also big. Ooh, I like the hair color, Raven. That's nice. It should be me in there! <laughs> I can warp realities. You can't hurt me. I'm actually surprised this isn't a John for once, but yeah, there you go. The Cubo Free Zone is destroyed by the giant boobs. There's the bunny Jared watching it all happen. Frick yes, Sonic is Jared. 8-bit uh, Vaporeon Jared is excited. Big old chomp going on there as Jared eats the helicopter. Little Vappy saying hi. 
Ultimate Bigger Viewing Booth. In case of Ultimate Bigger, please look directly at Ultimate Bigger. This viewing booth brought to you by a very bored draw pile op. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn you, big chest. <laughs> I mean, at least you're selling tickets. You can make some money off that. It's not like she can move. Oh, she can move realities. I guess. Never mind. Cash in on it while you can. Orb. John Stream being eaten by Jared. A scyther. A beef root banging on the drum. How to drum. Step one. Ah. I love the mustache. Definitely makes me think it is not Jared. And steering you right down to the end there. Very nice art, everybody. So that is the... Is that... A, what bat did you say that was? That's a Hore bat? Not familiar with it, but looks cool. I like the design on it. Thank you, everybody, who joined in on the draw pile today. For those who want to join in on these, these tend to happen every Saturday. Go to the Art Discord to join that. Exclamation Art Discord in the chat brings up the link, which I lead has already done for y'all. You do not need to be subbed or following the channel to hop in there, and you don't have to be just an actual visual artist to be there as well, because they do writing and other things there as well. Sub Discord as well. If you have a new sub today, you can join the Sub Discord and, um... Uh, yeah, next month? Subs, you're gonna be doing a lot of voting. <laughs> and it's not gonna make sense right away, but I think you'll catch on pretty fast. Because I think you might, you, it'll, it'll make sense. It, when you see what February and March's themes are, it'll make a lot of sense. Get ready, subs. Thing. It's gonna be fun. All right. And with that, folks, I do believe... Actually, no, wait. No, Blue Fairy said they posted it here. Hang on. There we go. All right, so this is the whole bit done by Blue Fairy Kino. Shrink, woman, your tits don't deserve to be this big. It was not by my hand that I was given this flesh. I was given it by artists who wish to pay me tit buttes. Tit buttes, you use your magic to make others bigger. Perhaps the same could be said of all alts. Your words are as inflated as your memories. Mankind ill needs such massive breasts as yours. What is a breast? A couple of miserable, mahoosive piles of flesh. But enough talk, have at you. <laughs> Combined with chat's uh, own lines and some of my own. I wrote this very quickly. Very nice, Blueberry, very nice. <laughs> There's just this cube just going, fuck. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> All right, and with that, folks. <laughs> Dunzo for the evening. <laughs> To be fair, John, when does anything here make sense? I mean, it's gonna be more, th it, I, the mods can verify this. It's gonna be a bit more than usual, <laughs> but it will yeah. make sense. Folks, what is our raid message as I look to see who is still raiding? Oh, man. Who is still raiding, huh? See anybody raiding us? Let's see who's still live, sorry. Man, so I in the next week or so, I'm gonna try getting off my advance for a bit because man, it has made me stumble on my words a lot more, I've noticed. It's got a lot of good and bad. And you know what? I think I, I think we have one very obvious target that we have to go for. And I, I think we do not have a choice in the matter. World oh. Keys is pretty good. Titanic Elbow Thrust. Titanic Elbow Thrust. Neat. <laughs> More <laughs> knives. Tit Butte. Uh, so many good ones. There's a bunch of good ones today. I'm not sure. This one might be hard to narrow down. You've seemed happier recently? I have noticed that. It has definitely helped with that. The downside, like, it, like it's trade-offs, basically. It's weird. It's been weird getting used to the meds. I'm also going to step down a, do like, uh, a dose, essentially. I might have gone a little too high on it, so we'll see what happens if I shift back down to 30. I got the clearance from, from uh, the doc to do that, so... Uh... Dude, I actually might not be able to narrow this down. Mm. Mounds of flesh. <laughs> I, 
kind of... I think I'm digging more knives. I think I'm going to try more knives. Okay, then. All right, and we're going to... We're going to raid the good Jared again. I feel bad because we've been raiding him a bunch recently, but he got partner this week. I was going to say he got his partner. I'm so happy he got partner. He got partner and he's doing a propane -thon for one year on Twitch and partner celebration. So let's go give him some more love. He deserved I, I love that he's keeping the Mega Man outfit on his, on his Hank model. I'll tell you what. Now, y'all want more knives? Now, dang it, that couldn't be possible. Is that a pro There's more knives coming in from god dang Proton John now. We've read him enough that he knows your emotes. Oh, That's great. Dale, Bill, even you, Bill, get down here. Boom, how are you still awake? There's more god dang knives. Oh, boy, Torin. He's I'll been going what, for 10 hours. Proton John, he's, doing a, he's doing a marathon. He's doing uh, a genuine marathon. Meet partner and the... That first god dang raid, we were j had just beaten super ghouls and ghosts, and uh, golly, Bobby, I tell you what, uh, I love that he works it in going, so seamlessly. Y'all need more wow. knives, the maniac gamer. Well, I'll look for some, but uh, we're mainly just pointing and clicking. That's yeah. It. Like I said, he's a good dude. That's Go give him some love. Congratulations on getting partner. And uh, hey, how's it going? I'm oh, out for the God. night. This is I'll see you guys on Monday for game clearing. Get ready for some well, bad it. childhood well, games that I definitely Bobby. want revenge on. Let's see what we can do on Monday. Die. Not everybody. Dang it. Did this game just crash? <gasps> Did it? Well, we had a good marathon so far. Whoops. Oh, yeah, maybe he was just doing the fake out. Oh. Damn. I love his countermeasures every time. If, if you've never seen his countermeasures. And I believe that is actually what he looks like, because he used God, to do his actual streams what, before uh, for the VTuber uh, stuff. He, he still from, does uh, rarely uh, as well. You can catch him without doing the VTuber. It, it depends. But. Oh, here we go. He's twerking. He's twerking. and... <laughs> We're just kind of doing a marathon of the weird David stuff Attenborough. Played, uh, That's where he did. He did a David Attenborough stream. Commando. Nice. The dude's really good at throwing his voice. What did we beat, Bobby? Well, we beat Mega Man 2. Now, that one's normal. Oh, All right, let's go. Boss. Let's get out of here. Night, everybody. See y'all on Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>